everyone, this is Tibbs, and welcome to my very first Let's Play on the ST2K channel, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, one of my favorite games ever. And joining me are my good friends Ronnie and Jeff. Hey. Uh, I'm not joining. I've been kidnapped. Tibbs, you better let me go. I didn't sign up for this. Jeff, that was yes, just... Yes, you did. That was you just now, spinning around with Majora's Mask. <laughs> That's right. Isn't you this signed the with... contract. I have it. Ah, damn it. Isn't this the one with the creepy moon? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's about all I remember out of this game, so this should be fun for me. Yeah. Yeah, this is the awesome sequel to Ocarina of Time, and it could be, the argument could be made that it's even better in some ways. No, Ooh. no, Link to the Past, it'll never get any better than that for me. No, Wanda Gamelon. <laughs> Us Zelda okay. fanboys over here arguing. <laughs> well, look at that face. Ah, jeez uh. Louise. <sighs> Bear in this game. Hello. <laughs> My ballet dancers. Oh, there's J Man just came down the steps. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Hey. He, had a, hey. he had a rough night now. He had a rough night, guys. Oh, man. Hey, that's not me. Hey, uh. uh. <laughs> that's right, folks. We're doubling down on the Zelda in this channel right now. Double down. Yeah, that's right. Double down. At, was that like a KFC snack? Yes, it's also a terrible movie that Neil Breen directed. If you don't know who he is, Google him. He's fantastic. Okay. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> can't make me. <laughs> now who's tied up in the chair? Man, this this opening sequence. I love the music here. Oh yeah, that that red book audio that was crammed onto the '64. <laughs> this game is creepy as fuck. And I love it. Yeah, I, I gotta give the 64 credit. Any of their longer games, can you imagine the miracle it took to shove all this stuff onto a cartridge? I can't remember, Tibbs, you may know. Was it 64 megabytes or 128 was the biggest they had? Uh, I don't know. It's the N64, okay. so I would assume 64. You might be right, because I think that's what Resident Evil 2 was crammed on, was 64 megabytes, which is crazy. Interesting fact about this game that oh. anyone over the last 10 years probably already knows now is that the reason why so many character models in this game were taken from Ocarina of Time is because they only had a year to make this game. So they got oh. around it with the cl with the clever like alternate dimension thing, and it actually works. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, so that theory of uh, there could be another dimension out there, an alternative dimension, and we're in it, but a different lifestyle. It could be true, and it really holds true in this game. That's oh right. God. Alternative oh, lifestyles, man, at the turn of the century. Oh, no. No, this is becoming SJW land. I can't be here. I have to go now. So so does Robin, is Robin Leach in the alternative universe? Lifest alternative lifestyles of the rich and famous would be poor and infamous. <laughs> <laughs> here we dine on SpaghettiOs. Yeah. Huh. And ramen noodles. We're searching because these for people an spend invaluable their friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, they spent their tax refund on that car they couldn't afford. Yeah. So have either of you played this before? Oh, um, yeah, I beat it. I beat it like in 2001, and that was the last time I played this. Yeah, played this game. Uh, three times in 2000 or 2001 with a friend. I mostly watched. And that's about the only time I remember this game. I, I played Ocarina of Time for sure, but I don't remember Majora's Mask very well. Man, don't be a There's tattletale. There is tattle and tail. Get it? <laughs> uh, hey, I, 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 I sold a goat card of this game a couple weeks ago. That's all I remember. <laughs> First, I thought you said go kart. Go kart, <laughs> yes. Majora's Mask go kart. It's the best thing ever. Uh, my daddy bought it for me. He used to work for Nintendo. <laughs> oh. Ken Lob? Ken Kenny Loggins? Oh. Well, what the? Oh, boy. Yeah, Link, get off your high horse or, or low horse. Supposedly he's looking for Navi. Why, I don't know. Well, because she left without saying goodbye in Ocarina Tom. Uh, like a stuck up bitch. Figures. Uh, she bitches the whole game, then when she leaves, she doesn't say a word. Yeah, I was like, what's <laughs> up with that? Schizophrenic. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell Link a shotgun so he can just murder <laughs> everybody. The Skull yeah. Kid's looking for some crack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's on something. He's on something. If he sees and hears fairies around him. <laughs> oh no. The opponent's like whatever. Yeah. Let me hump him a little bit here. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh no. Let me touch it. And she's not talking about the ocarina. Oh, ladies. Oh god, stab him. Somebody stab him. All right, Nipsey Hammer. <laughs> Stop that <laughs> laugh. It's going to give me nightmares. Yeah, play uh, Can't Touch This on the Ocarina. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stab him. Stab him, little Link. Oh, I, n I never should have had those shots last night. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love that. Hey, my horse. You dick. Get Give off my horse! My <laughs> Give it back! Or you put the cart before the horse, or the go kart before the horse, or the Mario kart before the horse. Hey, you, Pony, you got a square tail. I believe yeah. you have my horse. I know it has poor pixelation count. Give me back my horse. Or it's time to square up against the Skull Kid here as he's stealing oh. Epona. <laughs> hey, this was our Breath of the Wild back in the day. <laughs> oh god, I feel sorry for you people, man. I feel sorry for you people today, too, but that's another story. No, it's true. A lot of a lot of people think that all the 3D Zelda games are the same and work the same. And let's be fair, a lot of them do, but this one there. stands out. All right, all right. I, I don't know. I You know, I, I look at the 64, and I don't mean to bring this up, but there it's supposed to be 64. It's supposed to be 64 I never miss bit. those jumps, yet I'm doing an LP, and I miss it. <laughs> well, of course, you gotta you gotta show that you're actually playing it, so you gotta play with people. Oh wait, oh, oh, this is where Link dies. Oh, that's a good ending. All right, guys, uh, remember to check out our Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, it's, it's my uh, first LP here, so I figured I'd keep it short. Yeah. Exactly. Whoa, this is a uh, one of those bright light things you play with when you were a kid. You put those little lights into the thing. The screensaver. No. Oh. No, 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 he's he's talking about bright lights, right? Yeah. Yeah, bright light, light bright. Light bright, sorry, yeah. Yeah. You, you know, I, I gotta say, though, uh, you know, this is supposed to be a 64-bit console, but I feel like the PlayStation could do this. It'd be a lot of loading times. Well, the 64 is on a cart. I, I understand that, absolutely, but I still feel like the PlayStation could easily do these graphics, even with their processor. Was the, wasn't the PlayStation 32... Yeah, it was only a 32-bit processor. Yeah. So you figured you'd get a little more power out of, you know, a 64-bit. I, I just always thought about that. It's like, it, the graphics look good for the time, but I just thought compared to the PlayStation, we get something a little better. Yeah, but on PS1, you get FMV. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And actually, hey, you know, we got you Final Fantasy. You can't have Metal Gear Solid on uh, N64. Actually, we did. It was win back. <laughs> That's the closest thing you guys got to Metal Gear Solid. Well, the, the Legend of Zelda Windbreaker, I didn't care about that game. <laughs> Starring Wario. Sorry, Wario. Yeah. Oh. Well, did this just turn into Silent Hill Vision? That's what it looks like. Yeah, it's real. This game is trippy. I'm tripping balls, man. Whoa. I love that logo. It looks like the Triforce broken up. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a DQ scrub. Uh-oh. I don't want no DQ scrub. A DQ scrub is... Um, yeah, Ronnie, okay. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. I, How many I, mushrooms I... have you had? <laughs> oh, whoa. A lot. I've been playing Mario Brothers for you. I just had mushrooms today on my pizza. Ah. Forgive Ronnie, everyone. The Undertaker... Uh, lost to Roman Reigns last night, so we're all still reeling from that one. Uh, yeah. I'm, well, st I'm still reeling from that. Well, Ronnie knows it was just part of the script. That's how it has to go. Well, your face is part of the script, too, but I mean... Hey, whatever. no, no, can you imagine? I'm just saying, when The Undertaker first got the script, he's like, what, I lose? Why can't you let me at least win my last match? Well, some wrestlers like to go out on their back. <laughs> is that what oh, they call it these days? Yeah. A respectful way to run off the sunset. Who would have the balls to hand a script to the Undertaker of all people? Right. I don't know. Yeah, e even even though he doesn't, I mean, he has some skill and he's tall and muscular. I wouldn't want to hand anything to that guy. If you hand him a script, he'll hand you a tombstone. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 
You you give Roman Reigns the script that says tater tots. You leave Undertaker alone. Exactly. <laughs> what do you want on your tombstone? Well, I want some sausage and pepperoni. No, I mean your little tombstone. I'm gonna beat you to death. Uh oh. Wow, so right here, yeah. Uh, I remember when this like this is creepy right here. Like Link is a DQ scrub, and I first play this, I'm like, whoa. It's like I mean I knew what to expect from the game from reading about it, but yeah, like it, you, this is like the first mask I guess you have. And I wonder if you can play as, uh, if you wear a mask like Rocky Dennis did in the movie Mask, and you can play uh -huh. as him and be real intelligent. You mean you're talking about that movie movie with Cher? Yeah. Oh, uh, let's not talk about Mask. Elephant Titus. Link breaks the fourth wall here, and I really like it. You mean he murders Navi by burning her? <laughs> he, he, like, stares at the camera. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. What are you looking at? Is there something right stuck here. in my face? <laughs> is, there, is there something wrong with my face? How do I eat? Do you, can you tell me how I eat with this face now? <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> how, how do I go to the bathroom? I don't understand any of this. Oh, yeah, Link's a pansy. Okay, uh, uh, thanks a lot, Link. Now you got pollen in the air. Yeah, good yeah, job. Right. Whoa, whoa, oh, barely made it. I think Nicholas I died right here. Flowers. I died right here like several times. <laughs> First part of the game because I keep failing to launch. Well, get good then. Yeah. yeah. The, the guy used good thing the I'm chest. playing. <laughs> the guy yeah. used the chest to store DQ nuts. That is like so cheap. I'm going to take this 400 groovy chest. And store ten dollars worth of DQ nuts in it. Now I can shit nuts. <laughs> you guys are nuts. <laughs> we are nuts for nuts. Ah. Planters go nuts. Uh, you. I don't want to go nuts for planters. Whoa. Now I'm not gonna say anything now, just in case I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Although if you haven't played this game while you're watching this, that little tree there, there's a very interesting theory about that tree, which I will cover in a later video. It's the great tree, right? I, I'm right, and I just took a wild guess. I Stop spoiling stuff. Well, I didn't know that was. I didn't know that was what you were gonna say. I literally just took a guess. I just thought, what the hell? I'll take a guess. At it's it. the sprout. No, I'll, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, no, he I'll, had a bender. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Deku tree, the alternate alternate dimension. Well, I mean that that that's cool. I assumed it's like ah, it's probably that. Okay. Well, wait, the Whoa. force tipple? Wait, the uh. force tipple now? Whoa. 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 That's it, can't go back, game over. This music's oh, actually no. is a way to glitch yourself over that door. Get game over, man, game over. Rip. Game over, no! Whoa, okay, here's Jeff. <laughs> Rolling start. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this guy had the Happy Mask Shop in Ocarina of Time. I'm sure you remember that. Hey, I see a Kabuki mask and some creepy one. So this That's guy is it. not an alternate character. He's the same character from Ocarina of Time. Yes, I believe so. Cool. So, so Link and this guy, the only two. Consistent characters. I believe that's right. Look yeah. at that other mask. Ooh. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Come to my happy mask shop. You know, I also sell games and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, just just a few things, guys. I could talk Precious about Ronnie talking about me. Dude, a lot was stolen from me. My freaking dignity. Dude, I Wait. have no penis. I Wait. literally have no penis. That. that Okay, this is the guy from Third Rock. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you could finally admit that, Jeff. Oh, no, look, I, look. I, it took me a lot. Anyway, look, this guy is the, is the guy from Third Rock from the Sun. Oh, uh, David, Sh <laughs> not David Schwimmer. Um, the radio. Fr French Stewart. He's French yeah, Stewart. Yeah. Open your eyes when you talk mask. to me. <laughs> yeah. Fr French Stewart is grinning like an idiot. Yeah. If J-Man was here, he'd want me to read all this. Yeah. Oh, boy. We're not doing that. Blah, blah, blah. 
you gotta go on a quest and do some shit, blah blah blah. I could uh, do it in Swahili. <laughs> I knew it. Wait, do, it in, you. Do, do it do it in Hollyan. No, I'm sorry, Termanian. Ah I'll, I'll talk like the carpenters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just do like that and prance around like a sissy. <laughs> Oh no. Welcome to Termina. Specifically, Clocktown. And I mean, I, this is a good game, but I really didn't like this system here, the, the three day system. Yeah. You, can't you just reset your uh, 64's memory back? <laughs> I figured maybe no. that was it. Oh. But we got like we got it easy here in North America because in the Japanese version of this game, in this game there's two ways to save. You can travel, use the Song of Time spoilers to get back to the first day, and that's a hot, that's a f permanent save. Or you can temporarily save the owl statues. In the Japanese version of the game, the, the owl statues did not work that way. So the only way you could save the game was to go back in time. So no complaining. Wow. Yeah, I just didn't like the system, though, overall, not just the fact that, I mean, uh, from the way the Japanese people had it, I mean, uh, you know, I just can't really explain it. J-Man knows what I'm talking about, like, just the three-day system. I'm like, eh, I didn't like that. I was yeah. intimidated by it at first, but once I, once I, because I got this game for Christmas in 2000, right after it came out, and I was intimidated by it at first, but once I really started to play it, I was like, this is really cool. I was, what was this, 2000? I was playing Metal Gear Solid, I think. Yeah. I was playing this and uh, a lot of, I think, some, the SmackDown, the old SmackDown games for PS1 and PS2. I think. Oh, those, those were those were okay back in the day, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was also playing, I remember, Final Fantasy IX, because my mom bought it and I snuck into her bedroom to see what she got me for Christmas. I was like, <gasps> Final Fantasy IX! <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, I wish I could have got. I wish I could have known you guys that back then. It would have been cool if we could communicate. Just saying. Yeah. Oh yeah. But no, we didn't know each other. Yeah, we have different walks of life from different ages. <laughs> oh, also, I would have. I would have used like satellite internet to contact you guys at the time. I think we had uh, dish. Um, what was it? Uh, Net TV. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing, I mean, Jeff. I don't know if we, uh -huh. I don't know if we could have gotten kind of uh, gotten hold of Ronnie in the mid '90s. He was stuck at that compound. Oh yeah! Uh, oh yeah. man! Well, yeah, it, I, it took... yeah. Uh -huh. I was gonna say I was stuck in the compound in '93. I'm, I wouldn't be able to communicate with you because I was being held hostage until David Koresh finally let me go. <laughs> yeah, it, he still hates Janet Reno to this day. He went and spit on her grave a couple months ago. Uh, wait, aren't they both dead? Yeah, they're both dead. Oh, <laughs> yes, David Koresh died are. years ago. Janet Reno died like a year or six months ago, something like that. Remember that uh, those national parks are still around, which I'm surprised they've been sued for lying, fake, making fake news. But they, I remember shortly after the compound burned down, they said David Koresh was sighted escaping from a tunnel, and I was like, I was a little oh, kid. Yeah. I was a little kid back then. Whoa, he's still alive! Did you ever see the South Park where they they spoof that whole thing? No. All the adults in town are having a meteor shower party, and the ATF thinks they're like a cult about to commit suicide, so they're outside with like guns and shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. The, the, oh, oh yeah, like like people who would uh, call raids on Let's Players, like fucking oh, SWAT man. team come yeah. in. Oh yeah, swatting. That's, that's that, messed up. That, that, that's... that one, this one kid I know for sure got 20, 25 years, and he was all crying in court. What? Like, well, that's what you get, you idiots. You thought that was funny? You don't think yeah. it's funny yeah. now, do you? Yeah, you better recognize. I, I would love it though, where I live, the cops would literally just laugh and come over. It's like, Jeff, are you doing anything stupid? No. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> well, I got oh, I got oh. a I got a Dunkin' Donuts down the street from me, so they'd probably stop there first. Oh well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's 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 okay. My uncle works for the sheriff's department. I'll be all right. All right. So here's we got his friends. Yeah. <laughs> The Bombers Gang. Oh, also, everybody, awkward reminder, tomorrow is local election day, so go out and vote for your local candidates. I know that's weird, but just saying. <laughs> yeah. Star Soldier? Unless you're watching this, like, two years from now. Well, unless yeah. you're watching this tomorrow, then you might already be late. 
But if you're watching yeah, this yeah. in the morning, get your ass out and go vote. This video is uploaded a year later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking lost, about? Let's play. One time, Green didn't upload uh, part one of the Double Dragon 3 LP to a month later. Wow. There have been times we've made a vi we've made videos together, Ronnie, and I wake up the next morning, it's not up, and I think well, one of the Zelda videos is like that recently. Like, what's taking him so long? Yeah. Well, it, it takes some time to edit. Life. I, I, yeah, I, I think I've waited, the longest I've waited was a week, and because I was just being really stupid and like, ah, oh, I need to do it, but I don't want to do it. I didn't yeah. want to do it. He's I, did, I didn't do it. I didn't I'm pirouetting. The east side now. Get that kid. Oh, what was that? Oh. Yes, folks, we're playing uh, tag here. So in the the flash nuts. Oh, Jeff no. Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett, slap nuts. What'd you call me? Look at this guard. He'll let the kid run out there, but not yeah. Kid. Well, because you're a freak and he doesn't like freaks. That's his son. That's why you stay away from my son. That's Chris Hansen. Yeah, well, it's kid. possible to backpedal past him as a Deku. So meh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Parker, yeah, Parker, you look like a freaking. Creeper, like a deku scrub. You do look like something that should have been burnt. You know? That guard, that like, guard was. No, that's a, that kid is actually a decoy, and that guard is Chris Hansen. <laughs> and, and you're the you're the predator. I want you to have a seat over here. Look at you. Yeah. You look like a freaking predator. See that box? Have a seat. Yeah, have a seat in that box. All right, sir. Oh, with... Sir, you trying to run, sir? And all the guards are chasing you. All the Come on, guards. Come shit. There you go. Finally, all, all the all the Chris ha Hansen references just Dude, wonderful. Booger was hard to catch. Booger red. Ah, Bastion Booger. I the dogs do not like Deku. I never got that reference. Booger red. What? what? <laughs> I do not know. I like the mailman in this game, but not as much as Twilight Princess. I love oh, yeah. that. that the one in Twilight Princess is the best one. Oh boy. Wait, there is no mailman in. Uh, oh, wait. You said Twilight Prince. For some reason, I thought you said Ocarina of Time. No. Man, the mailman here is fast. Yeah, remember who he was in Ocarina of Time? That marathon runner. Yeah. This is him in the alternate dimension? Yeah. So, who would Ganon be in the alternate dimension? Hmm. I guess the mask? Or George Mask? Who was, who was Zelda be? <laughs> Awkward silence because we can't think of anything witty. Right. I, where, you're, 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 you're losing us, man. You're losing us. I, I'm going to take a nap now. No. No, no we, well, we were. Fell asleep again. <laughs> no. Oh. Well, no, we're so used to back in the day, uh, and I think we're still kind of used to that, doing like 10 to 15 minute Let's Plays because the time restriction. But now yeah. there's almost like no time restriction. We can do 24 no, hours there's... of farts. It'd be great. I know yeah. it. Or like a song, a three minute song, like over the course of 10 hours. Oh, it'd be fantastic. I think I'm going to do 24 hours of farts. I'll just have to find a lot right. of fart clips. One, four, three, five, two. All right. Uh, write that down. Mm. Make sure to put it in your handy dandy Zelda journal. Yeah. <laughs> only, only 19.99. Great deal. Yeah, 19.99. Ten dollars more expensive than the network. <laughs> and yeah. then, oh, here we go. Here's the advertisement. Now we yeah. know who Ronnie's working for. Get the Haro Network for only 999 rupees. <laughs> I tell you what, JR, it's amazing. It's amazing. You get all the content, excluding the uh, CDI games. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pay an extra twelve ninety nine for the CDI games. They're so cool. You gotta pay yeah. more money for them. And then they have we'll episodes. pay you to play those. No, 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 no. Uh huh. Then they do an addition of Table for Three, Link, Zelda, and Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They they want to charge more money so people don't know how shitty they are until after the. No, pay I got for it. it. I got it. The uh, the CGI games could be an episode of Swerved, and they were the brainchild of Vince Russo. <laughs> oh. Instead of the games, they just get YouTube poops. Yeah. And they have the how the uh, how roll uh, uh, the Legend of Zelda Hall of Fame induction ceremony. 
Zelda and Ducks Link. <laughs> Is then, that uh, what uh, they uh, call uh, 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 Gonem and Ducks Ganon? <laughs> Who? Huh? What? You said a uh, Did you mean Agnum? Uh, it's pronounced a Gonem. No, it's not. Yeah, it's pronounced. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, Agnum don't sound right. A Gonem. When Danny announced it as a Gonem, I said that makes more sense. I've I've always heard it as Agnum. What? Who really knows for sure? I mean, we, a lot of us now pronounce video game characters' names in a certain way, and then years later we find out it's Magus, not Magus. And so we're like, oh, well, who cares? Hey, uh, why is there an old man with a bunch of kids hanging out in this place? A little weird. Except except with Ninja Gaiden. You can't say Gaiden. Yeah, it, it's yeah. Gaiden. It, it, well, no, that, it's that, Gaiden. Well, that, that, that's no debate right there. So... So this fucking freak over here, pardon my French, but just, ah, Jesus. Oh, salty tears. Oh, he's crying. But see, people still crying over the Undertaker retiring. Including the moon. So so that, that jerk off right there decides, I'm just going <laughs> to hang Roman out Reigns. up here all day. That's Roman Reigns up there. Roman Reigns. Yeah. This is his yard now. Watch out for him, Link. Gee, this guy looks more like Roman than anything. No, he looks like Sean Connery from uh, The Rock when he was in prison before he had his hair shaved. Yeah. Gentlemen, welcome to The Rock. Yeah. If you smell what I'm cooking. I love this music. Ronnie has it in his bedroom for the ladies. He just turns on, hey, ladies. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like my bedtime that. music. <laughs> it, it, it actually originally belonged to Dr. Light in Mega Man X3 when he talks to X. Yeah. Yeah. Step into the capsule. Yeah. We have the yeah. tear of the moon. Tear of the moon. That sounds like an awesome RPG attack name. I'm gonna tear you up. Um. Okay. <gasps> so you you come here to sell me wares and you don't have anything. Yeah. Uh, technically, he does. Trust me, my, I know. My wife would love it. The world's gonna end, but you know, my wife would love it. Yeah. <laughs> world War Three? No, they're having a shoe sale. Yeah, like seriously, the world is gonna end. I mean, does anyone worry in this area about the moon being so close? So then, that's Al Bundy in the alternate dimension. Oh, absolutely. You know what I just realized? Where, what, where's all the, like the tide problems? The moon that close would really screw up the tides. Should be flooding well, everywhere. Exactly. Maybe you're not in that part of the game yet. That's a good point. Yeah, that's where Wind Waker comes in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zelda, Global Warming Edition, Al Gore special. Beerson Beers Butthead, uh, the Wind Breaker. Instead of Ocarina, that's used your hand or mouth. <laughs> Play this song after me. Learn this song. What <laughs> warming is real? I'm cereal. I'm super cereal, guys. Oh, there's what you got. Calm down, dude. <laughs> well, yeah, checking my live stream. You know, I'm playing, uh, yeah, maybe I'm worth your six here, 10 hour stream. Here we go. Well, I'm going to eat Subway while, while I'm doing it. Sponsored by Subway. See, look, you donate, yeah, donate to his, uh, <laughs> use, don't, don't use Streamlabs, Link, don't, don't use Streamlabs. Oh. oh, God, just, just get a Patreon, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Don't use Streamlabs, take an extra 20 rupees out of your account. Give me money, <laughs> give me money. Yeah. All right, thanks, all right, Link, Link's gonna request uh, a game, Link's gonna request a game for him to stream, uh, Majora's Mask, all right, you got I, it, lost. Like I, Silent I, Rob, don't let the money stop you. Oh, God, <laughs> you guys are cracking me up over here, I can't help myself. Nico is gonna kill me if he <laughs> He never watches us. <laughs> oh yeah, who am I kidding? Yeah. Oh goodness. He's gotten so professional now, it's like wow. Yeah. There's some of naked for girls us. dancing. Yeah. Link's like fuck yeah. Nothing! I wanted more donations. Yeah, I just wanted to say hi to that guy again. <laughs> no, you were, to, you were about to tell them they took extra 20 rupees out of my <laughs> out of PayPal. <laughs> you damn bastards took it out of my PayPal, you damn guy. 
Uh, you better get out of here. You're going to get expelled. Uh. <laughs> I, I think Ronnie's having a stroke. Yeah, I'm the one with all the stroke around here. Whoa, wait. <laughs> uh, whoa, speaking of stroke, what is this guy doing? Uh, uh, I think he got stuck Stro in the toilet. Struck, man. Oh, here you go, dude. Yeah. Do you have a square to spare? No, I don't. James Hetfield's in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why did he fall into the ba toilet? He lives uh, um, Don't uh, think that. Oh, uh, you, you touched that heart piece after he just... <laughs> what? There is shit all over that. Link's, uh, Link's got a heart on. Jeez. I'm in charge of this train now, bitches. It's x ray <laughs> Oh, God. I guess this, this game is crappy on this toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what Jerry Long said about ECW when it hit, they were attacking everybody? He goes, This house is built out of toilet paper. There's ain't nothing in it but shh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Pat, didn't, didn't, uh, was it Cor didn't, uh, Corn? No, uh, was it Lawler oh, or Cornette? Someone whacked Tommy Dreamer right in the balls and busted his nutsack. Oh, I don't know about and that. And here we have two girls practicing for their thriller. We gotta try out. What the hell is going on? Oh, oh the game's oh. glitching. Did, did Hideo Kojima direct oh, <laughs> Now we we've only we would have only played about five seconds. You are almost yeah. at a time already. You this world's fucked. That's what we got again. <laughs> hey, hey, Link! Did you notice my live stream? Also, why is the moon so close? 200 more rupees, I'll play Deadly Towers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I, I'll never get over. What the hell? Whoa. Whoa. All these jump cuts. Whoa. I have magical powers. Okay, now yeah. I feel like we're in a Tim Burton movie. Oh, can you read that? No. <sighs> that was just to pass the time. So we're in the final day already. Uh... We're dead. I love, the way he, I love the way he runs. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. You only have three stars and it's the final, or three hearts. It's the final day. This place looks polluted. All this jump cutting, it's got me so disoriented. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, be thankful. It could have been an hour long. That no, that no, that that's true. No, I'm not. Wait, it's true, is, this it's the, true. Is, is this the only part? Is this the whole game? Yeah, this game is only three that, days long. That is awesome. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought it was the only part. I was like, that's amazing, man. <laughs> what do you got? What do you do? That's a stupid kid from Ocarina of Time. That stupid idiot. Yeah, I hate Deadly Towers. You know what happens to people that don't do a donation shout out or donation uh, request? <laughs> He's made the list. Oh man, I, I gotta tell you guys, sorry, a friend a friend just sent me a link while we were talking, and it's about WWE. Uh, NTX Takeover is coming to Chicago on May the 20th, and that's the same weekend as ASIN. So my friend is like, it's during ASIN, why would you do that? Excuse oh. me, it's NXT? Jeez. Sorry, sorry. CM Punk's return, confirmed. Yeah. Well, how it, this guy get up there? <laughs> it's funny because they do uh, they do wrestling cosplaying on uh, Sundays. That's their big day to go dress up as wrestling. That's what wrestling is. It's cosplaying. I, it really is. <laughs> exactly. Uh, wrestling is stupid because it's not real. Well, no. Yeah, a did lot you know of it's fake? A lot of things aren't real. But it's entertaining to some people. It's not my cup of tea. But Oh, an adult wallet. Ooh. Whoa. It's still real to me. He's a big boy now. <laughs> I'm a big kid now. Daddy, wow. I mean, daddy. And we're all gonna die. <laughs> Undertaker's gone. Undertaker's gone here for the last time. Oh no. Oh. You gotta blow up the moon. It's the only way. Bark at the moon. Fuck it, man. Da -da -da. <gasps> so, Tibbs, is this going to be a 100% run? Yeah, I hope so. Should be. Because I know this game like the back of my hand. 
All right, Robert Gibson. Ricky, I know you like to pat <laughs> my hand. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Well, that moon's got to be real close now. Oh yeah. I know that you idiot. Shut up. Uh, oh. Uh, the moon's like, help me. Well, at least the at least his nasal passages are clean. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's no the moon's hair. Here, instead, the moon's here. Get the moon's, He's got that Freddy moon's, Krueger face. You get the moon's <laughs> booger. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's a ROM hack. Yeah. You gotta pay extra for that for us. Uh, we'll, we'll hack it for you. Yeah. You thought the video froze, didn't you? Huh? If you notice closely, you can you can see it moving clo real, real slow. Just yeah, like the views seriously. on this video. <laughs> seriously, like, in real life, man, just imagine that. Oh, definitely. But of course, in real life, if the moon was in the Earth like that. <laughs> be a lot of uh, waves and destruction. Oh, absolutely, we'd be flooded. That's one small step for man. One giant. What the hell is this? Yeah. At least he brushes his teeth. <laughs> he has he has pretty good molars there. Yeah. Here. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Here's the next entry to the Royal Rumble. Oh. Roman uh, Reigns! Uh, 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 dun it dun it What the fuck? Oh, oh my god, I can't believe it was him all along. Did you see all the reaction videos after the Rumble, Ronnie? Yeah. You should have seen it earlier tonight uh, on Raw when he first came out. The crowd went out there on the talk. They saying, boo, F you, Roman. Clap, clap. F you, Roman. And the only thing he finally said, every time when he would put the microphone to his mouth, they would boo louder because they didn't want to hear him talk. So he kept on being quiet. And finally he said, this is my yard now. And they dropped the mic and left. Boo! Boo! <laughs> oh, they'll be cheering him as a hero in a few more weeks. That's all it takes. <laughs> no. It Come on. You know, you, know, you know how this works, Ronnie. You know, I know how this I do know how it play. works. <laughs> maybe a few more years, maybe. Okay. Anyway, I've seen a little bit of wrestling, so Roman Reigns is the guy who wears the tactical vest, and he did, he looks like a Mortal Kombat character to me, kind of. He's like a SWAT team member, yeah. Yeah, yeah like like SWAT team member, but he's ca it's SWAT team on casual Friday. <laughs> all right, Tail. Yeah, all right, sorry. This, this is where Tail finds... Or uh, Tattle. Who's ta Dang, I forgot who's who. Who's the brother or sister? Tattle's the white one. The white one's racist. White, she gotta be white. <laughs> Come on, tail me. Bring What's them going here. On here. Oh, that's abuse. Him slapped him. Stupid fairy. That's a that's Jericho behind the mask. You stupid idiot. You think you're our Facebook friend after that? Delete, delete, delete. <laughs> Speaking of which, did you hear the crowd chanting that when the Hardys came back? Yeah, that was cool. I love how he's so focused on that fucking ocarina while the world's about to end on his head. Yeah, I'm wondering, like, if, if everybody dies, isn't he going to go I down with I love this him? line. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it! Yeah. <sighs> I mean, does he realize, is he going to die too? Or can he just fly away? Uh... Yeah, he's got magical powers, man. Uh, shizzle. Uh, sorry, Link. We're effed. Yeah. We're boned. Ooh, we're gonna stop him. We're gonna oh. stop him with DQ nuts. He it breaks. He just used a bubble lid. <laughs> That'd be funny if it broke. Yeah. That would be hilarious. The only time Zelda is mentioned in this entire game. Yeah. I miss her. Her booty. That Zelda booty. Speaking of which, there's the booty. There's that booty. The booty man? Booty, take, booty, booty. Take this ocarina and don't forget about that passionate night we had together. Do you remember the booty man, yeah. Tibbs? Do you, do you know what his finish move was? What's that? The high knee. Get it? His high uh -oh. knee. It's the high knee to the face. The high knee. His booty. High knee. Oh. 
no. <sighs> I'm, I'm, that's, I'm, that's not a joke. That was real. I don't doubt it. <sighs> Poor British The ding-dongs, the hunchbacks, anything is possible. Well, the shock. This is during, during, during the Hogan WCW era. This is the Bischoff era. Yes, take us back in time where wrestling was good. <laughs> <laughs> take us back to the 80s and 90s when we didn't care. We just yes, loved it. Back, it was good. back when Undertaker still undefeated WrestleMania. And Hulk Hogan was about to go oh, all Hulkamania on you, brother. Yeah. Speaking of which, you might find this interesting, Ronnie. I actually heard the other day. And I didn't know this. Apparently, the original plan for the WrestleMania 7 main event was not Hogan versus Slaughter. It was Hogan for, are you ready for this? Tugboat. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I heard it was supposed to be Hogan and Warrior 2. This time, Hogan goes over. But whatever. And for what? WrestleMania 8, it's supposed to be Hogan and Flair. But someone messed that up. You know who we, we need? Snap out of it. Why are you talking about wrestling? Get yourself together. Hogan oh, yeah, versus Gawker. No, oh, Hogan. Hogan oh, won. Hogan. He bitch slapped Gawker. You know, that, that that's, that's, so typical, that's so typical Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan is down, getting beat up, and he makes that miraculous comeback and wins. He gets that sweet Gawker money. Yep. He don't sell for no one. Right. What? Then no, the he, world? No, he, he sold. He just didn't hardly put anybody Them over. pipes. The song of time. Whoa. 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 Uh, Albert Einstein Twilight was wrong. Zone. Albert Einstein was wrong. You don't need to control artificial gravity to create uh, to travel in time. You've seen an ocarina. Flashback. See, here's the thing. Every time you do it from this point on, it won't show this, but I wonder if Link still experiences it every single time. Ah! Right. Yeah. Dude, still and just like that, we are back. Reminds you the movie Click, where you wake up and things are back to normal. Really? It reminds you of an Adam Sandler movie? Or yeah. it would be like the butterfly effect. Butter, how about, butterfly how about, effect. <laughs> how about Groundhog Day? Well, yeah, that too. You little brat, you have never thanked me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Bill Murray. Even you know, though Bill you... Murray is in the Hall of Foam and, and my job. Really? Yeah, there's like <laughs> the, the other old Chicago restaurants. He's on the Hall of Foam, which means you complete the beer tour, <laughs> like drink certain amounts of beer, and accumulate accumulate points. You get your own nameplate in the Hall of Foam. It says William Murray, and I forgot what city and state though he, he was oh, in. Oh, oh, you work in old Chicago now? I've been to one of those. Oh yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, Jeff, you must have eaten there because you're from Chicago. Oh wait, I'm. Oh, we're all from Chicago. <laughs> Don't you know that? Yeah. Including I prefer Park. New Chicago. CM yeah. Punk is on there too. It says Phil Brooks. No, I was kidding. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we're, we're Southern Chicago. You know, you know how that Whoa. works. Shaking baby syndrome. Watch out. Uh, have you met Miss Solari's cow? What? Oh, oh, yeah. It, it it loves to talk about how it burnt down. Oh, Chicago was great. All right, now here's a song of ECW. Yes. I, I'm really starting to think Hideo Kojima directed this. That's Hideo Kojima. Hideo, I'm American. It's Hideo because he's hideous. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did think it was Hideo because, you know, video, it's not video. Video. Yeah, but he's Japanese. Hideo Kojima fan. Oh, like ah! There's like Demi Moore as Demi. Bye bye. Not Demi. I never heard of a semi tractor tra or semi semi tractor trailer. <laughs> You're alive again. Well, he's been alive. He's I mean, he's back. To I I am I am white again. Wait, what, what was that? What, what did you say? Uh, nothing. I didn't say anything. Make America white again. <laughs> whoa, 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 Jay, man, oh, easy no. there. 
Now I'm gonna get swatted. Make, make <laughs> no, no, no. It's make Twitter great again. We know what it's supposed to be, guys. No, make MySpace great again. When was it ever great? great? It make, wasn't. Make MySpace great again. Make <laughs> MySpace great. Well, just Timberlake. What's like, MySpace? I forgot you're a young kid. Well, you know what? You get on Friendster and find out. I'll yeah. tell you everything. <laughs> now you get on a high five and find out. Oh god, no! You get on AIM <laughs> Messenger and go on the chat board Jeez. and see what's going on. No, no, no! Get on CompuServe. Oh, it's man. amazing. Yeah, fire up the old Windows 98. Yeah. No, no, no! CompuServe is like 93. Windows 3.1, baby. Hey, back then it was cool to hear uh. And, and then if, <laughs> if you didn't have uh, what's it what's it called a filter? you would be like, Mom, don't get on the phone. I'm on the internet. What are you doing, Jack? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. I'm on the internet. Yeah. yeah. My left hand is free. <laughs> no, yeah, you are downloading pictures of porn. You're not even looking at them on the internet at that point. Whoa, Jeff, calm down. Hey, I'm When Staples down. Playboy issue came out. <laughs> <laughs> really? That happened? I don't remember that. Yeah, it happened like twice, three times if you count when she was in there with Tori. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I thought you said staples. And I was like, staples had a <laughs> staple. <laughs> how, 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 how about you staple your mouth shut? Ouch. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff's feelings were hurt so hard. Remember the episode of Night Court where Bull accidentally stapled himself? Oh, yeah. Yes. And they go, oh, does that hurt? Okay. They go, does that hurt? He goes, like hell. But he's not even selling it. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Why don't we watch a night court? Let's let's play night court. Yeah. You play as uh, the judge. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, uh, no, you play as Marshall Warfield. <laughs> oh. I want to be Dan. I want to be Bull. Of course you want to be bull. Yeah, you are bull. <laughs> yeah. His first move. Because he got PS. plenty of bulls down there in Texas. Yeah. They're Brahma bull. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Oh, cool. Quote Ron Moore. Yeehaw. <laughs> yeehaw. Right, well, yeah. he is from Texas. They all say yeehaw. What is this guy doing? <laughs> He's, Jeff, what are you on, dude? I am on crack cocaine, baby. Now he's back to French Stewart again. Uh, uh, you bid Texas we sp- for the dollar sign. Now he's fondling an invisible pair of boobs. <laughs> Come here, my child. Uh, and that is it for this part. Uh, I feel like I just watched a David Lynch movie. <laughs> I know, it was just surreal. You're going to need to have a lynching. Well, thank you guys for supporting me in the first part of my LP here. You are very welcome, sir. It's good to be here. Yep. All right. That was part one of Majora's Mask. We'll see you soon for part two. For all more and Jeff, this is Tibbs. God bless. Take care. Goodbye. woo Hello everyone, Tibbs here. Welcome to Majora's Mask Part 2, along with my good friends Ron Moore and Revenus Specter. What's up? What's happening? Yes, gone but not forgotten. I am back. Yeah, it's time to get good. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what I was doing. I was getting good. <laughs> yeah. I figure I'm doing my own LP on here. I gotta get good. Right. Exactly. <laughs> now the game's really gonna get interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Last this time? A, yeah, yep. yeah, go ahead. Last time we did the first three days, and now it is time to really get going here. Right. What was that? What was that Pikachu? Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that, Pikachu. <laughs> Gotta do my laundry. It sounds like someone sneezing when you say it. <laughs> yeah, there's 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 so much stuff in this game you can do before you even exit exit this town. There's so like mini games and little things you can do in the town. Right. Is this in the beginning, uh, the very start of the game? I'm guessing. Not the very start, because the first three days you're a Deku, and then once you get your uh, true form back, then that's kind of where the game officially, officially begins. Yeah. Okay. Because the restraint, restraints are off. Oh. It was like he's having oh. some fun with that box there. 
Whoa, oh, all right. All right, 21. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He'd be swearing the whole time. Right, yeah. That's because hey, the man is What number are you at in the video? Because I had my uh, speed cranked up a bit. I forgot I had that on a previous video. We're at 143. Alrighty. Yeah. <laughs> what is this guy Your doing? Speed. He's having fun with that box, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. I write gamer, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I remember when I played this, um, well, I never played it on the N64, but I used to have it on the 3DS because I never really had given it a shot, and I played it, and I'm like, oh, man, I said I couldn't, I couldn't really, couldn't really get into it, so I ended up selling the game, and I'm like, yeah, I can understand people really liking this title, knowing it gives a real interesting look into, uh, uh, a new Legend of Zelda, or at the time it was a new Legend of Zelda, and just a real unique time premise and all that. But I've usually been a person where I couldn't really stand being on time limits in games. And when I found out that that was one of the things that the uh, the game encompassed, I said, "You know what?" I said, "Nah." I said, I said I'm, "I'm not. I'm not feeling it." <laughs> yeah, me either. I mean, well, I, I did enjoy this game all the way through, but. It, it did not make me want to go back and play it again. That's the only thing uh, already I didn't like. The, the whole time constraints thing, I'm not a big fan of that either in any game. Well, here's the thing about Majora's Mask is that with Ocarina of Time, it kind of starts off right away. There's a dungeon within the first few minutes if you know what you're doing. Whereas this game, even if you know what you're doing, it takes a lot of doing for it to actually truly start. And I think a lot of people, like it just didn't have a good first impression with them. A game's got to grip you right off the bat. And I don't think it gripped, this one gripped a lot of people. Kind of like Wind Waker, its 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 legacy has kind of grown over the last, God, 20, almost 20 years now, 17 years. Yeah. And now Link's in Terminal Field, or he fell in the, in the pit. Whoa, I hate those things. Yep. Oh, I love the pea hats. Yeah. Good grief. Is there yeah, there's similar? four grottos. Is there something four similar? grottos in this game. Yep. Just Go ahead. Sim similar or worse in uh, uh, how 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 warriors dang it, uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, P hats are not in Breath of the Wild. No, that would be cool though. I saw uh, an image where it says "Welcome to the, uh, the uh, uh, Spectre." I think you shared it in the How Warriors group. It says "Welcome to the Legend of No F this, I'm out of here." And then it shows some some big thing chasing Link. Oh yeah, it was uh. I forgot what it was. I know what you're talking about, though, but I forgot what the text yeah, was. Yeah, I, I saw, I saw it too, but I can't remember. Terminal Field. That's another yeah, that's thing that that really, um, I'm not bashing this game completely, but what really made me value Ocarina of Time more than this is, it's not Hyrule anymore, and it's just, uh, yeah, Ganon's not in the game, and and I understand well if Ganon's gonna be the boss of every Zelda game, that can get old. You gotta change it up a bit. But I just I've, I've always loved Zelda games with uh, like I guess the same form, formula pretty much. Well, here's an interesting fact, Ronnie. To go into what you were talking about in terms of tradition, this game has the one thing that Ocarina of Time didn't that many would say a true Zelda game should have. The Ocarina of Time actually did not have the main Zelda theme in it, and this one does because we just heard it. Oh yeah, that that is right. Yeah, and it's funny because you think they would have it in Ocarina of Time, but no, they have it in Termania instead for Majora's Mask. Another I mean, classic Zelda tune that a lot of people don't know appears in this game, as we'll see in a future part. And I mean, uh, but this game though, so many masks to wear. And, yeah, there is. <laughs> and so that that's yeah, what there's is that's twenty what's of them. Cool. Me and uh, Lens of Truth would debate about this. No, Ocarina of Time's better. No, Ron, uh, Majora's Mask is better. Look at all the masks you can wear and all the stuff. I said, I don't care. Ocarina of Time's better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're in the cuckoo's nest here. Oh, Romani Ranch. Roman Razor Romani Ranch? Razor Romani. You try Roma to come here on the first two days, you can't get in there because that big boulder. Hey, Chico, you want some lawn lawn milk? Yeah. Can I get a side of Romani hey, range, please? Hey, 
You so, don't know who I am. But, no, wait, no, wait. <laughs> That's not what he says. <laughs> hey, Chico. You know what, man? You want some Eraser Amor? He's like, you know who I am, but you don't know why, why I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. I'm here for that milk. <laughs> I, when, I was, when, I was, when I was watching that, my mom was in the room. He goes, you know who I am? She goes, no, I don't. I said, no. <laughs> I, said, I do. <laughs> <laughs> this don't is one of my life. favorite things in the whole game to do, right here. It's an emo guy, mockery of time. This ma this mask has two purposes. One, in well, this isn't necessary, but it is for me because I love this. And one unnecessary thing, which we'll see, but not for a long time. I gotta keep you in suspense. Keep you watching. Yeah, well, wow, Link picking up chicks here. Link's got a lot of charisma in this game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Well, he reminds me of, dang it, Stanley Ipkiss from The Mask, because yes. Stanley Ipkiss uh, has no charisma. He's kind of like a loser or loner, so to speak. And uh, Link, not that Link's a loser, but he's like quiet and shy and mute. But he puts on these masks, he becomes charismatic and something different. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, I really do believe that in Breath of the Wild, even though it, it was it was basically revamping the entire Zelda formula, Link should have had a voice. I think that they really should give him a voice this time around. I mean, Zelda had one for crying out loud. And when she's talking to Link, it's just like she's telepathically trying to pick up stuff he's thinking because he's not talking to her. I'm like, dude. <laughs> well, you know, he, here's the, th the thing about that is um, part of me likes the silent protagonist but at the same time is in something that's so story driven and especially when like Zelda's having these these emotional conflicts with herself and all he does is stay quiet what they should have done is have him like kind of build up it up to him speaking and initially what I thought they were going to do is with all the cutscenes maybe he would be mute at the start of the game because you know his memory's lost and all that but come to find out spoilers that most of the cutscenes in the game take place before the game even starts. So, you know, they be, probably should have given him a voice, but I don't think after all this time, everyone would have been happy with w what the result would have been. Like, I, I love Zelda's voice, but I know a lot of people hate it. Yeah, I didn't see any problem with it. I don't understand why people were saying in such an uproar about him. I mean, about her. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think Link should still stay quiet as the uh, silent protagonist, as Tip said. And, but I mean, if he did talk in Breath of the Wild, I'm sure it wouldn't be as bad as in the CDI games. <laughs> or the cartoon. Yeah, if this was the if this was the CDI Link right here, he'd be like, oh boy, I grew some cocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get all the chicks. Oh, shut up, Link. Well, excuse me. I won. Me, Prince. Yeah, oh, yeah. I yeah. won! <laughs> Jeez. We had to give him like a real gruff Jason Statham kind of voice. That'd be nice. Yeah. No, I can picture Link maybe sounding like, uh, uh man. I don't know. Christian Slater? I don't know. Oh, and Ron, one thing we have to do, and now that I'm part of the LP group on here or so, I insist we do this at some point with all the bashing that we've done. We must do an LP of at least one of those CDI games at some point. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm all for that. Oh, wow. We could do Jeff's favorite game, Wanda BCW. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda BCW. It just drips I gotta blood. Pee, I gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's wrapped in barbed wire and dipped in glass. Hey, hey, you know what, Ron? I mean, Wanda Gamelon would be better on the Sega Saturn. Yeah, I'm leaving the girls at the ranch alone. They've been traumatized enough. <laughs> it's interesting because uh, we're doing an LP. The way when I play this game myself is what, like, um, when I play this game you know, by myself in my own amusement, what I usually do is I try to get everything, as many heart pieces, as much stuff in the town as I can before I even leave. But when I, uh, like, with an LP like this, or the few that I actually did on my own channel, which I'm not doing anymore, is you try to, like, spread it out so things don't get boring. Yeah. I mean, my, my goal, uh, 
if I had my way, I would upload each part of an LP every day, but I just don't have the time. Yeah, I know. That's why I, I, I mean, I, I had my channel for a few weeks, and I was uploading music, you know, Iron Maiden reviews and some like NES games. But and those videos are still up. I won't take them down for anyone that wants to see. But it just between work and you know home life and you know uh, doing videos on this channel and and being a guest on your channel, Ronnie. I just and I, I it wasn't fun for me anymore. So I decided, you know what? I'm a guest. I'm a fan, but I'm not a creator. That's just not me. Yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah, it's um, everybody has their own way of doing things on YouTube. Some people just want to be a guest, and I enjoy. Uh, I, I'm very. I'm, I'm rarely a guest. I'm usually the one hosting LPs, yeah. or videos, or, or podcasts and stuff. So rare. I'm rarely a guest, but I, but I love being a guest at once every blue moon. But I'm mainly a creator. I've been doing it for almost ten years now. Well, like, like I said, like we said before, when you first asked me, hey, when we started Twilight Princess last year, do you want to be part of this? My first thought was, yes, I do. You have no idea how, how much. But I was very like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. I don't have a mic. I don't do this. And you were very cool. You were like, you got Skype? You're in. <laughs> right, yeah. Skype and a mic. And I was, yeah. so, I was so nervous that first time because I, I had watched you guys for years. So it was like a very cool moment for me. Even Magus was nervous in his first video. <laughs> he was like, he said that in the pot when I interviewed him. Hey guys, Magus here, and I want to talk to you about uh, uh, whatever game he was talking about, uh, um, a Chrome Trigger uh, fan made game or something. But uh, yeah, I mean that happens. I mean I wasn't, uh, you know, I was kind of nervous too in the first doing this stuff. But uh, you finally get used to it after about ten years. <laughs> well, for me, my coming out, so to speak, the moment where I felt like I belonged on this channel and that things were going at all cylinders, I think it was part eight. It was me, you, J-Man, and we guy in the gore on mines. Folks, if you want to see a crazy-ass video, watch that. That was a blast. Yeah, I'll put that in the description box, or, or, or you will. See, I'm so used to creating. <laughs> Tim's will put that in the <laughs> description box, right? rather. Yeah, you trying like, to this steal is my, my LP. This is my LP, mother. Um, <laughs> yeah, part eight of TP <clears throat> toilet paper. Ronnie's worse fun. than Trump. Oh, I did I say that out loud? Uh, oh, oh, you know what? <laughs> We're gonna make this channel great again. We're gonna make the YouTube gaming community great again. We're gonna build a gonna firewall. Be We're gonna build a firewall, and it's gonna be huge. <laughs> Such uh, a massive, massive wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Link, what is... Man, it's going to take a while before Link gets his first dungeon, huh? I, if I remember correctly. It, it, li the, the first dungeon's literally right down the road, if you think about it. But you got to go through a lot of stuff to get to it. Oh, yeah, but you're, you're going to make this 100% uh, run, right? Oh, absolutely. Alright, come on, Jeff, move and out the way. That's a, <laughs> and that's what's so good about this game, is there's only four dungeons in the game, which might disappoint some people. But the thing that's cool about it is all four of them are very well done, and there's so much like little mini games and so many characters to meet. It's really cool. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Well done, the uh, old wrestling tag team. Fail. That, that went right <laughs> over my head. Yeah, Stephen uh, uh, Timothy Well and Stephen Dunn, a tag team called Well Done that was around maybe '93 in WWE, and that was it. <laughs> I can remember Techno Team, uh, Techno Team 2000, but not that. <laughs> Techno Team, two, Eric Watson, whoever else it was. Oh, jeez. How about the Ding Dongs? <laughs> Ding there was an actual tag team called the Ding Dongs. Yes, and guess who? Yes, no, there not, was. Not, not Vince Russo, but guess who? Around Jim Hurd. Jim Hurd. Jeez. Well, we know I can't stand Jim Hurd, that dumb or... mother... <laughs> <laughs> if you think that's bad, Spectre, look up the con the concept of um, the Hunchbacks. Oh, oh man. my gosh! Yeah, the whole thing was you can't pin them. If, if the, the shoulders can't touch the mat, you can't pin them. And Ole Anderson said, "If I put a submission hold on them, they can submit. That's how they lose." <laughs> <laughs> Jim was like, "God damn it, Ole! You know what I'm talking about." <laughs> yeah, like, Kurt Angle's not going to stop Kurt Angle from putting the ankle lock on. Of course, he wasn't around back then in wrestling, but you know what I mean. Well, he was, just wrestling kids. Yeah. 
And yeah, so Link, uh, so what, what exactly is he going to be doing right here in this town before he leaves? Uh, if I remember correctly, he's going to, oh, 100 rupees. He's going to like, um, like fill his itiner the itinerary book he has from those kids and then. Oh yeah, that, that, um, that bomber's notebook for anyone who hasn't played this game, what it is basically is it keeps track of all the characters you meet, all the side quests you have, and in the 3DS version's even more in depth. And there's, like I said, there's so many side quests, there's heart pieces everywhere, there's so much stuff to do. Whoa. And another, and another thing, yep, you, you, you can now become a deck with, and there's Tingle, that's how we get our maps. This oh, is the no. first game we appeared in. No. Oh, jeez. Called Tingle. The only one worse than Toad. Makes you want to <laughs> tingle. Now you see him, do his thing. Reject, Peter Pan reject, well, Link kind of looks like a Peter Pan reject, too, but, jeez, 35 now, the years theory, old. The theory about Tingle is that he is this dimension's version of Link. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy to think of. <laughs> I love his red nose. Isn't he like the, the, the son of one of the shop owners? He that he is. One of those big dudes with the hairy chest. <laughs> yeah. I know he's uh, crazy popular in Japan. That's some weird video games of him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what's interesting is in, in Wind Waker, he's got four brothers, I believe, and one of them's actually named Knuckle. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, Sega's suing them. <laughs> the way that's Knuckles. And in Breath of the Wild, they actually have little islands named after each one of them. Oh, jeez. I don't want to talk to this guy. I guess we have to, though. No. <laughs> Imagine he falls and breaks his leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's the Skip Rogers of this dimension. Selling maps and stuff. <laughs> well, there we go. No, no, I think that's the real Skip. <laughs> yeah, that's the real Skip, yeah. That explains why he comes and goes. He's from another dimension. Be sure to buy a map. Tell him Skip sent you. That's why we can never get a hold of him to be on this channel. He's somewhere else. Finally see Skip's face, other than the uh, Smackdown vs. Raw 2008 video where I pwned him years ago. <laughs> ah, Tibbs. I'll fail. That is kind of tricky, though. Freaking camera angles. Yeah, that's probably one of the worst things about dealing with platformers on the, on the N64. N64. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. You had it. I hate that when you land just on a platform and then you you keep moving or go back or you, you, you uh, just get nervous. Oh, no, oh, I had it. Oh, man, that happened to me a lot. I guess I should have taken more time off then. <laughs> that happened to me a lot in my Lost Levels LP. Ooh. Yep. Oh, there we go. Da, 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 da. Man, I'm, I'm going... I'm, uh, there's too much Zelda in my life right now. I'm doing a... LP of Twilight Princess Oracle Season. I just started Link to the Past to com commemorate the 25th anniversary of its release in North America. Now I'm in this LP, my George Mask. All the Zelda, all the time. Yep. That's right. We call this ST2 Zelda. Yeah, including the CDI games. That's right. I wonder if the Zelda Dungeon did LPs of those games too, if they count those. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of BS Zelda? Yeah. No, I never have. They should have named the CDI ones BS Zelda. Yeah. I think it's a Japanese version of A Link to the Past, right? What it is, is actually, the reason why it's on my mind is the uh, Digital you know Gaming Channel had a video yeah. about it today. What it is, is, um, they, uh, I, I, I guess it's it's kind of, it's kind of tricky to describe. It was like this service, this video game streaming service, and it was essentially like a 16-bit version of the original Zelda, something like that. Ah. Okay, so Donkey Kong is teaching you how to uh, slice all these wooden uh, wooden logs. Wooden logs. Well, what other type of logs are there? <laughs> log, log, log. Metal logs. <laughs> you dropped your log. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> oh, where are you going? Oh, you got you failed. You got to start over. So Donkey Kong here. What, what is this? What am I looking at? Is that hair or what? Where's his face? Well, like, 
Look at look at the dog or the cow next to him. That's a whole you know, lot of hair. <laughs> yeah, what a person. I love coming this? to see this guy when the moon's falling. Oh yeah, I have. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, there you go. Can you see that? Ah, that's right. And training for the epic battles that will follow. Yeah. Although it hurts, Link, to slice the wood. Yeah, this is pretty simple stuff. Just do jump slashes, and there you go. And once again, you get a piece of heart. I, was and I will cherish it, Paul. Thank you. That wasn't as fun as the sumo wrestling you did with uh, the mayor of <laughs> Orton Village. What are you doing? Yeah. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna go see Wee Guy. Hey, there's Wee Guy. Hey, Wee Guy. Oh. We got, yeah, Wee Guy did honor his other, the second request. Uh, he did, did a uh, LP of, uh, or live stream of uh, Deja Vu. Deadly Towers, Deadly Towers. Oh, jeez. I'm not paying him to do that. I, I am gonna pay him to do Uninvited. I wanna see him do that. That's a fun game. And I have to give another shameless plug. Uninvited LP on this 2K channel. <laughs> Freaking. You really go out. for those games, don't you? Well, the, there's only th three of them that I cared about. There's those Sh Shadowgate, Deja Vu, and Uninvited. Those those games are ECW. And the LPs for ECW are so much fun to do. Yeah. Wake up, Jeff! Dun, 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 dun. Wake <laughs> up, Jeff! Oh, I love the Postman. Yeah, I, I like the one in Twilight Princess better. Hey! Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. Then they see that This Ocarina, uh, man, is being used a lot more than it did in Ocarina Time. Ocarina, Ocarina. I can't make up my mind how I was supposed to say it. I guess it can yeah, be music, way. I like to make music is a huge part of this game. Yeah. 60 hours remain. Is that how many hours it takes to beat? Breath of the Wild? No, it took longer. A lot longer. Jeez, I can't imagine how big that game is. No, you can't. <laughs> and on a little cartridge, too. Jeez. I know, it's amazing. <clears throat> what is he? Oh, wait. Oh, I remember this. This is, oh, is kind of hard. You gotta be precise. Yeah, oh, wow. There's a this way, a... um... Link's gonna have some fun time. <laughs> Nine. No. Oh. oh. That was close. I wanted to do it my first try. Yeah, Cassie T. Ray Pete's. <laughs> Alright, second time's a try. Boom! Oh. Third time's got uh, his charm. That was hard. He kicked out. He kicked out. He yeah. got him. He got him. It was just John Cena here. Oh. Whatever, dude. Man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, see, this is, uh, this is annoying. I wonder if it's like the controller input as well, knowing the the time for the game. Yeah. Maybe. What, there's lag? Yeah, input lag. That's what I was wondering Come with on. the controller. Yes. Oh, you did Fine. it. Nice. Ooh, right on the dot. Fifth time to charm. Yeah. Impressive. He's gone postal! Got He's gone postal, time. King! He's gone postal! I'm surprised <laughs> they didn't have that as a gimmick back then. The postman now coming down the aisle, going all psycho and crazy on you. I mean, all the occupational gimmicks they had back then. The T.L. Hopper, the Plunger, Henry Godwin, Duke the Dumpster, Josie. I know, right? Duke the Dumpster. 
What about uh, freaking uh, the postman? Here he comes! I'll put with a special delivery next week on Monday Night Raw. Yeah, like the Repo Man for crying out loud. Him too. The Repo Man. I actually uh, kind of like the Repo Man. He was just funny. Man, like, he was. <laughs> considering who he was beforehand, it was quite the left turn. Yeah. And it was, it was a demolition smash. Smash? Yeah. And oh, really? Harry Darso. After that yep. black, black top bully in WCW. <laughs> Oh man, um, what, what was I say? Oh yeah, T.L. Hopper the Plunger was garbage. Never liked him, but he was also Uncle Cletus, who managed uh, the Godwins, I think. Yeah, he's Plunger Betsy. Yeah, jeez, that was stupid. It's funny, Duke the Dumpster Drosy. I know a guy named Duke kind of looks like him too. Right, so what's Lenny doing here now? Who is this creeper? What the heck was that? Oh dear. This is something, if you want 100% this game, you gotta do this like three or four times. Yeah. Stab her in the back and get it over with. Oh wait, this is the stuff. You, 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 you can, if you have a bow and arrow, you can actually shoot the bag as he's carrying it and blow him up. Wow, wow really? And she's like, you never think it would happen to you. What a shame. Yeah. <laughs> well. Wow. Look at him prancing away. Yeah, that's definitely Jamie. <laughs> Holy is, shnikes. What is this? Yeah, oh, really. Look at that. That guard's not doing anything. I know, like, why wouldn't you help? Man, the high rule guard, I mean, high rule guards, this is term <laughs> Termania. Uh, either the high rule guards or the Termia guards, they're all stupid. And they don't do anything yeah. except mess with Link. Remember in Twilight Princess, they're all like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they run away. Yeah. And that douchebag guard that laughed at you at the entrance to uh, Death Mountain in Ocarina of Time? Yeah. Alright. Purpose of doing that is so we can get the b bigger bomb bag. Yeah. Now we're gonna do something that you can only do on, I think it's, um, I don't think it's just the night of the first day, I think it's every night, but it's gotta be between 1 and 2 o'clock or 1 and 3 o'clock, something like that. Whoa. This guy will be out here. Yeah. Wow, that's pose. freaky. Let me see that phone. No. Oh, baby. Look at that fat ass go blap, 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 blap. There was you a parody wrong. of that. <laughs> you wrong, 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 wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna heal him. Whenever you see the heal. Ooh, nice little hearts everywhere. Yeah. You know something, Spectre? I see that circle of rocks, and I think there's a Korok there in my head. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> Maybe that's where they got some of the inspiration from. Because those Koroks are, are in the most... Some of them are in places where, like, I bet a Korok is there. And then there's other places where you never would think they would ever be. Looking in the strategy guide, there's, like, I think either 600 or 900 Korok seeds in the game. 900. And, yeah. And some of them are in places where you would never think to look. Yeah. He said, uh, Link got pissed off that we were talking about another game, so he went away. It <laughs> said, I am counting on you. Translation, I am counting on you. <laughs> yeah. No, well, thank you, everyone. That was part two of Majora's Mask. Sorry we got top off topic there, but hey, you knew what you were getting into. Right, this is <laughs> Yeah, from my buddies Ravenous Spectre and Ron Moore, I'm Tibbs. We'll see you next time. Peace. God bless. You. Take care. Hello, everyone, and welcome to part three of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I am Tibbs with my good, good buddies Ron Moore and Ravenous Spectre. What up? I mean, sup. Soup. Ah, uh, soup. Yeah. 
What's the soup du jour? We are here. We are here in Siberia. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm in Siberia. Man, that wall. Only three rupees. Damn. I know that was that lame. Was... What the heck was that about? That wall is so inconsistent. At least for me. Well, what's that blue mask for? The mask of death. That's the blast mask. Oh. Oh, you remember just we just got that in the last video. A bloody oh, mask would be the mask of death. <laughs> what about the mask? See, I know what it is, Ronnie. Uh, since this is my LP, you're not paying attention. <laughs> oh, yeah, get good, Ronnie. Get good. <laughs> west clock to now on the west side now. Now these girls here. Remember I said Link had a lot of charisma in this game. Yeah. Well, you're about to see what I mean. Check this shit out. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, get down with your bad self. His Ooh, face is gone. They look like they're naked, but they have dresses on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the creepiest part of this scene, there's like one shot of the guard, like the guard back there just standing there watching. Well, is he watching or is he asleep? I couldn't see his eyes. <laughs> they didn't give him any eyes. No wonder the Hyrule guards suck. They can't see. Yeah. You are our master. Da -da. Oh, I got a piece of their heart. As Spectre's writing his new novel. Yeah, what is Boopsie, Link? Boopsie. What is Link? I was, doing? I was, Link I was is with shy. The novel. What is Link doing? Clapping on his neck? <laughs> oh, he's shy. That's the only No, uh actually no. I think there's one other use for this mask in the game, but it's just like a little silly thing. Yeah. I think. <laughs> uh oh, the east side of town. Yeah. On the east. Oh, no, wait. That, uh, I was about to do a song lyric, but I screwed it up. <laughs> so you're going to see the beast what? from the east? Bam, bam. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's right. One of the missing. That's right. Uh, fairies. Yep. There's a, re there's a reward you can get as Human Link as well, and it's a damn good one, as you will see momentarily. Get out of the way, kid. Get good. <laughs> yeah. Get out of my way. <laughs> you can't catch me now. Yeah. Yeah, you got to go into this place a lot. I usually do the first time whenever I start a new cycle because there's a silver rupee back here. Oh, yeah. Because there's one heart piece in this game. You actually need to put 5,000 rupees in the bank to get it. Yeah. Okay, I can't believe I didn't figure that out. Whoa, 100 rupees. I can't believe I didn't figure that out when I was a kid. You used the, the blast mask. I'm like, how do you use it without doing damage to yourself? Yep. <laughs> it's a shield. But, yeah, but the mask is on your face. How does it shield you from the blast still? Nintendo oh, well, for, logic. Forget logic. Logic is for sissies. Or as AVGN said, logic is for pussies. Or as I would say to Star Soldiers, for pansies. <laughs> that this is still one of my favorite morning. moments when you call them when you call them a pansy during Mega Man Five. Yeah. <laughs> logic shouldn't exist in video games because it's video games. Right. Just ask Simon's Quest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one time I had an I had a red crystal in my hand and I kneeled down at the foot of a mountain. Nothing happened. Yeah. Or ask Super Pitfall. Oh, there's an angel and a devil and they both want him real bad. Yeah. Now we're gonna get one of the most useful masks in the game. <laughs> See, I, Spectre, I think the fairies in Breath of the Wild are supposed to be, like, updated versions of these ones. Yeah, they're updated all right, but as bad as they can be. <laughs> <clears throat> Equality! Equality! <laughs> but, I mean... Yeah, they, they probably... I think Nintendo probably wanted to bring out some sort of a... Uh, maybe... Uh, 
to me, it probably bring back the glory days of what like the, the Zelda games were back on the N64, you know? So they probably wanted to have that kind of look for the fairies, for right? what they looked like back then, the fairy queens in Breath of the Wild, because the um, that was probably one of the main things about the N64 Zeldas was that they were so revolutionary for the time compared to what we were used to back on the NES and the SNES. So having them like this is kind of like, wow, you know, this is like a whole brand new scale of things, a whole new scope of things when it deals with the Zelda franchise. And Breath of the Wild, I think, was really, we, of course, we had games in between there before Breath of the Wild that, that were good. But the fact that it was kind of just bringing in a whole new uh, world, if you will, a whole new gameplay mechanics and everything within the world of Zelda is just kind of one of those revolutionary titles for Nintendo, I think. So I think maybe they were trying to go back from basically learning from their roots and trying to create something new. I agree. <clears throat> and we just got the great fairy mask. Now, the point of that mask is uh, – well, maybe – actually, I'll save that. I'll save that for when we get to the first dungeon. But you're so right, Spectre, because the end – if you want to take a look at like the most imp- – what's the most important generation of gaming? That's up for debate. But I think that particular generation with the N64 and the PlayStation, it might be it because they both you know, revolutionized the industry in their own way, PlayStation being the first CD-based console to really take it off, and a lot of the most – you know, landmark titles ever made in terms of bringing out new gameplay mechanics with the N64, like you know, Super Mario 64. You know, with it was the first like really, really tightly done 3D game. And then, like I said, on the PlayStation, you had games that revolutionized storytelling, like Metal Gear Solid, which is my personal favorite PlayStation game. So it wasn't ex- it, the graphics might not. <laughs> Oh, Link can't get enough. The, the, <laughs> graphics, the graphics might look shitty by today's standards, and yes, you can glitch these games to hell. The bomb guy, though, in this game don't have as much charisma as the one in Twilight Princess. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right. All right, Dawn of the Dead. I mean, the second day. Donna, that was a great movie. Yeah. I prefer the original. We got this, man. We got this by the ass. Uh, ah, back in t- t- Terminator Field, wherever this is called. <laughs> well, Link said he would be back. At least, yeah. <laughs> At least uh, this game, like you said, Tips, has the original Hyrule Overworld theme. That's right. Uh oh. I can't the wait to bounce the game. Dongos. Yeah, they can actually mess you up in this game. Well, I bet, Here's I another bet, uh, one of those grottos. I bet CDI Link wishes he was in this game right now. Uh oh. Look out. Tries to kick. Tries to kiss Zelda and she refuses. Yeah. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> Who's more cheesier, CDI Link or Cartoon Link? Oh, CDI Link by far. Yeah, I think Cartoon Link may have had a little bit more personality. Because <laughs> I never, I never watched the cartoon Zelda. I never even knew there was one. I think until um, I seen on YouTube or something years ago. At least the cartoon Zelda is well drawn. I. And I didn't even watch the Mega Man cartoon back then. I wanted to, but I didn't get to. Although Ganon looks like a complete dweeb in both of them. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, the CDI. Jeez. Uh, you you, throw you a book dare at bring him. a light to my lair? You must die. Yeah, and you throw the book at him. So <laughs> the I chains, guess you're, no. your judge, Your judge that senses him, throw the book at him. You killed me. Ugh. Good. <laughs> you get 50 rupees for each Dodongo you kill, so it's a pretty sweet deal. You killed me. Good. <laughs> that was actually when I started watching AVGN, was right when he was in the middle of that CDI series. Yeah. Um, the what? End also did a really good series of videos about it. I forgot what part exactly, but on on this 2K, my link to the past LP, where I'm in Ganon's tower, 
um, I, uh, I was joined by a friend, Laura, that worked with me, and she was a big Zelda fan. And she never knew about the CD. Then again, who really does? She never knew about the CDI Zelda games. And I showed her videos on YouTube, and she just was so like disgusted by it. <laughs> like, really? I never even knew this existed. And then there was a thread on Facebook where someone said, "Oh, what, what, Wanda Gamelon? And what? I, I don't play Zelda fan-made games." And someone told oh. her, "Someone told her they're, they're not fan. <laughs> they're not fan-made." <laughs> Yeah, and just like all the dongos, you can turn their... <laughs> I was about to say sucking power against them. <laughs> well, they suck. I think the Fan Man game... Fan Man... Come on, fan give me made some... Games oh, come actually... on. Yeah, that's so stupid. What is the point of that? Jeez. I was going to say, I think the Fan Made games Oops. are actually better than the CDI games of Zelda. It's got to be. Oh, without a doubt. Parallel, have you ever played? I think I've asked you this. Have you ever played a Link to the Past Parallel Worlds? No. It's like it's a really good but really hard ROM hack. I think a Zelda game inside of Action Fifty Two would be better than CDI games. <laughs> so we just passed the postman. Mr. Postman, look at yeah. me. The Spectre is typing to his uh, messenger friends. I'm doing commentary with these idiots here. They don't ever stay on topic. I'm tired of doing this. <laughs> no, no, it was nothing like that. I actually wanted to mention something to you guys because I've thought about this for a while, at least on uh, – uh, I mean, we can do it on this channel or, or my channel or whatever, but I've always had this thought in my mind where I wanted to kind of do maybe this weekly gaming uh, quote-unquote podcast, if you will, except it's just a discussion on – online here on youtube i just kind of i guess basically just a random assortment of gaming talk and whatnot like we may have some topics or something we may want to discuss or talk about like favorite games or games that we're excited that are coming out or systems of the past or currently or stuff like that you know just trying to have a discussion for people to check out if they want to and put them on our on our youtube channels i always thought about doing that but i just i, I had never gotten around to it Absolutely not. Absolutely. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, <laughs> all that I love. <laughs> Ask my fiance. Fun. When I start <laughs> talking about stuff that I really like, I don't shut up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted it to be for an hour, and here we are, three hours later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's talking about one shows game. have gone on for over an hour. I think the movies podcast two hours. <clears throat> Whoa. Yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking if it would be done, the most it would be would be an hour, maybe a little over that, depending on what we're discussing and how deep things are going. But I don't know. It was just kind of a kind of a thought. And I was thinking about probably maybe adding in a couple other friends of mine as well, because you know you only want to have so many people. You don't want to be talking over one another. So yeah, yeah. yeah I'm My favorite that. gaming podcast was the um, Retsu Talk with Slow Beef and Diabetes. I always enjoyed that. There was quite a few gaming podcasts that I used to listen to, but I got up off listening to forum because one reason is because I used to listen to them quite a bit when I used to work in the hospital because in certain areas I'd be working and I'd just be by myself. So I'd listen to some music or I would end up listening to some podcasts and I backed off and listened to, to some because I couldn't keep up with them. And second of all, lately there's been like some people that have been on the podcast that have just like annoyed me to no end. Like Brian Altano of IGN, I can't freaking stand him. <laughs> I swear, I just, you know, I'm not going to get into a rant or anything about that, but I, I can't stand the man. But he, um, he, he was one reason why I stopped listening to IGN podcasts because he's like on every single one. And I always have to hear him and his, the, how, how he tries to think like he's always right about everything. And it just starts to piss out of me. But, uh, I backed off a little bit and listening to like the Game Informer podcast and, um, I listen to um, like the Excess Gaming podcast as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, with uh, Xander and uh, um, um, James Russo. Um, I listen James to Russo. Oh. Vin oh no, bro. Jeez. <laughs> no, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what podcast I can't stand is those uh, idiots at the the SC2K podcast. Jeez, those guys. I know. They're just morons. I never knew that there was a podcast like that. I'd have to check that out. That Ron Moore is the Vince Russo video games. Jeez. Yeah. 
And you got uh, his, 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 uh, his friend Jody Swindoll's at Jim Cornette of video games, always running his mouth. <laughs> I'm going to go rant online about it and think I'm making a difference about these people in these podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. You talk about them, they trend. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But speaking of which, like the current uh, Game Informer podcast I got out right now, they're actually talking about like their top five favorite RPGs just in the circle of them that are there because their current issue that's coming out is going to be like the top 100. And I couldn't believe it. The Skyrim made their number one slot. There's so many RPGs that are out there, man. So many. And I love Skyrim. I do. But I'm just like, man, that must have been a hard list to come up with because there's a lot of great ones out there. And like RPGs is like my favorite genre. So I can only imagine how hard it was trying to trying to put something like that together with me if i had to pick the greatest rpg of all time in my opinion i'd have to say chrono trigger oh that's a great one that's one of my favorites for sure yeah, when I'm it comes even... to the elder Scro- elder scrolls games though i really like morrowind yeah I'm not yeah even... i am um... sorry that... i was gonna say i'm not even into rpgs but chrono trigger was awesome yeah, the, and actually we ended up getting a little bit of a, of a love letter to Chrono Trigger, if you will, which is, uh, I think I mentioned it on here before, or at some point. What the hell is this guy with, doing? With uh, Cosmic Star Heroin. It's just like Chrono Trigger. It's insane. He's humping the tree. He's trying to get some wood with his wood. Well, come on, Link. By the way, good. if any of you out there are trying to use this series as a walkthrough, you know better. <laughs> yeah. I love doing that. Oh, you injured him. I love it. Unless you got money out of it. He broke his toe. What'd you do? Put the ankle lock on him? Good. <laughs> the ankle lock. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Kurt Angle, like, quote unquote, broke Scotty's ankle? Yeah. And they, they, like, twisted it around or something? Yeah, I remember that. I think yeah. it was. I think it was Scotty too high. I can't remember. Yeah, it, it was. was. Yeah. Because he was out for a while. Hmm. Yeah, from Westbrook, Maine, right next door. Oh, when you said yeah. Scotty, I thought you were talking about uh, uh, Scott Steiner or Scott Hall or something. No. No. Well, there's do you a... really think? Do you really think that either one of those guys would would go with a spot like that, where they were like, ah. Scott Steiner surely won because he's a he's a dumbass. I swear, <laughs> he's so jacked up on roids, he'll just talk right out of his ass. There was we guys made another donation. Give me a request. fucking mic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's we guy we just seen. I just made another donation request to him. <laughs> Thank you very much for doing the deja vu, even though we didn't finish it, but he's going to, going to eventually. Okay, so what is Link doing here? Uh, well, this is the interesting part of this game that I had never seen in a game prior to this, is depending on what time of day it is, certain you'll literally see certain events happen in front of you based on the time. Like as you see, yeah. and you, she's on a certain schedule. And that plays into some of the side quests you do. Yeah, stop stalking her. Got to to get that side it's quest. It's the door is open, but you can't go in. <laughs> you won't load up side you open the door. Yeah. Oh, is that douche? Oh, this guy. Oh, he just made the list. Yeah, literally. You got you have a list, the bomber's notebook. Yeah. Oh, once well, Chris Jericho reference means we cannot top this video. Oh, Indeed. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, their new single for Fozzie is badass. I like it. <clears throat> well, everyone, thank you for joining us for part three and oh boy, this is gonna be fun. I cannot wait for part four. Hope you can either. For Ravenous and Ronnie, I'm Tibbs. Right, God, bless. God bless and take care. Wop. Later, taters. Good evening, everyone, or good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Welcome to Let's Play Majora's Mask. I am Tibbs with my buddy, Rumor. What's up? And today... For those of you sitting in the corner going, when are they actually going to start playing the main game? Here we go. Yep. And, oh, wait a minute. Cutscene. A little bit of backstory coming up. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I remember this. Uh, right when I said that, <laughs> Taylor goes, oh, I remember this. He told me he's been fighting with his friends. 
and that they left him all alone. Yeah, the story of this game is very deep, and with the Skull Kid is no exception. Yeah. What a couple of tattletales. Whereas a villain like Ganon really doesn't have any redeeming qualities to him, the Skull Kid you can't you kind of feel a little sorry for. Yeah. Well, that's because the Skull Kid is under the influence of that mask. But not right here. This is beforehand. Oh, were they, well, yeah, aren't the Skull Kids like thieves or something? Well, I don't want to spoil anything, but basically, the, they, the, the game does get into it at some point. It's It's optional, but it does get into it. Well, I mean, all Korean time, though, weren't the Skull Kid thieves? Aren't they all thieves in general? Like the four thieves in the length of the past? No, Skull Kids, basically, if you're a kid and you get lost in the Lost Woods, you become Skull Kid. If you're an adult and you get lost, you become a Stalfos. Oh, you mean not Skull Adult? No, no Skull Adult? Okay. <laughs> yeah, if I don't answer the answer, the answer's no. The skull kid. I want to be it's like. Always playing tricks. I want to be like the skull kids, just like the skull kids. Yeah, I hear that all the time at work. Oh boy, there it is. I love the music cues in this game. Yeah. Power. You ever notice how the fairies don't really fly, they just kind of hover? Yeah. Alright. Now the real crux of this game is you have Clock Town in the center, and then you have four areas. you got the Southern Swamp, the Northern Mountains, the Western Ocean, and the Eastern Canyon. And uh, there is a, a specific order that you have to do it in, starting with the Swamp here. Although it is possible to glitch your way into the other ones if you know how. What was that? Someone's trying to buzz in our commentary. Never comment on a popular YouTube video, because you'll just get constant replies to it all the time. Yeah. Like, go kill yourself, noob. <laughs> well, no, the other day, Watch Mojo counted down the top ten reasons why the Star Wars prequel suck, prequel movies suck, and I said, oh, Revenge of the Sith was actually pretty good, and boy, that opened up a can of worms. Yeah. Now the music that plays in the swamp here, that each one of the four compass directions has a variation on this theme. Yeah, that's right. You got deck, you stick! Oh yeah. Now you can tell Hollywood Hogan to stick it. The deck you stick is actually on par with like a level three sword. Level two, level three, whatever. Master sword, essentially. We didn't need no swords. We didn't need no video games back then. When I was your age, I had a stick in my imagination. Right, whoa. <laughs> That's right. Deku Link can hop along. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought you died. Ooh. There's an interesting thing you can do with the sword in this game and in Ocarina of Time as well. It's not really a glitch, it's just kind of uh, the way the game works. If you do a jump slash with the A button, then all of your uh, crouch stabs after that will be like twice as powerful. Whoa, see that glitch? <laughs> Gotta love the N64 era. Now in the woods of ECW. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Stop monkeying around. <laughs> Yeah, the woods of ECW with, uh, sorry a song. You would think the amount of times I played this game, I would remember this path, and I wouldn't have to wait for him. Right. Oh, man. Freaking Slash the Turtle over there. <laughs> oh. It's actually different on all three days, I believe. 
Right? Yeah, Remember the monkey? Yeah, Remember the monkeys in Twilight Princess? Yeah. Well, evil. look who it is. One of those evil Gerudo witches, but of course not the same one. It's her in the alternate universe. <laughs> Bam! Well, she's a baby face. Every time I hear, see the word bam, I think of, uh, not bam bam, but I hear Steve Austin saying that. Bam! Oh, yeah. Or sometimes, and wham! Stunner! Whatever. Well, you can just lay there for all I care. Right, yeah. I played this game before, I know how to get where I'm going. Yeah. So here's where you fight Swamp Thing. Whoa, and get I good, believe, kid. Yeah, there you go. I built. I be <laughs> Thanks a lot. I believe when. Uh, it's only fair since I say they, that to you half the time. I believe when we go in here. Yes, the music should sound familiar. Yep, that's the uh, the theme of Twin Robo. Yep. And they. Red potion. I want that blue potion, man. That'll do a lot better. Yeah. Trying to remember if there was a blue potion in Ocarina of Time. I think there was, but you had to do a lot to get it. Yeah, uh, I forgot. I never bothered with the green. Yeah, the magic potion. Yeah, I got that a lot in Link to the Past. Just see well, what, if, what, no see, what if you had to. Like, what if you have full energy, but you need. But you only need magic, and you waste money getting the one that fills up both. Well, no, you don't need to fill up both. You just need to fill up the magic. So that's why we bought each one separately. Well, there's something in this game, as you know, Ronnie, that will make makes the magic potion totally useless. I don't think I do. No, well, you'll see eventually. Now, the thing here, when I first played this, in this game it's a little different. In Ocarina of Time, you push the item button... You hold it out, and if something can happen, something can happen. In this game, you have to pull it out when the game prompts you to in the text box. So the first time I did this, I drank it right in front of her. Oh. <laughs> so, hey, that's for me! She's the swamp tour guide? Eh. Yeah. What the hell happened to you two? Yeah. They got reduced to jobbers. Maybe. Hey, maybe this is their afterlife. Remember, they did ascend to the heavens. Yeah. We've Misa. been watching you. Yeah. Misa called Jaja -Ja Binks. Temple for Deku only. Can y'all sit still for a minute? <laughs> well, that's pretty handy because I can become a Deku at will. Put the mask on in front of him, really shock him. Yeah. Oh, Pwn. I remember the scene. Those, what they call it? These plants? What they call it? The, uh... uh De Deku Babas. Deku Babas. Giant Baba, whatever his name is. Uh, I remember seeing those for the first time in Ocarina of Time. I'm like, whoa. Freaking creepy. Yeah, they're the first enemies you fight. Yeah, then... It, there are giant, there are giant babas. Speaking of, in the uh, when you're, when you're, uh, no, when you're a kid, yeah, they're big. But then, of course, when you're an adult, they're smaller. But the, weren't there right. giant ones also? Yeah, I should know that. All Korean times, my favorite Zelda of all time. There's yeah, a, see, there are these guys are, Yeah, these guys are everywhere. Yep, the business DQ scrub. I don't, I don't want no DQ scrub. My DQ scrub <laughs> is a guy that can't get no love from me. Wait. And they each serve two purposes. They each have something they will sell you, or you can do a chain reaction with these um, these land title deeds. Yeah. There's just a trading sequence. Yeah. 
and each one, each one of the flowers will get you to a piece of heart. Yeah. Now he's gonna head to town. Yep. I wonder what's in the. I think I said that before. I wonder what's in those bags. You know, it was interesting. This is the this is the only time you actually see their legs. Because when they hop around, they just hop. They don't really walk. Now Link is back to being a scrub. Yes. The hot piece. Jeff, uh, really? Really? A heart piece? Like, really? Yeah, after all that hard work. Yeah. It wasn't hard work, Jeff. You just flew up there. Well, you know what? It's hard to, to yeah. fly up there. You know, I can't be a dinky scrub like you, right? <laughs> oh. Hee-haw. I'm running. Run more. Hee-haw. I'll quit your whining, Jeff. It's only pushing a few buttons. Yeah. Sorry we can't play close in the drawer for the NES like you can. Okay, that's the uh, yeah, that's, that's the uh, that's the witch you rescued. Yep. Now we get the picto box, so we can take pictures. This game needs to get with the times. We have iPhones now. <laughs> yeah. Or Sheikah slates. Yeah. Speaking of which, in Breath of the Wild, you can take selfies. Nice. Yeah. And can you do that also in DK64, or, or maybe not? Hmm. Ah, uh, you you you, <laughs> you take pictures of the of the fairies, the banana fairies. Oh yeah. But I don't right. think you can take selfies though. That game would drive bananas. All that collecting. Well, I love that game. There's Ooh. the hill moon. <laughs> Remember Howie from the Benchformers? Yep. He was afraid of the sun, but he got over it. And Tim Meadows goes, "How's the moon treating you?" He goes, "Not a fan." And he starts eating the sunblock. Now I can see how we're being afraid of this moon. Oh, oh get out of the way, you idiot. Right in the gut. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't want to go on a boat ride like this. You got a big ugly monster blocking your way and you have to kill it to what kind of a what kind of a uh As you can see, we just time travel to autumn. <laughs> yeah. Now from this point on the water's actually gonna be dangerous to touch. See yeah. now it's grape soda. Yeah, just like in uh Twilight Princess. Well no that, no that was the Purple mist, was it? Yeah, it was like yeah, a misty. Mind. I kind of like this track right here. Oh, the, the, I. This is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite pieces of music in the game. Having a seizure? Calm down. Now let me through. Yeah. Why you gotta be racist, man? Right, yeah. We well, gotta be speciest. <laughs> Instead, they're like, wood is good. Wood is good. Right, yeah. Go straight to the royal chamber now. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Deku King's chamber. Yeah, check this guy out. Yeah, just fact. Jewish. There's Jeeves. Just the butler. Oh, yep. I'm gonna take a picture. There is a reason for doing this. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. He looks really pissed off. Yeah. That's cause all Deku's have the same face, man. Yeah. Nay, no, all of us look alike. Oh wait, we actually do. <laughs> I don't know. The butler looks very dignified. Yeah. Despite all my rage, I am still just a monkey in a cage. Nicholas Cage. It might bring her back. You never know. Yeah. Hmm. What are we gonna do? E, 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 C, Dub. E, 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 C, Dub. E C C C C W. <laughs> Man, they cannot stand still, can they? Oh, they can't. Just like the monkeys. Hey, 
hey with the monkeys. Yeah. Reminds me of. Remember when I was gonna say, reminds me of Beavis when he's corn holy. I can't stand still running around. <laughs> Remember in uh, Ocarina of Time, that little mini game with the masks, where depending on what you wore, they would react differently? Yeah. Just look at the king back there. He's going crazy. Yeah, the butler's the only one that's calm. All right, so what did Jeeves tell us? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the butler just... in, uh, in Deja Vu? Looks like Christopher Lloyd. You can knock him out. I never even really saw those games until I saw them on the channel. Yeah. Well, you've seen before now. Deja, experience the Deja Vu fail. That's right. I would have joined, but I was uninvited. Ah, <laughs> yeah, well, you were living in the shadow gate of SC2K. Ah, oh, dang it. figure out the rest, huh? Yeah. I think I'm smart. Yeah, you're a DQ scrub. You're smart. Oh, yeah, so smart that you got caught real quick. <laughs> you're not supposed to go anywhere you else. Just... You're just supposed to go straight into the uh, royal chambers. I I did. They didn't tell me what to do after that. Yeah. But you're smart. You're you supposed to be able to figure it out. <laughs> well, if you do this at night, you can actually see their line of sight. Oh, cool. Just like a little girl solid on the radar. Yeah, so this reminds me of the courtyard of Ocarina of Time. This is a lot more visually appealing, I think. Eh, I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on how, what kind of design you like. I think I prefer the uh, castle courtyard better. I mean, the music rules, though, here. Yeah, music is more catchy here. The one in Ocarina of Time, the stealthy mode... Reminds me of, uh, I don't know, George Jefferson, the Jeffersons, or something, or some sitcom, I don't know. <laughs> it was cool, but it just made me think of the Jeffersons for some reason. Don't worry, this is the only part of the game where you have to be stealthy. Yeah. I think. I was not never good at stealth games. Did you ever beat any of the Metal Gear Solid games? Oh yeah, I did one and two, but it, <laughs> that took a while. Oh, you just ran around. Oh, okay, I see what you did. Yeah, it's a quick way out. I got the heart. Yeah, but don't take shortcuts in this game. Who takes shortcuts in video games? Oh, wait. Oh, was that Skip? <laughs> yeah. Skip says, "Don't do codes. There's no hope with codes." <laughs> Skip sent me a memo earlier today. He said, in order to play this game well, you have to get good. In order to finish the game, you have to beat the game. Yeah, right, yeah. To beat the game? Whoa! You gotta beat the game! If you wanna beat the game... <sighs> like how Batista Pone meals. it's all about the game and how you play it. Well, last night, the game got played. Yeah. Wise words from Deacon Batista. Yeah, as he takes on a new character called Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> oh, oh, Alice in Wonderland now. <laughs> oh, this guy. Yeah. He's still the same Dude, character the from Ocarina of Time. <laughs> He's eating all his all of his wares. All right, Bastion Booger's son, come on. King Kong Bundy, whoever. If you, you know, if you listen um, to Bastion Booger's theme music really carefully, you can actually hear the sounds of someone hawking a loogie. I don't even, I don't even remember his music. He's like, I'm the Booger Man. Oh jeez, <laughs> Booger Man versus Boogie Man. <laughs> Jim Ross, Booger Red, The Undertaker. Then Booker T comes out. <laughs> tell me he didn't just say that. Yeah. Tell me he didn't just say that, sucker. Oh, I, I, 
got it. If the Boogeyman had won King of the Ring, you could have said, All hail, King Booger! Right, yeah. <laughs> or if Kane won, I like King, how we're ta King Kane. <laughs> I, I like how we're talking about Boogers, and as Link, we're spitting. Right, yeah. I think it was a, oh, damn, I forgot what, where I heard it from a con. I think it was a We Guys Wolverine Let's Play on SC2K. And I think someone said, what, why do they have bubbles in as enemies in games? Bubbles cannot freaking hurt you. But Swindoll said in uh, C, well, it's, all, it's the alien DNA that's what hurts you. That's right. And I think Bubble Man would disagree. Right, yeah. Wait well, to burst your bubble, but, uh, bubble butt, never mind. <laughs> And then when when you played Rambo, you're like, bubbles are hurting Rambo. I know, right? Really? And then I beat Burst Man the other day in Mega Man 7. Yep. It made me burst to laughter. You kind of do Mega Man 8 at some point. Yeah, most likely, pretty much. Jump, jump, slide, slide. Oh, yeah. Slide, just slide, slide, just slide, slide, slide. Find Dr. Wawi. Yeah, you gotta find that media. We'll like find Dr. Wowie. I can't. I don't know if I can do it good. But sound sound more like Alex Jones when I do that. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, yeah. I forgot you could do that. I'm a nut. Yeah. We're almost there, folks. Yep. To the, to the first temple in the game. Right. And like I said, there's only four dungeons in this game, all temples, but I think they are four very well done. Just one more pit stop we have to make, and that's right here. Yep. About to do something we haven't seen yet, because there's an extra property to being a Deku, and you'll see that in just a second. Oh, no, wait, we did, wait a minute, we did see it. <laughs> We've already seen the pipes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Punish me if you will. Do as you will. Come as you are, as a friend. <laughs> I think I'm the only one that actually knows the words to Nirvana songs. Yeah. Just one swipe of the sword and then give up. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder what he wants me to do. Hmm. Oh, I suppose yours is any bigger. <laughs> yeah, right. I get a kick out of this. How we're trying to stay quiet so the the rest of the Dekus don't catch wind of this, but yet he wants to teach me a song. Yeah. I know, right? They, they're they going to hear it. I mean, you think they'd be able to see with me with those big friggin' pipes I got. Yeah. Monster's Liar? Yeah, Monster's Liar. Yeah, when I saw that Contra when I was a kid, Aliens Liar? Whoa! <laughs> you don't even know! Yeah, see man, you don't even know! It's a spread or a spray! When this game come out? See, you don't even know! <laughs> <laughs> I could watch that every day. Yep. It's not the spread gun. I said it's the spread. It's like you know it's gonna be spread all over your face if you don't shut up. It didn't change your gun. Yeah. How do you listen hard? You're either listening or you're not. Yeah, you know, I guess pay careful attention to the sneaky tricks he'll show you. But I don't have to listen. Cool. I got prompts on the screen. Easy, easy, double, double, you. you. The Sana of ECW. Or 
Sinatra, Sinatra, Frank Sinatra, what, what was it called? Was it hypnotized? What are you talking about? No, that's what the name of the song, Sonata of Awakening. Yeah. Link's Awakening, is that, say it right, Sonata, Sonata Sinatra, what? S -s no, no, Sonata, you got it right. Sonata, oh, okay. A Sonata of Awakening, Link's Awakening, here. Right, row. I like how in, instead of assuming that we're you know on the royal family side, this is the conclusion he comes to. Yeah, what an idiot! It's like, dude, really? You know what happens to people that can't understand? He just made the list. They make the list. No, oh, he's on the list of monkeys that's about to be tortured or whatever they're gonna do. We're lucky they haven't locked us up at this point. Right. Well, they, they just took or them away. have they? Plot yeah. cliffhanger. Well, everyone, if you want to see what happens next, if this video, if they are watching years from now, don't do anything. The next one will play. If not, you just wait till we do part six. Till then, I'm Tibbs. I'm Ron Moore. And take care, everyone. God bless. Take care. What's up, homies? This is Tibbs here on ST2K. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask with my good buddies Ron Moore and Ravenous Spectre. Yo! Soup. Yeah, soup. Supers. Suppers. Here's a soup bottle! Super nuts. Yep. Super nuts. Super nuts. And today... Never mind. I was somewhere with that, but I just completely lost track of my brain. Redo. No. All right, today we're going to be taking care of some of the uh, last few things before the first dungeon. And I can see one of them right here in front of me. We are still in the swamp here. Man, what's that, giant mosquito you just uh, killed? It's some sort of dragonfly, I believe. Oh. I wonder what that looks like when you're inside the flower. Right. Because it's like your eyes are in there with you, so what are you seeing? Like, do Dekus even have eyelids? Can they blink? Right. I think they have nuts for eyes. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Now, now, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't click off this video. In this game, this what, he, what this owl is about to give us is really helpful. I swear. It better be. Look at his face right there. Dude, dude. Look at their eyes on his chin. <laughs> And I'll at time, I was like, why hey. is his head upside down? Oh, wait. Kapora Gay Bora. John Big Gaborik from Tough Enough? <laughs> With his big friggin' head. <laughs> hoot, well, you're just a hoot. <laughs> Destiny? What? I set you up for that one, Spectre. <laughs> Destiny what? The game, Destiny. Which one? The first one or the second one? Well, I, I just set you up for a good joke there and you didn't bite. Oh, I, 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 oops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about either of them, to be quite honest. <laughs> Alright, now what that means is each, all these, if you look closely, we've been seeing owl statues everywhere. What you have to do with this song is strike one with your sword. And its wings will unfurl, and from that point on, that that owl statue will be a permanent warp point. So that's how you quick travel around this world. It's a lot more intuitive than Ocarina of Time, okay. in a way. Time to learn and we only have to, and we only have to see that bird one more time. Oh, good. And he doesn't make you make him uh, like make you accidentally have him repeat what he said again. I have done that before. Yeah, me too. EC dub, EC dub. And don't they like swap the position of the yes and the no so that if you're used to going down to no, you'll accidentally hit yes? I think so, yeah. What a troll move. Speaking of ECW, I actually watched my first episode of Ring of Honor because a new cable service that we have actually has Ring of Honor on there. And I'm like, oh, yes. First episode I ever seen was actually pretty awesome. Nice. Even though even though there was only like a few wrestlers that I knew who they were, I didn't know who anybody else was or what the storylines were or anything like that. But after watching it, I'm like, yeah, this is some good stuff. 
Cool. Well, purple stuff. Well, oh, purple this stuff. right. Here. Yeah, this right here is the location of the first dungeon. This is Woodfall. Oh boy. Finally, you probably say to yourself, "Where is it?" Well, it's there. After six, seven parts, we're gonna get to the first dungeon here. <laughs> well, these things take time. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. That's how badass Deku Link is. All he's gotta do is spit at you when you die. Yeah. Imagine, Life sucks, imagine, uh, and then you die. Imagine DQ Cornette if he was spitting there for Ara's face and oh man. Oh jeez. Exactly. I watched that clip earlier today of him throwing out the uh, insane clown posse dudes. Oh, I didn't even. No, I, I think I seen a thumbnail of that, but I didn't watch it. I tried to try to find that the uh, the actual footage of the Ed Ferrara bit where he was acting like Jr. But I couldn't find it anywhere on YouTube. I just heard Jim Cornette ranting and raving about it. No, I'm sure you, you could probably find. Uh, uh, go look up um, on Google like the episode date, and you could probably watch it on the network on Nitro. Okay. Because they would definitely leave that in, because they love to make fun of Jr. there in Titan Tower. Yeah. Uh, there's the first owl statue. That's right. So now we can warp to this point anytime we want. Okay. Well. And and this is what I was taught. I think I mentioned this already, but. In the uh, North American, and I think European as well, I don't know if PAL had its own release for 64 games, but outside of Japan, let's say, you couldn't save at these statues. The only way you could save is to go back to the first day. Yeah, I think you mentioned that a few parts back. That's so crazy how different uh, different countries sometimes have those glitches and problems like that. It's like the same thing that happened – with Oblivion on PS3, it's like it was a glitch that happened if you got if you got uh, vampirism um, on the PS3 version on the Game of the Year edition. It's like if you got it, you you, you were pretty much screwed in the North American version. But if you had the uh, European version, then you could have a way of reversing it. But it was only in the Game of the Year edition where that happened. So I basically have two editions of the game. <laughs> I got the Game of the Year edition and the original one. I only got it for like a few dollars a piece, so it's no real loss. Man. Plus, I think, I think that um, um, in Japan they actually had that N64 disk drive thing that we were supposed to get here in North America, but it never happened. Yeah. There's yeah. some collectors that have gotten that though, which is kind of crazy. Man, I could beat Go this ahead, game in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah, but I, I, have, I have a job, so, you know, I don't have time to sit around all day playing video games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jim Rod, the power, beating hour. The power hour here on TBS Superstation. You got the heart piece. Link former. All that for a heart piece? Uh, Play for High Rural University for yeah, your strong. DQ Link, former running back for uh, term, Terminal University. <laughs> terminal High School. <laughs> he got a terminal illness and had to quit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Exactly. <laughs> 20 rupees! Right, Ruby, that's pretty nice! Yeah. Yeah, Oracle of Ages, you get like 20 rupees or 30 rupees, and says, that's nice. <laughs> Apparently there's some type of rupee you can get that in uh, Breath of the Wild that actually takes rupees from you if you find it. I'm like, what is this crap? I haven't found anything like that yet, but I do know in Skyward Sword there were Rue Pores that did that. Oh, are they, are, are they black just, rupees? Uh, there were like purple. I think they were like a purplish, blackish color. I think. No, seriously, because want... we talked about that in part eight of our, my Twilight Princess LP in the Fire Temple, where uh, I think J-Man said, "Are they rupees that take some away from you?" And we got goes actually, uh, actually they are. Uh, Rupees that takes them away from your black rupees, and it was kind of like a, <laughs> a kind of like a semi-racist joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I think, honest to God, I think that's what that is. I mean, anybody got any issues? Just take it up with Nintendo. Like, hey, they're the ones that did it. But um, yeah, yeah, I think I think that's I think that's the color of them. But I was like, that's that's just stupid. Taking yeah. rupees away from a from a rupee that doesn't even add to you, it just takes away. Yeah. Now this. In this game, there are two spider houses. This is the first one you come across, obviously, and th this should look familiar for anyone that's played Ocarina of Time, the whole spider's curse thing. 
But yeah. you know how in Ocarina Time you had to get 100 gold skull tallas and the payoff was less than stellar. However, here, in these spider houses, you have to get 30 in each and the rewards are actually really good. It looks like my previous boss I used to work for, or one of them anyways. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, this particular one. <laughs> All right, nice. The house of ECW. <laughs> this particular one is – I actually enjoy this one a lot more than the second one because the second one – I won't spoil it, but there's a specific item you get before going into that one that is pretty much the only item you use in it. But this one, you have to use – you can technically go into this with, like, nothing and complete it, but you have to really search around because in order to get all the Skulltellas here, you have to, like, have bugs. You have to, I think, have water. There's a whole bunch of things you have to do, and you can load yourself up on all, all that before you enter it. But it's a lot more fun to enter with nothing and just forge for all the stuff you need. So this game has a lot of bugs in it. <laughs> <laughs> like all N64 games. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of which, it's kind of funny I'm doing this commentary tonight because actually my girlfriend ended up hanging up the uh, the uh, Hylian shield, uh, Link's shield that he usually carries with the Master Shield over on the uh, opposite wall. Oh, mm. cool. So I got it. Yeah. I, got, yeah, I got one above my TV. Yeah, I also have the, uh, the, um, the Master Sword as well, and I need to hang that up. I'll probably put it like right beside of it. The number one thing I've seen in stores, I think it was in the Nintendo store. No, the Nintendo store was something else. We went. I forget exactly what store we were in, but they had this unbelievably gorgeous Mega Man replica. I think it was several hundred dollars, but man, let me tell you, if I had had the money, uh, it was gorgeous. Cool. Mm. Sexy. So how many spotters do you got right here? Well, right now I got five. You can see it in the lower left-hand corner. And one thing I really like that's an improvement in this game is when you grab the token, it doesn't s stop your gameplay. Cool. And they're, they're, hit, they're hiding all over, and you can hear them. I believe in, in most cases you can hear them in each room. You just yeah. have to figure out how to get them. Yeah. It's a good thing Link don't have arachnophobia. This is true. So right now you're playing right. as John Goodman. Or Skeletolophobia. Yeah. Or Skeletula. Danny called him Skeletula, but whatever. Skeletula? Actually, that does make sense. Yeah. I yeah, don't there's so there's a lot of names over the years in the Zelda series where I would pronounce it a certain way, and then Danny or someone else would pronounce it differently. Like instead of <laughs> Ocarina of Time, instead of uh, Saria, I would say Saria. And he goes at Saria, and I said, "Oh, well, it, it, you know, some girls are called Maria, not Maria, so you would think it's Maria." Maria, Maria, reminds me of that story. And and uh, Skullzula, it does sound better than Skullball Tula. <laughs> Skullball Tula. <laughs> and uh, other names. Earlier uh, today. Earlier, wait. speaking of which, earlier today, I was talking to Nikki about the, and and I, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Baba, Baba Clins, Baba Clins, whatever. Huh? Baba Clins, yeah, they're the uh, Baba Clins. Yeah, the dog, like the dog pig, uh, you know, in the Zelda series. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there was a few names over the years, and then uh, Danny says it's not Aganum, it's Aganum, and I said that actually sounds more sinister. That probably is right. God. And uh, K-Wing K said it's not Magus, it's Magus in uh, the uh, Chrono Trigger series. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of different ways to be able to pronounce those kind of names. I've said Magus and Magus. Magus and me. I've said Magus, 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 and Magus, and all of, all of it. Hey, Magus, Magus here. Yeah, Just exactly. don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> 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 I put down some dark matter on you and rip your body apart and send you back in time. But, uh, anyways. Yeah. It's Raven Inspector, not Rabbit. No, I'm exactly. Good God. I had a friend of mine one time. He said, Man, he said, you should have called your channel Raven Inspector because you always rant all the time in a lot of your videos. <laughs> I said, You know what? You're an asshole, but that is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, whoa. Like after the Asian hornets that uh, kill you. Well, you, you know how I was introduced to you. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Speaking of good, Tips is real good this game. 
Well, it's interesting because I've gotten better over the years because when I was a kid, I would always put this one off to later in the game when I had some other items that made it a lot easier. But I think it's much more rewarding if you do it now. Yeah. Because then you truly get to experience the quote-unquote puzzles in it. Yeah. Plus, I like the atmosphere. I'm not dissing the other Skulltala house. I just like this one a little better. Yeah. Do, do you believe in the, the overall uh, idea behind the story of, of the game itself, how they say how it's actually like Link is supposed to be dead and he's stuck in limbo or something and he's going through the different stages of grief of people dying or something like that? You ever well, heard that? The, that is one of my favorite episodes of Game Theory. And yeah. I've, I've, there was one day I watched that. And then I watched a, a video that was about twice as long. Some guy went through all of Matt Pat's points and kind of debunked them. So it, it can work either way. Hmm. It's a very intriguing concept for sure. I highly doubt that that's what Nintendo meant. But the idea behind it, you know, it's very creative. Some of the like things like the creepy pastas and the fanfics and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. What's the creep- uh, sorry, What's the say... creepypasta associated with this game? I can't remember what it's called. Like about the haunted cartridge? Oh, yeah, Ben. The file called Ben? Yes. Creepy. Yeah. But I was going to say, you remember the theory you heard about Link is dead, and the original Link is dead in Twilight Princess? He's that Stalfos? Yep. Hmm, that's interesting. I want to hear about that creepypasta cartridge thingy you were talking about. Hold on a sec. Let me, let me look up the name here. Okay. Speaking of which, uh, did you also hear about – speaking of something that's creepy, did you also hear about um, Pokemon – I think it was either red or blue – that there was a specific sound uh, or music that had to deal with – I believe it was Lavender Town or something like that. And it yes. dealt with – yeah, like the music made like – kids go insane or have nightmares or go nuts or something like that and i don't doubt it man i listen to some of it and i i just listen to it steadily and i'm like this is like really starting to freak me out just hearing this stuff because it was something about the pitches or something that was in it and it's just really strange and and like made made kids go nuts or they had to go to the hospital or something like that. i don't know how in the world that could have happened but yeah and and the name of the the name of that creepy pasta is ben drowned Yes, that's oh, right. Man. I remember uh, you, hear, you heard about the arcade legend uh, or whatever it's called, P- Poly- Polybus? Polybius. Polybius, yeah. yeah. I wonder if yes. that's BS. And, uh, yeah. There are actual Polybius arcade cabinets, but I think they're more re- recreations yeah. of what it was supposed to be or what the legend says it is. Well, <laughs> you just try to use the seeds right there? The beans? Uh, cool beans. Ah, uh, oh, fail. Speaking of fail, check out my live stream Mario 2 where I failed a lot last night. On the, the other night, Shane was <laughs> Yeah. That glitch with the the f- vegetable, I'd never seen that happen before, but I think it I really, know why it happened. Because the ROM, probably. Kaboom! There's a few Come other glitches too. Come. Oh yeah, you know in uh, Kakariko Village in Ocarina of Time where you roll to one of the crates and you get the chicken? Mm-hmm. Uh, Venom 22 was like, man, where's the other chicken at? I said, right here, and I rolled to the qu- crate and got it. He goes, oh. And I said, you couldn't figure that out? He goes, no, I don't roll to crates like dumbasses like you do. And I said, dude, when you get close to the crate, there's a green arrow because Navi's pointing at the giving you a clue right there that the chicken's in here. That's how I found out. No, you just rolling the crates like dumbasses. I said, no, shut up. <laughs> yeah, don't be cocky. <laughs> right, yeah. This room used to confuse me. There's, there's several things to do in here. How many you got to get again? 30? 30, yep. So we're almost there. So what else do you got to do in this room? Okay, there's that one, and then I believe this is the room. You got those up there, and I believe this is the room where you have to plant. I think you, ah, there might be a way around it at this point. Where you have to plant uh, a bean, and then um, have this have the the leaf take you over. 
I could be uh, wrong, though. It's been quite a while since I played this. Well, why don't you turn over a new leaf? <laughs> why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? I feel oh. like an idiot whenever I'm explaining stuff. <laughs> All right, 23, Skull Tillers. 23 is number one. Yep. Why are you rolling to crates like dumbasses? Like dumbasses, like you're more than one person. If I remember right, you can actually make this jump. You can jump over to that little doorway without this. Cool. You can barely make it. I never knew that a plant can make such a sound. This sound it sounds like the beginning of the original oh. opening to SmackDown. Remember when they had dancing as the theme music? The beautiful people. Yeah, that oh, was yeah. great. They need to bring back metal in the WWE, man. Not this poppy freaking oh. BS junk. The beautiful peephole? Yeah, exactly. The beautiful glory hole. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the glory hole, Bobby. Rude. This is this is my favorite room in this place. A tree and a bunch of plants. Yep. But it's not any tree. You you can hear them. You're probably saying, "Hmm, where are all they?" Oh, well, you'll oh. see. You gonna let me hit you like that? Boom. Oh, fail. Boom. Come on. Boom. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, Link. Boom. Get good. Damn hit, damn hit detection. Kaboom. There we go. And nice. Is this the uh oh this is the Deku tree he's been in the museum now because he's dead. Yeah. This belongs yeah, to the museum. Children. So do you. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot there's a lot in this one room. Blowing out snot uh, bubbles. Yeah. Choo. Uh, yeah, maybe that's what you're doing when you're blowing your nose. Yeah, yeah, you're just this shooting them out and knocking acorns down. This game blows. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that's the Wind Waker. No, the, no, that would be spirit tracks because you have to actually have to the instrument you play, you actually have to blow into the microphone and it sucks. <laughs> wow. You gotta blow your microphone uh, yeah. controller. This game yeah, will blow you away. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's. Either, I'm pretty sure it's Spirit Tracks. To play the flute or whatever it is that you have, you actually have to like be blowing into the mic the whole time, and switching, like your the position of your stylus on the screen to play different notes. It's awful. The rest of the game's great, but that mechanic sucks balls. Didn't Mike Matei do something like that with the original Zelda? Or oh, you can yes, speak into the, it. The Famicom version of the original Zelda, the second controller on the Famicom, has a speaker, and if you make loud noises into it, it'll kill the Pulse voice. Ah, oh, that's right. Suck on myself to chuck the balls to give me my decimal. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> Have a helping of some buggers and gum. The lyrics, <laughs> the, the lyrics sound like a, a opening to a Raw Smackdown. <laughs> That's what they were saying the entire time before they had Manson on there. That's exactly what they time. I'm like, I don't even know what y'all are even saying. You're doing that whole pillow on a microphone deal again. He said Ahmed Johnson's theme. Bully, bully, bully. Man, somebody can understand what Ahmed Johnson was ever saying. So, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. I'm like, I need a translator here. For God's sakes, this man's going to blow a corner and just bust a blood vessel out of his brain. The only time I ever heard him, the only thing I ever understood him saying was, you're going down. You're going down. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> he was talking to his career. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Lord. Oh, you got the mask of ECW. Oh, we got the mask of truth here, and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> With a mask of truth, you can actually understand what Ahmed Johnson is saying. I think those armbands that he that he had on were probably cutting off the blood flow to his brain. They looked like they were kind of tight. <laughs> great googly moogly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oogly, great oogly moogly. Not going anywhere for a while. Grab a Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not when you're wrestling on Matt Johnson. You'll be getting some injuries. Oh, my face oh. hurts. <laughs> my face is tired. Just like Mass Effect. <laughs> oh, I bet it is. Are those graphics. Whoa. All right. Whoosh. That's how you warp. Oh, yep. I got tears coming out of my eyes now. <laughs> Our sense of humor is warped. Uh, that's the best kind. <laughs> okay. Now, the Mask of Truth in this game has an interesting function. You can t listen to animals' thoughts with it. Nice. Welcome. Welcome to your doom. This guy Rise isn't, from the grave. This guy isn't as cool as uh, the bomb guy from Twilight Princess. I forgot his name. Barnes? Barnes. Yeah. He was the bomb. <laughs> you blow up his warehouse? Yeah. Hey, we got you. You're back. Give me money. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not making any more donations to you anymore, we got. I'm a YouTuber. Give me money. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh, heart piece now? She's spanking herself. Why is she spanking her knees? Wait a minute! I thought you were supposed to get a heart piece after a thousand rupees. No, 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 no. That's that's uh, five thousand. Oh, All right. That's a rip off. <laughs> Jeez, five thousand? I want to oh. beat this game and fight Majora already. I don't want to keep on depositing to Wiga all the time. <laughs> Man, you'd be dead if that happened to you. Like as a god. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, I can't wait for God of War next year. Oh, good lord of mercy. <laughs> Sorry, god of BCW? Yeah, well, that would be something. I'd play that. Right. Paul Heyman? Oh, awesome. <laughs> but yeah, that was, there you go. Actually, yeah, I can, I... I can imagine playing as Paul, Heyman, Paul Heyman's skin over Kratos. Well, if you want to talk about God of ECW, I mean, Todd Gordon technically created that company. <laughs> That's the long story behind that. Eastern Championship Wrestling. Well, yep. yeah, I think, well, I, I think, but, yeah, I guess then Heyman turned to extreme. Extreme. After Shane Douglas threw the belt down. Yeah. I would Naked. give, I would, I, I would donate a dollar to WWE if they would bring back the Hardcore Championship. That was one of the greatest championships of, of all freaking time. I don't give a piss the number, what anybody okay. says. The number That's one good. thing I want them to bring back, and they need to bring it back for Survivor Series and resurrect that pay-per-view, is freaking War Games. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I but, agree with that. That's but great. if it's not Vince creation, most yep. likely he won't do it. And also I heard he hated that concept of two rings inside a cage kidding me those classic war games matches are the shit they're I awesome know, man i watched them on the network and on youtube man it was the good old days wasn't it in one of them like sid almost broke brian pillman's neck yeah because he tried to powerbomb him and he hit the top of the cage and accidentally dropped him on his neck can you imagine raw versus smackdown war games wow that would be Oof. amazing brock lesnar on team awesome. raw it, man yeah all right, folks, thank you. If you've made it this far, God bless you. <laughs> uh, for Ronnie and Spectre, I'm Tibbs, and we'll see you next time. Peace! God bless you and take care. <laughs>what is up everyone welcome back to legend of zelda majora's mask on sc2k i am tibbs along with ron moore ravenous specter and for the first time in this series and with me personally in a long time j-man all right yes. reunited and it feels so good yep finally the woodfall temple yes and the first thing i wanted to say about this temple is coming to me right now this is the purpose of that stray fairy mask I told you about. Each one of the four dungeons has 15 stray fairies in it, and you do want to get them all because the rewards are great. Oh. I was going to say, I've never seen that mask before. Yeah. It's no. the only function it serves. It serves no purpose outside of the dungeons. Tibbs is okay. lying. Don't wood fall for it. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> Yeah, there's only four dungeons in this game, but I think they are very well done. This one's fairly simple, of course, because it's the first one, but it does contain one of my personal favorite bosses in any game ever, 
because of how stupid it is. Oh yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. Can't wait to get to that part. I uh, definitely have to check that out. It kind of reminds me of also this uh, boss fight. It's actually the first real major boss fight that you have in Persona Five. It, the, the boss is just absolutely insane. Yeah, I, I think it's probably one of my favorite in terms of like visualization of how he looks and his attacks and whatnot. I think it's probably one of my favorite bosses that I've uh, fought in a game, especially especially with how kooky and crazy he looks and just insane and stupid. I haven't seen this temple since. 2001, I think, when I beat this game. Wow. Talk about a long time no play. Yeah. Well, like I said, when I first played it, the whole having a limited amount of time to do the temples kind, you know, it kind of intimidated me a little bit. But they don't really. The, only one of them. I can. I still sometimes have to push it to beat it before time runs out. But. I get those pants on bothering to buy you is it because of the mask that you have on. What's that? I said, how come those plants aren't, aren't bothering to bite you? Is it because of the mask that you have on? I believe so, yes. Oh, I know yes. those plants oh, are plants in the water, yep. Yep, because if, if you try to swim into them as a human, they'll eat you up. But won't the yeah. purple water kill you anyway? Yes, it is poison right now. Mm. Guess we'll have to do something about that. Purple haze! Dun, 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 dun. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love Hendrix, but when I first heard that some people thought that's what the line was, I could not stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me okay, while I kiss this guy. You're collecting straight fairies. What, what do they do? Either. In each of the four compass, uh, compass directions, you have a different region, as you know, and a different temple. And in the area where each temple resides, we didn't, go, we haven't gone into this one yet. Outside, there is a cave where one of the, well, where one of the great fairies is supposed to be, but the Skull Kid, through his mischief, has broken him up, just like he did the one at Clock Town. So what you're doing is collecting the stray fairy pieces to make her whole again. And once you do that, she will give you a reward, as the fairies do. And each one of them is great. The one you get from, from this one, I wouldn't say is required, but the other three, definitely. Okay. So you get, like, some, some drugs or something. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's what it looks like when Link gets his upgrades from now, like he's tripping. Uh, hey, Woodfall Temple, Umaga called. He wants his entrance music back. <laughs> Rest in peace, Umaga. Yeah. Those are spiky. Those little spiky turtles look like those from the the, the Mario series, the, like the Koopa Troopas with the spikes on their shells. Yeah. yeah. I believe they're Koopa Troopas, and when you hit them, they 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 can uh, damage you if you don't bother to jump over them in time. Spiny. Yeah. Yeah. Gag whack. Gag whack. Yeah, it's an Aflac. What is it saying? Yeah. Speak. That's one of my favorite enemy names from Mario Sunshine, Cataquack. What? Cataquack? What? There are enemies in Mario Sunshine and Galaxy 2 called Cataquack. They're like little faceless ducks. Uh, <laughs> well, duck to live longer. Ah, fail. Try yeah, to make no reference to Simon's Quest. <laughs> the graveyard duck to live longer, whatever it was. Speaking of Castlevania, I'm really excited for the Netflix anime coming out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I definitely looks interesting. Absolutely. I can't wait for Blood for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night to finally come out. Oh yeah, man. I saw some other footage of that that they released before E3 and it looks like it's gonna be pretty sweet. Ooh, oh. Whoa. Was it the Let's Play Curse again? <laughs> and again, once again, just like with the Gold Skull Tullas, I love how it doesn't stop your gameplay each time you get one. Right. Oh, yeah. Like the Castlevania so, 2 day to night transition. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so well, they F definitely need some game mechanic improvements in this. Yeah. I mean, it's it's ironic that Ocarina of Time gets all the attention, and it should. It's a fantastic game. And a lot of people tend to... Well, I think in recent years, since, you know, in the internet gaming boom, it's gotten a lot more attention. But back then, not a lot of people really got into this game, and it's a shame. Because in some ways, it's superior. I can see why it, it's superior 
personally, I still prefer Ocarina of Time. The one thing, and I'm not bashing this game. This is a great game. But what turned me off from the replay value was the, the whole time three-day thing. Yep. Yeah. And I, I can see why. Time yeah, there's is a one... precious commodity. Yeah, that's one of the things that really gets to me when it comes comes to me in gaming. Uh, the title itself has to be really special for me to be able to deal with any type of time limits in games, because if there's one pet peeve I have in games, it's time limits. I can understand that trying to bring in some sense of urgency, depending on the situation or mission or whatever the case may be. But then again, I'm the type of person where I really love to just explore, and I love to explore the environment, explore everything, and look at all the art direction, this in the game, and all of that. And if I'm put on a time limit, I'm just like, oh god, I gotta rush, I gotta do this to get this, otherwise I'll die, or something else will happen, or you know. So uh, that's that's the only, the only other series I can think of, and I, I'm sure I'm wrong, that does something like that is the Dead Rising series. Yes, you're right. The, I, I couldn't get into the first and second one. I like the third one a little bit, and I actually beat the fourth one. Um, and that one doesn't have a time limit in it either, man. I had I had so much fun with the fourth one. The fourth one was the one that I really liked the most. I didn't get too far in the third one, and the first and second one just, just uh, I couldn't I couldn't do it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, making your own drill shaft and drilling zombies apart never gets old. Exactly. I like time limits in like situations like in Metroid, you gotta leave the planet. And you know, certain situations like that, that's that's different. But what really gets under my skin, time limits when you're trying to put in a password or you yes. start the game on like what is the rush? Or try to figure out a puzzle or something. Yeah. Whoa. The black ghost from uh Ghost, Patrick Swayze. Uh -oh. Dang it, too soon. <laughs> no. too oh, late. You're dead, Willie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Carl. <laughs> I love that movie. Nikita hates it. Oh, what? Tell her. I need to talk to her. Out of the two of us, I'm the big softy. <laughs> you gotta get hardcore ECW. ECW. So is, uh, is Link a furry now? <laughs> <laughs> I think he always has been. Now. And then he has like a uh, like a social justice warrior mask there. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. That was like a gender, non-gender binary mask or something. I don't know. SJW. SJW. <laughs> I prefer I've myself you. to be uh, nut gender. I'm like, yeah, you're a nut, all right. <laughs> gender Mahal? <laughs> I'm lax gender. gender. I just don't care. If... <laughs> If if Ginger Mahal and Scott Hall teamed up, would they be known as a tag team called Ginger and Scott Hall? <laughs> wow. Hey yo. Yeah. I am the bad guy. At least I think I am. Yeah. I'll see how I feel about it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully Samoa Joe can shock the world as well. Yeah. Here's what I think about that. I think that Samoa Joe should win the championship from Brock because that big lard has not even been on TV since he won the freaking championship. And right. Samoa Joe has been on like every single week, practically. Yeah. And yeah, we need somebody on there who's actually going to be on the freaking broadcast, not somebody who's going to go and be God knows where holding the championship. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. And the fact that WWE did something like that just further goes to show that the creative team is run by a bunch of monkeys. I agree. You know, if I if I was the booker, and I know there are no bookers anymore, but if I was oh, one, I would I I would do it where like the GM. I, I know this the GM situation would work for this. But got sick and tired that Brock wasn't quote unquote making dates, wasn't taking challengers. So have a tournament to crown a new champion. Then as time goes on, Brock gets pissed off. Then finally at Mania, you have a match to determine who the real champion is. Yeah. See, I just booked a better Mania main event than what they will. Pay me. Well, well, well remember, exactly. it's not necessarily the booker's fault. Vince McMahon has the last say so. Yeah, I he know. does. That old fart. Oh, I know what the fans want. The piss you do. Right. Your, your, rate, your ratings prove otherwise. Step down already. Let Triple H run things. Yeah. Um, I've heard, actually, I've heard that Triple H actually wanted 
to really kind of bring more of a quote-unquote attitude era kind of deal back again, and he wanted to actually bring more excitement to to WWE overall in general and make it more unpredictable and more exciting. But obviously he can't because Vince is the one that has everybody by the throat, and he's the one that has last say-so. So whenever Vince decides to finally either go to a nursing home, retire, or go to that big wrestling ring in the sky – then nothing's going to happen until, you know, one of those three things probably occurs and then Triple H and Stephanie can take over and I guess we'll just see what has uh, what happens from there. Like well, JR said, he'll go to hell and have a hostile takeover. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like back, like back in the Attitude Era where Vince was like, when I die, I want to go straight to hell. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm like, well, <laughs> that might happen, especially the way that you're running the freaking company. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but we just purified the water. Nice. I really like the uh, the kind of golden look of these menus. Yeah. I hear somebody's fan. That's, yeah, That's it's like, mine. You know, the, well, I, got oh, I got one going on right next to me. I'm going to turn on my air conditioner in a minute, too. You all oh. deal with it. It's fucking hot here. No, Dude, you need uh, to tough it out. Guys, just, just sweat it out. Oh, hey, shut up. This is my show now. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, 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 on the show I it, 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 it is fucking hot, so don't give the man any crap. The the SC2K takeover. Sure. Tibbs is taking over. Yeah, you That's tell right. him that. Again. That's what the T is going to stand for now, Tibbs. Yeah. Yeah, the NWO style and just spray paint black paint tibs everywhere. No, yeah. BWO. We're taking over. Yeah. <laughs> it's a TWO of the tibs world. Yeah. Now, come here, Doc. Let me pick you up and pitch you. I got tips on top. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I also oh, like how in this game it actually shows Link going up and down the stairs. Little details yeah. like that I really like. Yeah, there you go, you made it. Not to, not, you know, not to mention his crazy flips. Yeah, I like how he flips on here, it's pretty cool. But don't flip out. Nope. Especially not on that thing. Oh, I was Whoosh. never good at this right here. Because ah. if you oh, die, yeah. you probably go straight to hell. Yeah, you gotta be Rambo right here. Ah! There you go. There you go. Do the, do the old link. The link yell. Ah! Spectre, you don't have the balls to go up against Stone Cold Steve Austin. I have balls the size of grapefruits. <laughs> 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 One of the best lines ever in that era. You don't have the yeah. balls to fire Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't got the balls. I got balls the size of grapefruits. And this Sunday, <laughs> you're going to be picking the seeds out of your teeth. <laughs> oh, we got the genetic jackhammer. He pretty much said he was going to like shoot off in Stone Cold's mouth. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> now, you gotta be kidding. I was so hoping I'd get some Deku seeds or something right there, but I forgot. We don't get them in this game. Uh, I've got balls the size of DQ nuts. And this Sunday. You know, <laughs> It, 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 it never occurred to me until I watched uh, an LP of Ocarina of Time that you get Deku's sticks, you get the nuts, and you get the seed. Oh, oh boy. good lord. That's that's a sexual thing even Nintendo. Nintendo. <laughs> well, Ocarina of Time did come out during the Attitude Era. Yeah, it did. So, yeah, so did this. Yeah. Everything was awesome back then. Yep. Back in my day, we had Attitude. <laughs> exactly. Now all you guys have is gender. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just you assume my gender? Windows 90, so that was yeah. not good. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, is that, is that is that a bubble under that cage? Is that yep, a fairy? fairy. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a fairy under there. Uh, very good. Come on, Ronnie, you know all about fairy. That's right. What does that mean? Yeehaw! <laughs> Fairy, fairy, dairy, dairy Queen. I'll go Jim Cornette on somebody. Oh, Francisco. I'm gonna dress up like the Great Fairy Queen from uh, Breath of the Wild for Halloween. Boy, I look ugly as like a. <laughs> have Have you upgraded anything 
Spectre, have you upgraded anything to level four where she'll actually grab you and like pull Link in with her? Uh, I think I have. Or at it's least maybe funny. level three. The, the, I'm screen, not really sure. the screen goes blank and you hear him go, ah! <laughs> I'm not sure if it was three or four. I honestly haven't played the game in a long while, so I can't even remember where I even last left off. For Halloween, I'm going to go to Dairy Queen and dress as Cornette. <laughs> we ordered the damn shit! <laughs> yeah. Manager comes out. We waited 30 effing minutes in this drive through and they didn't make it till we got here? <laughs> oh my hitch you Yeah, wagon. you won't get a damn thing. They didn't, they didn't start a effing thing! <laughs> Wear some weird khaki pants or whatever weird pants he was wearing that video, I forgot. Yeah, love how he sticks his face right in the window. Yeah. The funny thing is. He just don't give a shit. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Oh, these guys. <laughs> oh, crackhead frogs. Yeah. It's a, what the? There's a turtle. <laughs> it's a snapper. That's not a snapper. Snapper to a slim jim. <laughs> That's exactly what a snapper really says. Eat me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's walking on. Huh? Gecko. Save money by switching to gecko. Oh, wait. <laughs> Screw Geico, by the way. Yeah, I'm with you. With that. Save money, my ass. Go with the general. Uh, uh, or progressive. Yeah, I had progressive one time when I when I had them. They were pretty good, but then they ended up increasing the, the rates at least for me, and I'm not even thinking. I'm always getting State Farm mail, and I don't even have a car. Boo! State Farm, boo! Then what's the other one? All state. Yeah, all state. I don't know about that. Oh, punk. And there's one of the five frogs. Yeah, the frog Ocarina choir, time, Ocarina yeah. of Time. That they're also in this game. Oh. Oh, okay. Can't yeah, with it now, though. Right. Frogs jump. <laughs> all right, now to get the Sasha Banks key. <laughs> Cause it's so fucking boss. Yep. What is this the big key? Oh, oh god, I cannot stand Sasha Banks. Yep. I awesome. have the elusive pink key. Yeah, I always call it I a big. Yeah, yeah I, I actually mentioned this in a previous video, J Man. I believe Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask are the only games where it's called the boss key, and all the other games, well, mostly it's called the big key. Oh, okay. Except yeah. for Skyward Sword, the keys in that game are really different. A link to the past, the big key. When I was playing that game when I was a kid, my friend was watching me, he was making a dirty joke. I got a big key right here! <laughs> Jeez. If it's shaped like a key, I think you need to go see a doctor. Yeah. Is that too bad it doesn't work or anything? Shut up! <laughs> it doesn't fit any, any lock that I've ever done. Yeah. I You're turning it the wrong way? Yeah. It's to the left, not to the right. Yeah. To the left, to the left! Just be glad it fits, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me turn my hips here a bit. My half I got, man, I got the master key to unlock your hidden dungeon. <laughs> your genetic That's jackhammer's right. coming home, baby. Well, genetic jackhammer. Whenever I think of this dungeon, this is the first room I think of. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. The last four fairies, I believe, are in here. like that game on the first one on uh yeah whatever ocarina of time oh where you get the ice arrows yeah no yeah no where you get the the no. i don't know whatever uh where you shoot the rupees that go across the screen oh yeah oh the uh the shooting gallery there's a couple of those yeah. in this game too yeah the ones in this game are pretty difficult okay. uh, I, I, I played it like a day I, I rented it when it first came out and, Remember, remember part A of Twilight Princess, J Man, where we talk about uh, are there any uh, like are there any black rubies, rupees? And we got we guy goes, yeah, they actually take rupees away from you. What? 
we talked about that in part six of Majora's Mask. Remember, and uh, you have to go back and watch Twilight Princess part eight. It's been a while. We talk about, you t- we, I don't know, like some r- race jokes in there and different color rupees. That was the, that was the crazy creepy. one. That was the one, J-Man, I think you even said afterwards. You usually don't go back and watch or listen to stuff that you did, but you would that one because it was so good. Yeah. I don't think that I did. <laughs> I think I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the Crown Royal. Back and watch it now. Only I'll I've forget. Even said to, I've even said to Ronnie, that was the video. Before then, I was still getting used to this. I was still nervous, but that was the first video where I was like, all right, I got this. This is awesome. Yeah. And the, our, our audience was chanting, this is awesome. Clap, 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 clap. All three of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, that was ECW. Now, I think J-Man was uh, drinking Crown Royal that night. He had his own pay-per-view, the Crown Royal Rumble. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna go back and watch that after this. That was, yeah, that was that's pretty. That's, that was one of the best commentaries we've done. Yeah. Even we got said, yeah, so uh, if, if there's a, ever yeah. a, a best of SC2K collection, that's gotta be a part of the the mashup. Oh yeah. Shadowgate 64. Yeah. We came in rage quit. And it, it, it's good for me because I, I, like I said, I was a fan of you guys for so long, and there's always parts with your favorite LPs that you like to go back and watch because they're so good. Little did I know that at one point I'd be involved in one of those myself. Yep. I'm just a fan. It's real to me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that star soldier sitting in the audience, uh, I'm Cornette. No, J-Man's Cornette, and I'm uh, I don't know who else. And then Star Soldier asked a question. I, I just want to say to you, I just want to thank you all for what you said in your commentaries. <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it! I mean, <laughs> I might take it easy, brother. Yeah, even even though we're using someone else's footage, it's still real to me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, even though the footage isn't real, the commentary is. That's right. And my history with this game is real, damn it. Yeah. Don't try this at all. I dare someone on YouTube to walk up to me. I think this is fake. What? You think it's fake? Huh? How's that feel? Does that feel fake? That's right. Huh? What, yeah. what about that? What do you mean? No. Exactly. Put an N64 oh. controller in the oh. hand and go, you think this is fake? Yeah. <laughs> and it is time. Oh, here we go. If you haven't seen this guy, oh, you gotta. What is that? Evil eight ball looking death thing that they select. Oh yeah, here he is. The masked jungle warrior, Odawa. 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 What is he talking? What are you saying? E C W E C W It's the most absurd. He's <laughs> 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 like a Jamaican knight. It reminds me of the music in the Fire Temple in uh, Ocarina of Time. Oh! Which one, the original or the the one they replaced the one, it with? The one with the. I guess that's the original one. It's the original. <laughs> You can kill this guy long before he does that, but I have to see it every time. Well, <laughs> yeah, now he's doing like a, a rain dance or something. Yeah. Hurt my face, Owie. Oh. That was Owie. Okay, so what? What in the hell is that? That item up there it looks like a uh, eight ball with a. Oh, death. that's the. That's the bomb. Oh, mask. the blast mask. The blast you mask. You can blow yeah. your face up. You can blow your face up. Well, you just broke you just the fourth wall. The black, black face. The what? Blast mask. <laughs> the black yeah, face. Yeah, okay. Well, black face. More racist yeah. jokes here. Oh. Uh, yeah. oh. You, you take rupees from people when you use it. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a D-Map. Oh, never mind. Cool. 
<laughs> All right, you know, we do. A blast mask, you blow your face up. Does it damage enemies, or what? How does your face come back? Right. If it explodes, what link just die? Yeah. You defeat Umaga. Like, uh, there's, there's liquor stores that you can rob in this game, basically. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I tell them to use logic. <laughs> suicide bomb mask. <laughs> so, I could have made a joke about that, but I'm not going to. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll say, we'll do it after a broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you defeated Tatanka. Can't just call me Ludwig Borga. Oh, jeez. The Brock Lesnar of 93. <laughs> okay, now it looks like yeah. Link's on the cards. Oh. One down, three to go. Trippy. So you talk to Sloth here? Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go collect some fairies after this is over. <laughs> Somebody ate too much Taco Bell. <laughs> Wait, listen, he's saying Taco Bell. Double <laughs> Ronnie's been waiting the whole time to do that. <laughs> I didn't know Sloth like ECW. Imagine Get your you instrument. Trying to chant it. ECW. 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 You sound like Grover from Sesame Street there for a second. Nightmare on Ses Sesame Street. <laughs> Nightmare on Sesame Street, yeah. Jeez, even Mario doesn't see this shit. <laughs> Grover's running around stabbing people with his. What? Uh, it's not a drop. Oh, the oath is a horror. Yeah. Jim Cornette. Order. I mean, the oath to order the drive through 40 minutes ago. We still haven't had my foot ready yet. Oath of office? Bubbles in the game again. Bubbles are hurting Rambo. It, yeah. yeah, it looks like you're in like an ice cream machine or something. I don't know. Right, yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Soft serve for everyone. Soft serve link. You know what? I bet they'd have something like that over in Japan. They have like specific Nintendo related desserts. And you could have something called soft serve link and it would be green just like that. And it would taste like yeah. victory. It's, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's, that's raw sausage. Yeah, they got Ganondorf raw gumbo. Raw sausage. Ganondorf gumbo. Oh, God. In Louisiana. Oh. No. And no, actually, I think it would be more of like Ganon, Ganondorf uh, bratwurst or something, since he's in reality I, actually like a, a pig meat thingy. <laughs> there is no pain, you are receding. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, this is bringing back memories of what I've seen at the water temple. Yeah. No, oh, so now the, the water is uh, purified yeah. here as well. That's right. The whole region is purified now. Yep. So, like, what what does that do? Can you like go collect heart pieces or something now? Actually, yes. Cool. Link has saved us from the darkness and purified. And the way the the way this game works, it's kind of lame, but it's also kind of cool. If you go back to the first day, everything we just did will have not happened yet, so everything will be bad again. However, if you go into the first room of the dungeon. Having that mask we got will be able to teleport us strictly straight to the boss room. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I've heard a little bit about it. Like you can you can like go to the bank and shit and like save certain yeah. things, and whatnot. And, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Consum yeah. Consumables don't carry over. <laughs> oh, okay, so you don't get to keep your drugs. Yeah. <laughs> nope. You always get more. Yeah. Bullshit. Well, yeah, you just got to smoke them all right before the end of the third day. That's yeah. right. To do some of the stuff Link does, I'd have to be high. Right? Oh, yeah. Well, wait a minute. What is this? Ah, we're not done here yet. It's not really. Lobby horn swap. Oh, this kind of reminds me of Conquer, the great mighty two. Yeah. What the hell? I'm going to throw my, my shit, shit at you. Oh, <laughs> uh, back you when Rare was on. Yeah, exactly. Man, she's hot. Awesome. Some scatty little twat. 
Man, forget Medna. I hit that. Yeah. I hit it with a bat. Oh, <laughs> dicky stick. <laughs> like, uh, uh, hit it with my dicky stick. Thanks. Remember Cubert? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Cubert's sister. <laughs> yeah. She's the one who must be making all that noise. <laughs> yeah. Orgasming every few seconds. What the hell's wrong with that? Oh, jeez. Are you serious? Serious? Is father actually doing that? Or yet another hasty decision, father. <laughs> oh. I'm so, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I just wet my dicky nuts. What happens? <laughs> Now, you know how the superhero usually grabs the girl and carries her like he's carrying her across the threshold? Bullshit. Yeah. But do you see how Link carries this one? Right. <laughs> oh, okay. This was reminding me of, yeah, that one little bratty bitch in the other game. <laughs> nice. He puts her in a bottle. Yeah, Link, Link learned his lesson. He's putting her in a bottle. Yes, yeah, should have done that to Rudo. How in the name of mercy does she fit? Well, this Nintendo logic, so it doesn't yeah, There's no logic yeah. here. Yeah, that's right. Now you gotta... Take her back to uh, King Deku yeah. to prove to him that the monkey did not kidnap the princess. That's right. Princess gotta, make a, gotta make a pit stop first. So this turned into like a, like a murder romance novel or something. You gotta, you gotta like prove the monkey innocent of all charges. Yep. <laughs> yeah. There's lots of murder and romance in this game. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> that's a heavy metal feel vibe to it. All right, we'll oh, yeah, that's right. I know what you're doing here. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't go in here before. Because there's no real point to it beforehand. Yeah. Then go into the... the... It's been a while. Dun, now, dun. speaking of drugs. Yeah. There we go. Shooting out all the drugs out it's of his a, pockets. It's a, it's a fairly odd appearance. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw when I first saw this uh, back when it first came out, I thought I was saying to myself, "Okay, is that supposed to be leaves on her, or is that like a tattoo?" I was like, "If there's tattoos, then why can't you see your nipples?" Oh wait, it's Nintendo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can't do that. They're it? still they're still doing shit like that. Breath of the Wild in the Japanese version, Zelda's stomach is bare, and the version we got, it's not. It's like who cares. Yeah, exactly. That, 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 that makes no sense how they do like certain. I'm high as sense. fuck. <laughs> That's some good shit right there. <laughs> What's it called? Fairy spice. I, I, I think I've done some drugs like this before. <laughs> so now we can do the big spin attack. Nice. Cool. Try it oh, out. I her. will come. I will come again, lady. <laughs> You come and go, you come and go. Like adult Link in this game? Or is it just kid? <laughs> yeah. It's just kid. That's you gay. Come and go. Uh, okay, somebody needs to have a seat somewhere. What? <laughs> Link is only, what, 12 years old and that fairy is, uh, yeah. For you the first time ever. Time. For the first that time, fairy is like twenty thousand. Yeah, for the first time ever, we we catch a female predator. Dun, dun, dun. And she's just as ugly yeah, like all, all, all those damn hot teachers you always read about take advantage of those young teenage boys. Yeah. Hot for teacher. She, she, yeah. she tries to run, but the high roll soldiers take her down outside. I forgot my pencil. Give me something to write on. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, she just split back up into the uh, like stray fairies. Yeah. Hide again. Yeah. Now you're going to go back probably to... Probably what uh, happened last time. That's probably actually what happened. Yeah. Yep, DQ Paladin. Okay. Yep. I got your princess with me. Hey, we totally didn't see you put that mask on right in front of us. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's short term memory, like a goldfish. Right, yeah. Hey, you broke that sign. Go back and fix it. What sign? 
Yeah, you said that last time. Wait, I did? Oh, yeah. No, the monkey. Oh, what? Uh... Was he dead? <laughs> Ugh, I gotta do everything around you. Easy, dumb. I got your princess. Suck on that. Get a haircut or get a trim. He's gotta do everything for everybody. Nobody can do it themselves. It's glorified hair and glory. Dump her out on her head. Idiot. Whoa. She merged with me. That's some tile on top of Does Scooby do the voice acting here? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, she's gonna pwn him. Don't, 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 don't. She's beating up her own day. Yep. <laughs> That's Stephanie beating up McMahon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You owe me, man. Right. Is that the monkey talking? Yes. What the hell? Hey, we've seen weirder monkeys, i.e. Twilight Princess. Yeah. <laughs> At least this monkey doesn't have a big red ass. Right, yeah. Gonna say I'm sorry. Oh, nope. whatever, buddy. I'm out of here. <laughs> ah, the Deku Butler, who has more significance than you might think. Mr. Belvin. <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 now, it, are any of you aware of the significance of the Deku Butler and the current form we have? I, I, if, I, if I am, I totally forgot, because like I said, it's been since 2001. Well, when that point comes, I'll tell you. Cool. Think back to the very beginning of the game. Damn, look at that tweaking on top of him. Let's get the ball oh, no, che no cheating, Spectre. I hear you typing back there. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was trying to Google it. <laughs> Just use your phone. Oh, it's easier to do it on Yeah, man. We can hear him typing on his phone, too. Oh, well, yeah. He always phone. has his typewriter. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I uh, fell. Uh. Get good, kid. Hey, I can't swim in real life, either. Yes, you can. Get good. No. <laughs> I, I can't, either. What, you can't swim? That You're stupid. Hey, it's not just about get good, get good, F you. Exactly. I'm sure you all remember the Don Pei race from Ocarina of Time. Well, this is Majora's Mask's answer to that. Yeah, that's right. This is far more interesting, though. It, it looks like that candle would burn that mustache off, like, right. real quick. <laughs> He's, so he's using his Mary Poppins umbrella. Oh, this is like the fucking ghost thing. And, yeah. That's what I just said. That's what I just said. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear you. Train's coming. But, but, <laughs> and you, <laughs> and you even need, though this is not a rare game, I think okay. he is rubber banded. You need more training and paying attention and put down the Crown Royal. No. Tell, tell the train Wait. that's enough. All right, hey train, shut have up. The ambience. Damn, we have trains, trains we have trains. fans. Does anyone want to blow their car horn too? Yeah. Uh, hey, trains. hey, hey, charge man back there, shut up before I pwn you again in Mega Man Five. Oh, here's Star Soldier. The game sucks. Charge man's stupid. <laughs> did did Tenzai just pass by? <laughs> Lord Tenzai, I remember that. Jeez. So he has his Mary Poppins umbrella. Does he work with the Umbrella Corporation? Huh? <laughs> Bush. Oh, jeez. 
Point Jamin's like, reference. what is this? Yeah, points for reference for that. <sighs> Jamin's like, yeah, you are zero almost points. a J-Man sandwich. <laughs> I award you zero points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Yeah. Oh, I remember this part. Fire Temple part. <laughs> yes. Man, this game oh! is a rip-off. A rip-off. Come a rip -off. on. Well, it's the same company, and basically the same game, except it's uh, alternate dimension. Imagine bouncing your head off fire. It's Ocarina of Time with masks. Yeah. Whoa, Indiana Jones now. Just about there, I believe. Oh, yeah, this one. Spectre's typing up a tutorial on how to get past this part. I am, and I'm not having any luck with it either. <laughs> Go ask Skip. It keeps going too fast. Yeah, ask Skip. Maybe he'll do a live stream of this game. <laughs> oh, God. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, the item... This, it Whoa. does have a use, but it's not really useful. It's a Ganon mask. <laughs> could sniff stuff out. That's about it. Huh. Now, this you're reminded of my son who left home long ago. The popular belief, and it's all been, uh, I think it has been confirmed by Nintendo, that, that that sad looking tree you see at the beginning of the game is actually what's left of his son, and the Deku mask is basically the spirit of his son. Hmm. As Link goes to heaven, he is dead. <laughs> Whew. All right. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. And J-Man, thanks for coming back. We we'll hope you're in a, well, you'll be in a lot more. So, J-Man, Ravenous, and Ronnie, I am Tibbs. God bless. Take Peace. Care. Indeed, adios. All right. Uh, yeah, bye and stuff. Yeah, he said uh, Tammy, uh, Sonny, and Chris Candido was in the freaking uh, uh, daggum uh, drive through, or not the drive through the counter. What the hell was that? Disregard yeah, what the that. hell was that? That was more failed editing than my part. <laughs> okay, so who, who are you stealing this from? We're the long place. <laughs> <laughs> That's one for uh. J-Man's J J J-Man's known Ronnie for a while. He knows all his secrets. Yeah. I'm, I did it first. He got. It. Yeah. Shh, it's a secret. Yeah, I've been doing this shit for about five years. Yeah. Good <laughs> <laughs> There's a lull take or bo S2K Botchermania. I was like, that, what? Happened I was like a, that happened in a previous video, and I was like, what the hell? What did I do? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't touch nothing. I swear. Yeah. Apologize, ladies and gentlemen, technical difficulties here. We're having technical difficulties. We've been exposed to like TNA, reading from the script. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Part 8. I am Tibbs, along with Ronnie, Jeff, and Viper. No, not Viper. This is Alpha 621, the Mexican <laughs> Star Soldier. The Mexican Star Soldier. <laughs> Buenos dias, guys. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, stop, bitches! <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Right, we gotta, keep, we gotta keep that. That's too good. Yeah. What, what do you say? What, what, what do you say, Mexican Star Soldier? <laughs> Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alpha. Last time Alpha did commentary with us was in 2011, and he tried to also join, I think, Mario Land LP, but yeah. Skype difficulties prevented that. Uh, that was actually a, a link to the past. Oh, okay, that's right. But once again, Skype. <laughs> Difficulties. Stop that. Yeah. Uh, get your game together, Skype. Yeah. Get yeah. your shit together. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so what are we doing now? You finished the. Uh, yeah. Last time you finished the Woodfall Temple. That's right. And now that the water is in this area is purified, there's a couple things we can do. I'm gonna I'm gonna just scratch myself for a minute there. I hope it feels good. Oh, it feels great. Oh, yeah. 
I like how you say that, and like I have to scratch my leg now. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it wasn't myself, but yeah, it was my upper like upper thigh. Yeah. It wasn't yourself. Uh, sh- shut. Up. You know what? <laughs> <It won't happen. laughs> M- Mr. Tibbs, just go back to being a lawyer. It's what you do best. Mr. Tibbs, that was a good soda. Oh wait, he was a cop, not a lawyer. That's oh. Mr. That was Mr. Pibb. Oh my bad. But no, there is the... a movie called "They Call Me Mr. Tibbs." Yeah, it, it's a sequel to The Heat of the Night. Mr. T. I paid a fool. That's what Jamie always calls you, Mike T. <laughs> Me and my soothing voice. Yeah. Made for radio, it's just perfect. <laughs> yeah. I have a face for radio. <laughs> yeah. what do, you, do you have Tommy Lee Jones' beautiful skin? <laughs> don't know where that came from. Okay, and... See, once you have four people in the room, it's total chaos. Right, yeah. It really is. That's what happened the last time. Beautiful. Now, this right here, this heavily implies that this guy is Tingle's father. It also heavily implies that he's probably related to this Sid from Final Fantasy, because that's what I keep saying. (laughs) That's like like... Booger. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my. (laughs) <laughs> so that's where he's what do you hiding. think was worse that that or the monk uh that <laughs> i wonder if miyamoto put any anything into his um games on the n64 to like a big fuck you to square because after they jumped ship you know he used to work with them a lot back in the nes and super nintendo days i just always imagine he put like something just like fuck you square we, we're good without you we don't need you well, for all you know, that could be what that writing on the wall says. That's true. Oh, that'd be awesome. He started his own In the Hylian, that would be perfect. Oh, you st- didn't even hit now, that. He started a little mini game where we're shooting a bitch. Might oh, well say I he, he, never he started his own game. company called Circle. Circle. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, don't make sure he, he didn't want to be a square, and it wasn't porno, so Circle was all that was left. Yeah. Well, you gotta watch out with those Japanese companies. Wait, I just oh, that's so <laughs> triangle. <laughs> 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 oh, I know. Maybe I should start writing a script. <laughs> you say that, and all I can think about is the triangle oh. shirt waist factory fire. You shot her. <laughs> I think if you hit her too much, she just ends the game. She says, yeah. "Screw you." <laughs> I think yeah. that's what all women do. You're like, I remember what you did not three at a time. That wasn't me. That was my alternate dimension oh. self. Also, when you shoot arrows at her, it brings back those memories. Like, oh, it's this yeah. kid. Yeah. He's, like, He's the one that killed us. Yeah. Yeah, flashbacks of the previous life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm too young to die. Don't lie, we're the same age, we're twins. <laughs> 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 Ridley makes a cameo. Yeah. Or Ridley, sorry, Ridley. Ah, what am I doing here? Ah! Yeah. I'm having to deal with Twin Rover again in Oracle of Ages. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, no. I feel sorry for you, man. Yeah. All that, that for that, a heart piece? This, this is a heart piece, Jeff. <laughs> Oh, fuck you and your stupid heart pieces. Oh, we got one heart piece, guys. It's going to be so great. Jeff, if you don't like heart pieces, leave now because this game has more than any other game in the series. You know what? I'm going to blow up this oh, game. Oh, yes, it does. How about we blow up your face? Oh, um, yeah, with the face try. mask. The blast mask. <laughs> or as Skip would say, Metal Gear, get the bomb blast suit. That sounds what? like a suicide bomber right there. Are you, are you talking about Metal Gear Solid 2 with, uh, what was that guy? No, the original. Oh, you're talking about the, oh, we're talking about the NES. Yeah. Yeah, the game that, uh, Skip live-streamed uh, a few days ago. Oh, yeah, I, I feel asleep. <laughs> of course you always feel asleep, Jeff. Yeah, that, that was long before that pansy Ryan showed up. Exactly. Oh, Fucking Ryan ruined the series. I really did it. Yeah. There's two shooting galleries in this game, and they're both pretty tough. Yeah. If you get, if you want to get perfect. Well, you should take out those rabbiters and stop looking like a little girl. Yeah. 
Hey, man. There's nothing more masculine than a set of rabbit ears. I don't know where you come from, but okay. Amen. Yeah. See, I, I like you better. Jeff, get out of here. Uh, see you later. <laughs> get out. I got a business to run. I'm in charge this. of this train now. Adios. I don't hear those dogs barking except that wolf. I mean, I don't see him. Oh, wait. <laughs> Jeff, tell them bitches to shut up. Shut up, you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crows. Shoot the fake two Sam. I always wondered if this was a backdrop in the room or if you were actually looking out into the real world. <laughs> yeah, right. Then you see the moon. You're thinking, oh, okay. The real world. Oh, yeah, that, that moon. <laughs> it's the background looks so shitty. I think it's a backdrop. Yeah. Actually, now I'm now I'm imagining the moon with the voice of Ridley. Hey, I'm gonna fall down one more day. Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alpha, I what's see the moon some in your... the back. What, what Alpha, happened? Well, I was gonna ask you what were some of your memories of this game. Um, well, it's mostly the side quest because um, this game is really side quest heavy. But uh, what I really liked about those side quests is that you get to learn a lot about the um characters because in in a lot of the zelda games like they really don't put that much emphasis on the secondary characters but in this one they really do and you start to like f have like a connection to them because you get to learn a lot about their backstory and stuff like that and that's why i really like majora's mask a lot perfect yeah, and by the end of the game you pretty much know everyone so it all makes that all the more important to save the day Take yeah. this, mate. The large quiver. It makes you quiver. <laughs> Make your enemies quiver. And we're going to play again because both shooting galleries have two prizes, and you're really going to like this next prize, Jeff. <laughs> it's a hard piece. I've, I've got an X-Acto knife here. I'm going to come and stab you. I will drive to Maine, and I will stab you and say, oh, here's your hard piece. Exactly. You know how to drive? <laughs> oh, Oh, snap. Sir, I have been driving for well over 10 years. Thank you. I'm feeling spunky tonight. Drives people crazy. I do. I do. <laughs> That's why Ronnie invites me. Exacto Mundo. He's got the Exacto knife. He's going to have a main <laughs> event with Tibbs. <laughs> <laughs> main event is murder. <laughs> Tibbs is feeling uh, spunky. I'm feeling punny. Hey, there's a murder of crows. I thought you were going to say Rocco. <laughs> Rocko Rock. There we go. Uh, Anytime you mention Public Enemy, we have to go quiet for at least five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> just, I just love how uh, you came from um, saving the Deku people, and here you are shooting them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I don't like you people anymore. I'm killing you. Yeah. For sport. Yeah. yeah. Well, the Deku oh, came. They wouldn't let me in. Yeah, the Deku King's a douchebag. Yeah, he's gonna boil an innocent monkey? Fuck you. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, guys, but I gotta do this for a heart piece. <laughs> In the long run, it'll help me save you. Yo, dog, yeah. I gotta get that heart piece. They're dying trust, for the cause. Guys. In order to save you guys, I have to kill you guys. Wait, let me, let me, uh, let me fix that. Perfect. That's the logic of a psychopath. Perfect. <laughs> Mr. Perfect? Yes. yes. Kurt Hennig. Mr. President. So that Street Fighter in Mexico would be perfecto. <laughs> there you go, Jeff. <laughs> can, can, I, can, I, can I pick the cartel? Because they always that seem to win. That was pretty darn good. Yep. In the DS version of this, I believe there's a fishing hole there. Easy dot, easy dot. Now time to scramble my molecules again. Uh, yeah. yeah, what if Damn. half of you ends up in the wrong spot? Just like you come with half a body. Ah! Man, you just spun that cat, uh, catcoon, uh, cocoon fast. Catcoon, Kakarika Village fell. <laughs> no, it's Crackhead Village. Yeah. Oh, I believe that. <laughs> Link, did you bring me my stuff? Okay. Back on the east side. There's the bomb blast suit. Yeah. Gonna blow my friggin' face off. Yeah. 
that is a wonder that it doesn't ex make your own face blow up. Yeah. Does you bulletproof, Cuddy? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oof. Oh, gosh, these guys. Is this the underground prison in Twilight Princess where uh, Link is chained up as a wolf? Hmm. There's a fan theory for you. Ooh, 100, 100 civil rupees. Oh, 100 civil rupees. I think... Good thing it wasn't a heart piece. Jeff would have gone crazy. <laughs> yeah. I would have lost my damn mind. <laughs> well, to be fair, I'd rather have 100 rupees than a heart piece. Yeah, I think we all would. In real life. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because imagine pulling that up. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, it's a human heart. And it's only a piece of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's still pumping. It's still... Blah, 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 blah. Simon's like, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll eat it with a nice Keontae. Huh. Looks right. like, oh, what can I do? The world is my oyster. No, give it to Kano. Give it to Kano. Link is going to do what he does best in times of stress. He plays a game. Right, hey there, yeah. little boy. You want to touch my well, belly? I mean, you got to do what AVGN does. Have side projects take the stress off the main project. That's right. I love yeah, how his chest hair looks like a nose. necktie. <laughs> <laughs> Big lips. Like Commander Murdoch in the Rambo game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate those things. Yeah, this is the tougher one in my opinion. You really have to have you know split second timing. Yeah. Yeah, you have and to be really you, perfect. And you have to this. get perfect to get the big prizes. Yeah. Now that's a backdrop. <laughs> Um, if you have played a 3DS version, would you say this is easier due to the uh, gyro control? I myself have not played the 3DS version, but my fiance has. She hasn't finished it, but she's playing it. Okay, because I, I heard I, due to the gyro. Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say like uh, because I heard due to the gyro control, they say like aiming with stuff is like much easier. Yeah, in a game like um, Breath of the Wild, where you use gyroscope to aim, I think doing that is a lot easier. So you can have a little more accuracy. But one thing I hear is a lot worse in the 3DS version is the swimming with the Zora. I hear they tank, they tank that pretty bad. Ooh, yeah, I heard that too. Which is a shame, because it's one of the funnest things to do in this game. Wow, the largest quiver. That's right. Don't give him any lip. <laughs> I can't tell asleep. He got so tired of the puns. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to want to wake up in a little bit, Jeff. Yeah. Wake me up before you go. go. Oh, oh, I got a copyright strike now on YouTube. Well, sorry, guys. Wake up, Jeff. Dun, 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 dun. Wake it's okay. Up, this Jeff. channel doesn't belong to me. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing every song I know from the 1980s. It'll be all right. That's a lot of songs. Born in the USA. I was, yeah, I was born in the USA. I was born. Anyway, sorry. I'm not going to try my The Boss. That is extreme, though. If you play, like, a clip of background music and it detects it, it gets copyright strike. Like, seriously? Oh, oh, oh. That was close. Oh. What was it? I'm not I like talking about, on, like, uh, background. I'm talking about, like, if you're in front of the webcam and you're playing a radio in the back and it, uh -huh. a little bit of copyrighted music, it, it, that 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 counts as a copyrighted strike. Like, really? Like, seriously? It reminds me of, um, on uh, on Best of the Worst, they were talking about co YouTube copyright box, Ooh. and he imagines there are those things from the Matrix that follow the ships, like the... <laughs> and they even do that on Twitch and even on Facebook if you stream on it. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah. I got a third party to put oh, my Mario uh, live streams. I, I don't like it when someone does the third party thing and you didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I don't care because it don't affect the video or get it taken down or oh. muted, but some of my Konami videos are blocked in some countries. Years ago when this whole crap started, that a couple of YouTubers that I watch had their channel suspended because of it. And it wasn't even really the copyright thing. It was like people trolling, like flagging their videos for copyright. Yeah. And they'll take your word for it because they're afraid of getting sued. Like, I can make up a company. Douchebag Incorporated owns Tibbs' face. 
Come on. And the thing, and the thing is, I'll never understand why companies like. Okay, if it's a video where someone's talking on the camera promoting terrorism or something, okay, I could see you. But what are the odds of that? If it's like a video game or a clip from a movie, if if anything, that's free advertisement, especially with video games. Oh, so what are you doing here, Tibbs? Well, around Terminator Field, there is four whole, four grottos, and each one contains four gossip stones. And if you play the same song to all four of the big ones, you get a special prize, which I won't tell because I know Jeff will love it. Which is a damn hard piece. You bastard, I'm like, have your heart now. What you oh, come on, Jeff. Have a heart. Ah, you have a damn heart. Have uh, a piece of heart. Yeah. yeah Ooh, you pwned that one. Another piece of your heart. Shot to the heart. And you're to blame, Cuddy. You give love <laughs> a bad name. <laughs> bad name. <laughs> I didn't know like, Angel was Tim, you sound blue. like that drive through that woman at the drive through with Jim Cornette. <laughs> <laughs> you cussed cuss me out, you get a lamp, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, let me tell you something. We ordered the... <laughs> Don't cuss at me, you have an ugly bitch. Imagine Jim Cornette playing this game during commentary. Well, what the? F I mean, you got these weird masks here. What the flying? Hey, good. Back in my day, we had Mario Brothers. Yeah, you, know, you got this garbage. This is actually garbage. You know, it's 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 uh. Look at that fucking like weak as hell. Hitty doesn't even sell. You know, they play a Bill. Bill Roddy plays Bow Toads. How about someone do, should do a mashup where Jim Cornette plays Bow Toads or or something like that? Oh my god. That didn't save a fucking thing! <laughs> hey, yeah. We'll do it live! Hey, I put in the freaking code! <laughs> <laughs> we ordered, we pre-ordered the game! <laughs> oh, so here's the third one. <sighs> When I was a kid in both these games, I loved going around to every gossip stone and seeing what they had to say. Yeah, you're such a gossip. <laughs> Only certain songs will work with this, though. Basically, each the song that you learn that belongs to each form, I guess yeah. you could say. I like the, the noise it makes after it. At after it uh, gets big or whatever, it goes. <laughs> Ronnie, answer me this. Do you know what happens if you place a bomb next to a gossip stone? Man, I should know that, but I forgot. I think it, like, tells you something, or does it tell you the oh, time? I think I... No, no, that's if you strike it with a sword. If you try to blow it up with a bomb, it'll, like, flash, I think, red faster and faster, and then finally it'll, like, catapult up into the air. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, did, like, did it'll also fly happen... up like a rocket. <laughs> yeah, did that also happen in Ocarina of Time? Yep. Yeah, it did. That's where I seen it. I remember because I always did that when I was a kid. I, I would just go to a gossip stone and make them fly up in the air. Yeah. They get all excited. <laughs> there and you they, go. And they come with a heart piece. <laughs> fucking heart piece. Just go. You, just know, you know what, Tibbs? You're going to need a mouthpiece because me and you are about to box if you do this anymore. <laughs> Stop giving yourself more life. That's how yeah. the cheaters do it. Yeah. So in this game, you collect heart pieces, mouth pieces, <laughs> brain pieces. <laughs> Alright, give uh, me something go. good this time. <laughs> Probably just three rupees. Yep. <laughs> oh, crap, you were right. <laughs> Here's a few fucking rubies, Link. Well, technically it was more. And the red one is 20. You yeah, kill these right. guys, you'll get a lot more. Oh, cool. I've never seen it done like that before. You put it on the ground, then he eats it. <laughs> oh, no. He's bleeding internally. Oh, let me eat another one. Yeah. <laughs> in, 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 Don't in, mind if I do. <laughs> Indigestion. Just like that fat now slimer that's thing. Fuss. Remember that fat slimer thing from uh, Faces of Evil? <laughs> yes. So what's next? Well, let's see. Like I said, now that we now that 
Keith, we got it. That's what's next. <laughs> I was about to say, now that we have the bow, that opens us up to some other games we can play. We got You don't want to do commentary with us anymore? You want us to give you money? Get out of here. <laughs> also, I love how this bank works. It's like, yeah, you, you look like Link. Yeah, let, let me give you access to your account. Yeah. Or just like the uh, hotel clerk. We already have a uh -huh. Link in uh, reserved. <laughs> Link Goro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, going milk. to Milk Road, a.k.a. Long Long Ranch. That means girls with big boobs? You're talking milky things going on? Hey, no. Uh, oh. Well, one of them is older than the other. Oh, oh. Ooh. Got milk? <laughs> oh. Oh, we can't get in there yet, yet, Jeff. Sorry. <laughs> Man, oh, not on the second, not on the second day anyway. Yeah. And this on the, the third song. day, let's just say they're a little out of sorts. <laughs> the song of double time. Don't you wish you could do that sometime in real life? Slow down time. Oh yeah, or just go yeah. back like a day or so, just to change a couple things. Yeah. Oh Jesus! It's a douchebag in the background. Oh gosh, Jingle. Yeah. Oh, no, no, don't bo Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, it's Tingle when you said douchebag. I thought it was Jeff. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ouch. I am done, sir. Good day. <laughs> Why is his nose so red? <laughs> Why is his like, face so stretchy? Sounds like Marge Simpson. <laughs> I don't know why it's so popular in Japan. Yeah, I don't get that. Have you ever either. seen that Tingle Rupee Land game? I think I might have already asked you that. Yes. I've seen it before, but you yeah. know. Ah, oh, the mask of truth. <laughs> Speaking of we we gotta get uh Danny back for this at some point. Yeah, I would like that, but I kinda give up on him. He never has time. He's doing his own thing. Yeah. Like getting his exercise. Yeah. You better get my exercise before the moon lands and destroys the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the world's gonna end, you know, whatever. But what's an old Patrick Stewart movie? You, I'll give you anything, darling. You want, you want the moon? I'll just give me a lasso and I'll give it to you. Well, you can do that here in Majora's Mask. You, you, you meant James Stewart, and it's a wonderful life. Patrick Stewart never said that, sir. We're Patrick, going to the dog track. Are you sure it's James Stewart, Patrick Stewart, whatever? J Jim, Jimmy Stewart, really. To see, the, you, I'm it's a not boo? James. It's not James. It's Jimmy. Get it right. His name is James. They just call him Jimmy. Nah, nah. Short. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Get it right. Ronnie Chisholm. Mama Boo is wearing a moo moo. Oh, jeez. She is. She needs to go on a diet. What is Honey Boo Boo's mother doing in this game? <laughs> She lost a lot of weight. She had that surgery. Yeah. All right, the way this works, you can actually do this at any time, but it's kind of a crapshoot about which one will win. But if you wear this, it'll give you a much better chance of finding out who will win. Because has a good chance of winning, will say so. Like, I feel like a winner today, you know. Yeah. There you go. That's the one. Hope you, now don't tell me you can actually <laughs> slice him. Don't tell me you can actually slice him with the sword like you can chickens. <laughs> then they all come. You know, put on put on the Deku mask and see what happens in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they start attacking you. So putting it on here, you'll be slaughtered. I get it. The I think golden I'll take you, buddy. Yeah, the golden dog. I have just enough rupees on me to actually do this. Uh, we're gonna do this race doggy style. Well, uh, okay. Uh, uh, Alright. In order we're to get the best, yeah, no. in order to get the best prize, <laughs> you have to bet 50 rupees and your dog has to come in first. Yep. Road dog Jesse James now doing commentary. That's right! We're gonna do this business doggy style! I'm alone with my baby tonight. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Turn the lights off, bolt the doors. Na, 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 na. The real Double J. Okay. This is the most exciting race here at the dog track. Yep. Oh, wait yes. a minute. Wait a minute, King. One, what? 
What you can doing? still do it. Come on. Come on. What? Oh, I think he won. Oh, what? oh my god. Wait a minute, JR. Like he won. How do you win that? JR is Bond. If he did, he won by a nose hair. He got lucky, yes. JR. Oh, wow. <laughs> Too much Alpo, JR, huh? Here, here, you, here you go, boy in the weird face mask. Have right, a yeah. And now a prize that we'll all enjoy. Yes. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> one day. One day. Easy done. <laughs> Easy done for you. Also, I love how she's still running a dog racing track even though she knows the world's about to end. Oh, yeah, oh, I'll yeah. just do my job to the very end. Whatever. Yeah. Ooh, I got Why are the arrows in that sign? <laughs> right? At least Ingo is not in this ranch. Well, he might be somewhere. Oh, boy. He's alternate dimension self. In the west side now. In the west end town of Dead End Worlds. Oh, uh, we gotta go away. You <laughs> haven't given him enough yet. Yeah. Why is he patting his legs right there? What is wrong with him? I know Ocarina of Time pretty well. Very well, actually. But I don't remember that beggar ever doing a damn thing, no matter what you gave him. Yeah, me either. And now we're going to go back in time and erase everything we just did. Right, yeah. <laughs> what do you keep again, though? You like um, certain things that you accomplish? Like quest items. Quest items, yeah, okay. Yeah, Consumables like go away. Or yeah, You right. can actually also... see... You can actually see them flying out of him as he's going down that vortex. Yeah. So, also, what you deposit gets saved, of course. Yes. Yeah, which is why it's always a good idea to deposit your stuff before you um, go back. Because, like I said, you gotta pay that five thousand rupees to get the blankety blank. <laughs> it's a good idea yeah. to make a deposit when you go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, guess you changed your mind. <laughs> I don't feel like it today. Yeah. Well, there's literally, there's literally a, so much stuff you can do in this game. Yeah. Well, make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Banks got to make up your mind. Points from Redford. Yeah. No, not tink Tinkle again. Tink Help me. What? <laughs> what if you already died right there? <laughs> like you just fell too hard? <laughs> Look at that picture. <laughs> Did you see that picture? Look like a demon. <laughs> Photogenic. <laughs> uh, you messed up. You messed up. <laughs> Imagine yeah, if you're watching Link and you see him play this ocarina and then get carried away. Like, what would that look like? Right. It would look freaking awesome. <laughs> you already got that oh, here's the money. Before. You already got that rupee before. Oh, wait. Remember, remember when I fell through the floor? Yeah. <laughs> this is the real deja vu. Forget deja vu for the NES. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, forget deja vu. Let, let, me, let me play some Nightshade. Yeah. Everybody play quiet now, starting now. Yeah, th this is our intermission. Oh, yeah. The fastest run I've ever seen of this game, 100%, was either a little under or a little over six hours. Jeez Louise, Mr. Eyes, get off that coffee. Yeah. How can I help you? <laughs> For real. Swamp thing. 
Tell me that Swamp Thing. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Swamp Man. That'd be a Mega Man character. Did you ever see Swamp Thing, the NES game? Yes, jeez. EC Dub, EC Dub, double you! Now you got risk here for the third time. <laughs> Have we done this before? EC Dub, EC Dub. I want to know how, how the Skull Kid managed to hurt her. That's an exchange I'd like to see. Right, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I wish Father Energy would work like that in real life. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 brother, Boyle, yeah, well, I'm not going to save him this time. Yeah. Oh, no. I wish you could play oh, as Adult Link in this game. To... <laughs> so, did, did you guys... Uh, well, uh, uh -huh. I was about to say, actually, but I don't want to spoil anything. Ran random news. Did you guys hear about Atari's dreams of the new console? Oh, yeah. yes, I did. The Atari box. Eh, it's interesting. Maybe they'll make some money off of it. I'm not sure what's going on, but someone said... Are you guys talking about this new Atari system right now? Did you forget the ColecoVision <laughs> Chameleon? Oh, the Coleco Chameleon. We all know that was a lie. Yeah, I've heard about that controversy. But I really don't know yeah. what the heck it's about. Well, before they even pointed it out as a lie, they showed, like, the clear version. And all it was was a damn video card, like an old video card, maybe about 15 years old, just shoved in a t clear Atari Jaguar case. Jeez. What, a, what a dick. I take a picture of his son and he didn't even thank me for it. Wow. Does he not recognize his own son? My boy, he he said he was oh. gay, and I don't talk to them people. Oh, we don't like your kind around these parts. Shoot the moon. That's how you beat the game. Just shoot it. Yeah, shoot it in the <laughs> eye. Like, oh, you dick. Yeah. <laughs> what wonder if someone actually tried that. What if someone really tried that and actually worked, and that's the secret way of beating the game the quick way? It just blows up. Yeah. Oh, okay, you got to have a perfect picture before, before he accepts it. You mean? Well, no, it has to be a picture taken in the swamp. That's oh, part of that contest. Oh, okay. Y your son Either is floating barely the Deku away. King or, or a picture of Tingle will work for this. Yeah. Did you already show him a picture of the DQ King? Yes. Is he still doing that sort of thing? Yep, that's your douchebag <laughs> son. Wow. He's what sort of thing are you think he's doing? Son. That's freaking hilarious. He's embarrassed of his own son. <laughs> I that's have no son. That, those aviator glasses. Yeah. There you go, Jeff. Ah, oh, fuck you. I'm done. Jeff out. <laughs> Chin <-tou. laughs> Thank you. Fuck you. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Good night. What, what kind of prize is that? You get a heart piece? I mean, come on. What the? F what the crap? This is what Russo needs, a heart piece, because it doesn't have a heart. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you guys say. Yeah, I think that, that Vaudio of what Cornette responded to him the other night was funny. Vaudio? Did I say, did I say Vaudio? I meant audio. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> is that some new app, Vaudio? You send body signals as messages? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Are you receiving? <laughs> no, but I'm doing it really hard right now, too. And I'm not a fan of Russo, but I just thought his promo or sarcastic apology was done better. And maybe Cornette did a swerve because we thought he was going to have a heart attack and start cursing like crazy again, but instead he went with a sarcastic approach. You know, I've seen that character a few times, and is he? Is, are they trying to recreate like Rocky Four or something with that guy? I get that weird feeling. Rocky Four. 
Yeah, you know with the Russian. What are you talking the, about? The, the Rusov guy. I, I've, I've heard about it. In a that's r- that's Rusev, not Russo. Whatever, shut up. Get it right. <laughs> you know, just for that, Jeff, Tiff is going to get another heart piece here. <laughs> well, you can hang out with your dancing little buddies over here. <laughs> Rusev hit, Rusev crush. Yes. I must break you. You see that uh, picture I posted on Facebook? It shows a Rambo shirt, and it shows Rambo standing there, and it says, all he wanted was something to eat. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> that was so funny. All I wanted was something to eat. Just some, something against the law about me having something to eat around here, Adrian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Adrian, <laughs> I love you. Is there a place I can get something to eat? He has a time about 30 miles away. You don't mess with Sheriff Brian Dennehy. He's on coke and he won't take any crap. <laughs> when a coke crazed Brian in and he comes into my room and punches me in the shoulder plex. <laughs> Perfect. I know I am. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Wonderful and Mr. Perfect. <laughs> Mr. Number Wonderful. Ah, Purple Ruby, no heart for you. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> Well, are they wearing any pants? That's weird. Nope. People, put on some damn pants. Oh, gosh. <laughs> if you think about it, Link isn't either. I know. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Well, Bulldog, I guess you know who wears the pants in the Smith family. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Whoa, there's a thing I forgot her name. Andrew. Andrew. Zooey? And you can do Womp womp womp. Is it one of the witches from Feces of ECW? I mean, Faces of Evil? <laughs> oh. Now, don't go in that. Don't talk to that ass wipe or whatever that, that hand was that needed toilet paper. Ass wipe. <laughs> oh, really? Who's that woman? That's her mother. Who's that woman? Why don't you get back in the kitchen instead of the desk? Oh, 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 boy, oh, boy. Did Star Soldier just enter? No. <laughs> no, Blue Rose is going to say something. Oh, again with women in the kitchen, Ronnie? Watch it, Ronnie. You better check your white privilege. You're yeah, right, yeah. Feminist triggered. This is channel called the SC2 Gay. I'm so triggered. Oh, excuse me, what's wrong with being gay? <laughs> Mm. Seriously, get a daggum room. <laughs> and now to shoot some hoops. Yeah. That's right. That's why I couldn't do this before because this is another one of those games you have to beat it all three days, and round three requires the bow. Yeah. Uh, and the annoying thing about this one is if you fall off, then that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I bet Shaquille O'Neal hates this part of the game. <laughs> At the time this game came out, he was fighting with Kobe Bryant. Yeah. No, he was saving the world from uh, in Shaq Fu. Uh, Did you hear that they've actually kickstarted a uh, like a revival of that game? Yeah, and it's going to be on the Nintendo Switch. Jeez, I know I heard of something where they try to gather all the games in the world and just and all the copies in the world and destroy them. Damn. Yeah, that game's. I've never wow. played it. I've never played it. I've seen still images and footage. I don't know if I actually want to do a let's check out of it myself. Around the corner, uh, around the corner from my house, there was a pawn shop years ago, and they sold Super Nintendo games. And I used, I bought several of them there. And for a long time, Shaq Fu was in the display case right up front, and I would stare at it for a long time, like Shaq Fu. I knew who Shaquille O'Neal was, and I, I've heard of Kung Fu. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna have to get that one of these days. But I never got around to it. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, oh, the only memories I have of that game is that I played the Game Gear version as a kid, and I remember hating it so, so much. <laughs> Which version's worse, Genesis or SNES? Uh, Doesn't both. matter. <laughs> yeah, both. <laughs> now, what about the one for uh, Virtual Boy? <laughs> No, no, no. You remember us? You know what's interesting? 
speaking of games that had multiple versions, the very first game of Mortal Kombat I ever played was actually on the shitty Game Boy version. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Wow. I didn't when I played the real deal, I was version. like, oh, yeah, and it's it's terrible. I don't even think there are fatalities in it, so when I saw the real thing, I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys remember Slam City? What you gonna do? It sounds uh, like a TNA pay-per-view. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> Ace must be wearing <laughs> weights. J-Man and Bear did an LP of that game, I think, on either... I think J-Man's channel or S2K channel. Come on and slam! No, it's uh, Scotty Pippen's Slam City. It's terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I it's remember now. It's olive oil. Can you actually Have you ever shoot seen a couple? Michael... I think, yes, you can. Have you ever seen Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City? Yes, that game was... I've heard of it. Man, ruined my childhood. Ruined it. <laughs> Well, Jeff, I have something that's going to make you feel better. If you say heart piece, I'm going to find you. And I might, may or may not have something sharp with me. <laughs> oh, they gave you ah! the love. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys try to get a hold of him in a minute, and he's dead on his table, just bleeding all over. I cut his heart out. You know, I I'm did just... all these just for you. Ah! They mean they're from the hot. I'm just imagining, like, any other person playing these mini-games, and they're like, oh, look, you won the prize, a heart piece, and then they just look at it like, what am I supposed to do with this? Exactly. Yeah. As if it doesn't remind you every single time what the purpose of them are. <laughs> well, see, Shigeru Minamoto thinks Americans are stupid. Actually, thinks everyone's stupid except for him. So. Well, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> I am the genius. Does he have eyes? Okay, oh, no. how is he able to hold on to your rubies you gave him to in the future? What is this, some space and time bullshit? Right. Like, I, think he's secretly a, I, I think he's just secretly a time traveler. Yeah, interdimensional yeah. bank. Yeah. R write your fan theories now. <laughs> Please, enter them here, here, and here. Especially yeah. on the comment board. Um, you know, uh, uh, up likes for saying Ronnie sucks. You know, that's always good. <laughs> yeah, well, um, you know what, Jeff? My name is Jeff, and I'm from Chicago. <laughs> I am from yeah. Southern Illinois, you piece of shit. <laughs> I live six and a half hours from Chicago. No, you're CM Punk. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> oh, boy. That was nah. fun. <laughs> All right. yeah. That was Parade of Mature Smash. Join us for Part 9 if you dare. I'm Ooh. Tibbs. I'm Jeff. I'm Ron Moore. And I'm Alpha. All right, well, we'll catch you all next time. The Mexican Star Soldier. Me <laughs> 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 so tired, taco. I still love you, stuff. Speaks in burrito. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you climb my wall. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa there, hey, Donald Hey, that's Trump. Trump's wall now. Come on now. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Tibbs, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask here on SC2K with my good friend Ron Moore. How's it going, guys? Feels like forever since we've done this, and we are going up to the Northern Mountains today to chill. Oh, someplace different. But it seems like usually you've been, most probably been in freaking clock town. I know, right? Well, there's a lot to do there. Yeah. There's no time Actually, for clock town. This one might yeah, this is one of my favorite areas in the game. I, I've always loved snowy areas in games. Yeah. The interesting fact about this, it's actually possible to get into Clock Town during the initial... Uh, not into Clock Town, into the field during the first three days when you're a Deku. And if you do that, if you manage to make it out here, then all this ice won't be there. Yeah. Uh, I'm having flashbacks of, uh... Forget tech tights, man. Yeah, I'm having flashbacks of the uh, snow, snow area in Twilight Princess. <laughs> yeah, why would tech tights be up here, though? Yeah, like... I wouldn't think snowy area. Exactly. Oh, 
what was that snow area called until I pressed that snow peak something? S yeah, snow peak. And this okay. is snow. Well, spoilers. Where we're going is Snowhead. Ah, uh, Mountain Village. Yeah, it's a nice little area here, and the uh, the people that live in this area, I think some of you will recognize. In fact, if you were observing, you just saw one. Hmm. Huh. No, no, the owl. Oh, no, that's not the owl. It's not? That's the owl right oh. there. Well, I hate to scare you, but he will be making an appearance soon. Yeah, well, at least not as annoying as in uh, Ocarina of Time. Oh, yeah, no. I think after this video, we won't see him again. Oh, no, I see oh. Tingle back there. Why can't the wolf attack it? Oh, because he's in the air. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'd rather do that wolf in real life than Tingle. <laughs> No, shoot, shoot. Can you shoot Tingle? If you do, I probably won't kill him. <laughs> you shoot him in the dick. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, wow. <laughs> Could you be a fairy? Yeah. Here's a different, rend different rend rendition of the music. Thank you, Skip yeah, Rogers. He's kind of a map, the map. The map system is kind of his deal. It wasn't Wind Waker, too. Uh. Although he charges it. outrageous prices in that game. Aw, oh, man. Map should be free. Man, those wolves. I'll never forget the first time I went up to the Forest Temple, or the, the Sacred Forest Meadow in Ocarina Time, and the wolf popped out. I was like, whoa. Yeah, I know, right? It was freaking scary. Oh, hey, what? What's a tech tie gonna survive in a snowball? It's hibernating. Oh yeah. You, you know, it's it, it's interesting. Now that I think about it, there is in a way a reason why these out of place enemies are here. I won't say what it is, but remember how in the swamp after we beat the dungeon, it cha it like changed the environment for the better. Maybe something similar will happen here. I guess you folks will just have to keep watching. Yeah. Oh no, there's the owl. Hey, what's that circle? Oh. <laughs> hoot hoot. We meet again, fairy child. Have my stone statues? Yeah, they've helped me more than you have. Alright. Many trials await you. What is this, Breath of the Wild? Yeah. No living thing can survive. What about dead things? Alright. Now, this is supposed to be the same link from Ocarina of Time, and presumably the same owl. Why does he question us about strength and determination? Oh, well, is it, but is it really the same owl? Because remember, this I is like... It's supposed, I think it's supposed to be. It's like an alternative universe, though, where they're all look the same, but... Well, yeah. that may be, but we know the mask salesman is also from Hyrule. Oh, yeah. I want this owl to mind his own business. Jeez, he's got to be Plus everywhere. This, this, this owl, this right here is maybe the only practical thing he's ever done. Yeah. Let's give you this clue, these clues here. Oh, but he's showing you the way here. Show. Listen to your feelings. Now we go into the cave here, and we get another another familiar item. Pretty much almost all the items we get in this game are ones from Ocarina of Time. Some of them are a lot more useful in this, though. We got can't wait to see what we got. It is the lens of truth. Oh, nice lens of ECW. Yeah. If it, I, it always felt weird getting it so early in the game. Yeah. 
I think it's back in the day, I think I called Danny Lens of Lies 1689. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can get some good monies in here. Ah, you see the Lens of Truth. Invisible chest. Oh, you what? Yourself a fashion. You can use it right away. Uh, there's a sculpture, Liz. Oh, what? I thought you hit it. I thought. Uh. Ah! Yeah. I got magic now. What are you gonna do? Yeah, right. take it. Yeah. Kill things and you get money. That's the American way. Yeah. Ah, uh, now you can use the yeah, lens of truth I, to see. I yeah. think I think that Godforsaken Owl's now gone for good. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I can see you. Oh, it's a ghostly Goron. That's scary. See, now Link can see the dead. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to keep the mask on. I used to think you did, but you don't. I mean, maybe when you leave this area and go into the next one, you do. But as long as you're, you're behind it. Him, it. Him. Stupid spiders, watch out, man. We're trying to follow a ghost. Yeah. Got it. Link gets distracted easily. Come on. Uh, yeah. Gotta save the world. Oh, wait, a side quest. <laughs> That's right. A little cutscene here as he goes through. I think the last time I played this game, I was able to do the whole thing in about a week. Hey, Ghost Man, you didn't tell us there were obstacles we had to go through. <laughs> I wonder if Tingle can see him. Right. Probably not, unless she's looking through the lens of truth with you. Yeah, but Tingle's like otherworldly. <laughs> Uh, I thought you meant Tail, the fairy. Oh, well, maybe she can. A tingle. What? A ghost? What? Yeah, I always like this little village area. Yeah. It's gotta be freaking cold. Reminds me of the the area with Jabu Jabu's belly. Oh yeah. Yeah, out of the four areas in this game, this one might be my favorite. Yeah. Uh, the dungeon associated with it definitely is. Yeah, the, this the, the iceberg thing can be a little finicky. Yeah, it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the characters in Mortal Kombat 2 when Sub Zero uses the ground freeze. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> ah, whoo, 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 Rocksteady. I always love that. When, when a fatality happens, their bodies fly apart. They're like, ooh. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta use the lens of truth to climb up the, yep. the long wall. I used to be pretty good at knowing exactly where the uh, rungs were, and I wouldn't even need the, mat, uh, the lens. Because you can still climb even without it. Yeah. There's actually a trick that you can do to consume less magic. Equip it and unequip it repeatedly really fast and you won't use any magic. Oh, cool. 
Ah, oh, dang it, dead end. Right, that's what you're doing right now. Could, uh, yep. uh, preserve the magic. Ah, oh, another dead end. Dang it. I mean, oh. you don't really want the risk of, lo of losing it all right now. Well, maybe if you suck. <laughs> right, yeah. The only problem is you got to keep hearing that sound. That yeah. This actually, technically, if you want to get technical about it, you don't actually need the Mask of Truth in either game if you're really good and know what you're doing. Yeah. And that's not me. <laughs> you probably could. Uh, maybe. Ooh, the Goron Graveyard. Actually, I believe this is this grave is just for him. Huh. I All right, Chris. Money in the third. Yeah. All right, Chris Christie, you got to have a whole beast to yourself. Now the Goron's got to have a whole grave to himself. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad they're not the governor. The yeah, the leaders of the of the Gorons always have similar names: Darunia, Darbus, Darmani. Yeah. Giovanni, wait, no. Drive off a demon. Mm, sounds like a job for Link. Yeah. Clash at Demon Head. That's a good game. I played a little bit of Demon Sword. Game's alright. Music's pretty cool. That's the one that's like a ripoff of Legend of Cage, right? Yeah. As we once again talk about a game other than Majora's Mask. <laughs> At, le at least it's all gaming stuff. Right, yeah. Not about Heal wrestling. my sorrows. Hmm. Right. Huh. What does he want us to do? E C D E C W. What a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song, but I look like I'm in pain. Yeah. I always like this little part. You really get the sense that like the whole tribe loved him. He was their leader. Yeah. Freedom! Wish there was a song of healing in real life. <laughs> and folks, yes, what you think is about to happen is about to happen. Nice. With this mask, we can at will turn into a Goron. If that isn't cool, I don't know what is. Da 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 I always wondered how, with some of these masks, how Link keeps them on his head. There's no straps. All right, yeah. Well, just like the mask in, in the mask. <laughs> well, I guess that one kind of grew on his head. I'm assuming this does the same thing. I mean, how this changes yeah. his whole body. <gasps> Ugh. Ugly. <laughs> cool. Link Goro. That's right. Pull this here, and it'll turn this into a hot spring. Oh, nice. Hot stuff coming through. Ah! Which surprisingly doesn't heal you like hot springs do now. But you can take this water. What doesn't heal you? you what doesn't heal you makes you weaker. Yeah. Is this okay, Mommy? Uh, hey. Stealing other Let's Plays material. <laughs> well, we still footage, so why not? 
<laughs> Touche. Whose grave was I making? I like how no matter what form you are, you still have Link's hat. Right, yeah. It's like Indiana Jones can't can't do anything without his hat. Yep. Especially uh tame snakes. Wait, what? Especially tame snakes. What's tame snakes? You know, because Indiana Jones hates snakes. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of Zelda. Like, what? What? <laughs> well, he just froze himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you missed. You gotta go back and get what? No. They're trying to give himself hugs. <laughs> yeah. Frozen, I was. Mm -hmm. You don't know. <laughs> I tried to quote, quote Scott Hall on Nitro again, and I messed yeah. it up. <laughs> you know who I am, but you don't know why I'm here. Well, it took 17 and a half minutes, but there's wrestling for you. Yep. Where's the Nacho Man? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Watch out, like. Man, if you hit the ice caps, <laughs> the minute. <laughs> he, he just doesn't care. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Spiked Goron. Yeah. Now that we're a Goron, we can access uh, the Goron. Um, I guess you would call it. A, I think it's called the Goron Village in this game. Which is remembered for one reason and one reason only. And then, in case you were wondering, that hole there has another hot spring in it. Wait, how come he didn't go in there? I'm trying to think. Uh, we don't need to right now. Well, no, I suppose we could. But the thing about the hot spring water is it doesn't last. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, here's a. Uh... That business deck you again. Yep. Yeah, he'll only sell this to you if you're a Goron. Cool. And it has to be this one. If you've traded the land title deed to him and a different one came here, then he won't sell that to you. At least not in this location. Uh, 40 bombs now. That's right. And that's the most we can carry. Now we give him the swamp title D as a, as a Deku. I think it has to be as a Deku for this one. Because he wants to go to the swamp. Like I said, each section of the game has one of these guys. So it's one big trading sequence. Like I said in the previous video, you get a piece of heart nearby for each one that you need the flower to get to. And this is no exception. So essentially, your, pro your prize, so to speak, for doing this is um, another heart container. Although each one of these will, se will sell. Like the first one sold magic beans, I believe. This guy sells a bigger bomb bag. Yeah. It's the heart piece. It's a good thing Jeff opted out this. Thing. Yeah. What's that? What's that? that? That's why Jeff didn't want to do this commentary because he knew he was <laughs> get another heart piece. One heart piece. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know what? I'm tired. You know, I'm gonna make a pizza time. instead. <laughs> I think we scared him off last time. Yeah. Bam! That's how we open the door now. Okay. We have to tamper with this a little bit here. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Welcome to Yoshi's Island. I gotta, I gotta explain this. You're probably wondering why they're all like covering their ears and stuff. Well, normally at this point, you hear the most unbelievably high-pitched crying, and I had to mute it. I had to get rid of it. Yeah, it was ridiculous. It's, it's so annoying. It's more annoying than Yoshi's Island, Baby Mario. I remember doing that LP, and someone told me, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to, I can't watch this LP. I cannot stand the sound of a crying baby. 
I, I mean, here's the thing. I usually, in games, you know, I listen to everything. But even years ago, I would always turn it down at this part because, I mean, I like, I like the Goron music and everything. But you can't hear it. All you can hear is that freaking baby crying. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And he will not stop. In my Yoshi's Island LP, I did some, edit out some parts of Baby Mario crying, but I eventually got tired of it because <laughs> it's so <laughs> tedious. But oh man, this this part, yeah, I'm glad you had to edit that part out because it's ridiculous. In the GBA version of Yoshi's Island, the crying's not as bad. They probably realized that. So yeah, we got reduced to crying. We went overboard on on uh, 64. Did you ever watch the video that AVGN did about Super Nintendo versus the Sega Genesis? Yes. When he's like making a gen a, like a like his own Genesis commercial, and when it trashes the Super Nintendo, it's like Nintendo has this, and it shows him crying. Yeah. <laughs> and then the the video of him when he was a kid explaining why it was better than the Genesis or something it, like that. He has better resoluation. <laughs> yeah. And grown up ABG is like, oh, okay. Man, I would so take a bath in that stuff. Right. Like I said, later Zelda games, I think it did the Twilight Princess, and I know in Breath of the Wild it does, but you're just sitting in it, it'll heal you. Yeah. Money, money, money. Basically, what that baby said is his father is lost out there somewhere, and I know where he is, and we need this hot hot water to get him. Yeah. He's inside one of these big snowballs here. I think it's on this side, and then maybe the other side. I can never remember which one it is. I say it's this one. Nope. Well, there was uh, something there. Watch, it'll be the last one. Is this one? Because, oh, uh, no. yeah. There we go. There we go. Nintendo always has a way to tell you. Look at those lips. <laughs> right, yeah. That's like Commander Murdoch's lips. <laughs> You're just going to play a concert in front of him. Yeah. Dang, he's huh? old. You damn kids! Right here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to be dead. Yeah, you're supposed to be dying. Grandpa. <laughs> Actually, technically, I can do better than vanish. I can change into a human. Wait, yes. th th that's the How baby's daddy? Stop. Yep. It shouldn't be more like grandfather? Jeez. <laughs> maybe the baby's crying did that to him. <laughs> shut up and teach me the song to shut him up. Yeah. I don't feel pity for him. I feel pity for everyone around him. Right. All right, now teach me already. Man, the eyes of you when you're a Goron look like you're stoned. Right. Do, do, do. What? <laughs> <laughs> he can't remember. Do, do, do. What? Nice song. He can't remember. Do, do, Here we go. Do. What? Aww. He can't remember. <coughs> He's gonna teach us half of it. Do, 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 derp, do. Derp, derp. I suppose if you mixed up the different types of drums, like a snare, a tom, and a cymbal, to. 
Yeah. The lullaby intro. And I love how it down. acts as it acts as if you learned a whole song. Yeah. You learned half the song. <laughs> now don't half ass the song. Dang, where's this walker at us? Hover around. Jeez, do they have insurance in, here in Goron Village? By the time he gets to the ring, it'll be WrestleMania 38. <laughs> yeah. Put your earmuffs on and not because it's cold either. Yep. Shove these spikes up his ass. <laughs> He's like, Urgh, stop that crying. Urgh. All right, I got something to shut you up. Big fist to the face. <laughs> yeah. Darn me. It looks like he's, even though it's like three notes, it looks like he's playing a whole crescendo. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. How could you tell? It's only three notes. Aren't that game show named that tune? That's all he forgot was two notes. Really? Jeez. He's playing the concerto. I mean, the crescendo, whatever it's called. He's even moving his feet along. Yeah. Oh. Imagine having to change that Goron's diaper. <laughs> what, would the turds be hard rocks or hard pebbles or something? Oh, jeez. Jeez, why did I think of that for? Anyway. <laughs> and it's a lullaby, so in theory, it should do one thing. Come on. Yep. Do you want to. Yes, he's asleep. Yes, Thank good boy. <sighs> Finally. That's it, game's over. <laughs> yeah. Now everybody else fell asleep too. I think I'm getting sleepy. Yeah. We're all quiet for the rest of the LP. We pull a Jeff. It'll definitely put Jeff to sleep. <laughs> well, he come to the channel right now. Yeah, you know what, Ronnie? I hear that. Keep it Kaye. <laughs> I'm Ronald. I'm from Texas. Right here. I talk like this. But there's one more thing we can do in here. Well, technically, there's a store here, so you could buy stuff too if you wanted. Torch lights. Yeah, that big chandelier, because earlier I broke one of the pods. There's actually something in one of those pods. But to get to it, it needs to spin. Oh, uh, what happened? Again, this is, oh. option. this is optional, but I do want to do everything. All right, Skip. Do everything here. Yeah. A little bit of trivia for you. In these Zelda games, I believe every time you light a torch, it resets your stick to as if you just lit it. I think. Where's the last one? Oh, oh yeah, I remember this. All right, let's see. Get this on the first shot. I can't remember which one it is. There we go. It's first shot. Turn. It looks like you edited it right there. It looks like the other two are broken already. <laughs> Oops. You, why'd you blow my cover? <laughs> expose. Expose. I, I keep your secrets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shh. It's a secret, everybody. Do you, speaking of which, do you ever see that exposed wrestling's greatest secrets show? Yeah. It's so, she's a stunt granny. <laughs> <laughs> May Young. No. Is that a rock turkey? Oh. Close. I mean, remember, the Gorons do eat rocks. 
Yeah, if you smell what the rock is cooking. You should have smelled what the rock was baking. <laughs> yeah. Rock was baking. Brother was baking. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Belo. <laughs> His arc. Yeah. I know I'm late, but my nose got here ten minutes ago. It tastes like shit, but I think I'll eat it anyway. <laughs> Miss Ark look like freaking Donkey Kong or something. <laughs> Who was the guy? Was it Jason Sensation that was supposed to be Owen? Yes. Oh, man. What well, enough is enough! And it's time for a change! Woo! Oh. Yeah, out of my way. Right. Now, for those of you who are really observant earlier, there's a Goron out here. That's who we gotta give this to. Oh, that's who I thought was the owl earlier? Yep. Owl Snow? Hey. Get it? Owl Snow? <gasps> what does everybody want? <sighs> yeah, he hungry. Yeah, frog in his head. If it looks like he, yeah, if it looks like he's wearing a frog in his head, he kind of is. <laughs> you telling me you can't just roll off? All right. I don't see Dodongo's cavern around here. All right. I like how in Ocarina of Time, they say that since the Dodongo's caverns blocked, they're gonna starve. They're gourmets, so they can't eat anything other than the Dongo's Cavern Rocks. It's like, come on. If you're really hungry, you'll eat something else. Right. I am your leader. Bow to me. Yes, I'm a liver. And we get another mask. Don Giddo's mask. for that frog we saw earlier, those frogs we saw earlier, this mask will, this how we'll interact with them. That's later, though. Yeah. There's five of those frogs total. So far, we've seen two of them, I think. Uh, no, technically three, actually. This is also one in the laundry pool. Now we are on our way. We have everything we need to enter the next temple. Oh, I can't run over trees. I know you think you'd be able to with spikes. Right, yeah. And here it is, Snowhead. That is Snowhead Temple up there. Uh, yep. Pretty badass looking structure. Well, the Gerudo Valley flags. Apparently, this is how Darmani died in this place. Uh, Either died, he, I think, yeah, he said, he said he got blew off. So one of his own people killed him. It's the giant Goron that makes a big run sword. Remember, there's two of them, actually. There's Medigoron and Biggeron. Uh huh. One makes the giant's knife that breaks. Why is he wearing lipstick? Oh, I hope that's not a bottomless pit bull. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. No, he landed somewhere. Yeah, I'll say he did. Snowhead Temple. It's probably the biggest, one of the biggest uh, dungeons in Zelda history in terms of its floor count. Uh huh. Alright, Snow Peak. Not too hard. It's not too hard, though. Although it does have probably everyone's favorite boss fight in this game. Well, what the heck happened? 
Yeah, those snowballs can hurt you if you're not, you don't have your spikes out. It's the snowball effect. It is possible to roll up this whole thing in one go, but you gotta be real good. Yeah. You gotta get real good, kid. Yeah. All right, everyone, join us for the Snowhead Temple. Things about to get cold, son. I'm Tibbs. And I'm Ron Moore. And we'll see you next time. God bless. You. Take care. And welcome back, everyone, to the Legend of Zelda: Majora's Mask here on SD2K. This is part ten. I am Tibbs, along with Ron Moore and Ravenous Spectre. What's up, yo? And today we are chilling in the Snowhead Temple. Chilling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is a pretty chill dungeon. Yeah, it's between. I know I said in the previous video this was my favorite, but upon thinking, this is this is maybe my second favorite, but it's great nonetheless. Yeah. Uh oh. Very cool. Ice Wolf again. That Yeti is giving you the cold shoulder. Wink, yeah. wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. Yeah. Puns galore in this video. <laughs> yeah, or Pong's Glacier in this video. <laughs> right, yeah. Glacier, where's Wrath and Mortis? All right. <laughs> the Sub Zero ripoff. Yeah, where's Sub Zero? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> you just had to mention Sub Zero. Oh, man. <laughs> well, at least you didn't get finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least you didn't have a bunch of icy entrails everywhere. Yeah. I spy with my little eye. There's a fairy right there. I spy. I haven't seen that TV show in years. Whoa. Like, I think it was also a movie, too. I oh, yeah. When I was a kid, I thought it was Ice Pie. I was like, mmm, that sounds weirdly good. Ice Pie, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Collaborate, commentary, and listen, I fell. All right, you got the ugly fairy's mask. Yeah, the re the reward for this place is pretty decent. Cool, I like how you can and roll like on the, the fire. And oh yeah, Gorons are immune to fire. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Which makes sense. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, because they're from a mountain. Well, if you, you remember, if you remember the boss you fought in Twilight Princess, you can the mini boss. You can knock him in the lava. He goes ow, and gets back on the platform again. That's true. Shut up, Ronnie, you nerd. Using logic Nintendo in video logic. games. Get out of here. <laughs> There's no logic in games. What are you talking about? Yeah. It does not exist. Hey, I'm the in indifferent <sighs> video game nerd, and this game is whatever. I don't care. It's all right. And five five ten. You sound like someone Retsu Prey made fun of. Well, I was imitating Star Soldier's uh, indifferent video game nerd character, but I don't, I don't know who oh. who else uh, Retro Prey was. Retro Prey never Retro Prey Star Soldier. That would be funny. No, but they had they did do a couple of guys who talked like this. Oh yeah, and so today I'm going to play Mega Man Two. This is very exciting. All right, this is speaking of exciting. This is the central room in the Snowhead Temple. We'll be in this room a lot, and the goal is to get to the very top. Oh boy. And fight a boss that is pretty damn cool. No pun intended. <laughs> no, I, but I, I actually it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fire is going to be our best ally here. Right. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> burn it, burn it. Burn it. <laughs> All right, either Beavis or Star Soldier is under the room. All right, yeah. Beavers. <laughs> you know what I thought when I, <laughs> when I first played this, it never occurred to me at first to uh, oh, to move those blocks because I didn't think I could because they're stacked on top of each other. Right? Yeah. I made a similar stupid mistake, and well, not similar, but um, a stupid mistake with the the that crate you push in Ocarina of Time when you're trying to get into the castle courtyard. Yeah. And I just didn't push it all the way. Uh, to a certain area and just got stuck and I'm thinking well I don't know what to do next and it took me three days to I think ask for 22 for help because all you gotta do is push like this and, and in the hole I said oh well one little part or almost like a pixel was blocking the block 
And I was, so I didn't know what to do next. I'm like, man, come on. <laughs> the only place I got stuck in that game is the water temple. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a wall there is a temple all around water in this game but I personally think it's a lot more interesting I forgot about that one I don't have much memories of that one I just remember the water temple and then the water temple or water dungeon and Link to the Past well look at that another treasure chest appearing and a red bubble Whoa. Ah, oh, he still got hit. One thing about bubbles in this game is there's a bubble that we're going to see later on towards the end of the game that has an effect that I want to say was supposed to be in Ocarina Time. I don't know if they didn't put it in or if it got lost in coding or what, but when that time comes, I will explain it. Wait, bubbles is in this game? <laughs> oh, this game is cool. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, is... now, all we gotta do is find Michael Jackson. <laughs> and Tito awesome. Santana. Michael, ja Michael Jackson mask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny if they had something like that in there. Yeah, imagine then, Link. When you put it on, you, you try to go talk to the Bombers gang, and they're like, uh, get away from me, sir. <laughs> yeah, imagine Link dancing like that. <laughs> Princess Zelda's not my love. <laughs> yeah, this place, to put a visual on it, this place is that one central room with several rooms on several floors that branch off from it. One of the taller dungeons in Zelda. What's the third one? How many fairies again? Fifteen. Oh, okay. And the color of these fairies should be a big hint as to what you get for collecting them. A banana. Oh, wait. Banana in a pajamas coming down the stairs. Oh, banana. Banana! Plantain. <laughs> plantain. <laughs> Hopefully I can plantain my innocence. Wait. Oh, I'm plantain not Plantain your innocence. Yeah. Now that we got the map, Skip Rogers will leave us alone. Right. Don't get frozen by the frozen wizards. I want in Link's mind what makes him flip like that. Well, just people that piss him off. Oh, you mean physically? Yeah, oh, like I don't know. He just decide. He just decides. Oh, I'll randomly flip here. Why not? Right. Yeah, he can do that. Not Korean Tom. Maybe they thought let's make him flip and Majora's Mask. That'd be cool. The only flip that Stone Cold does is this right here, and he flips you off. <laughs> I always got a little bit of sign language, so here's to ya. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you talk about Thanksgiving, the only bird I'm gonna give you is right here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Here's a state bird right here, son. <laughs> well, Wolf, what are you gonna do? It is like, he's <laughs> like, uh, it's, it's like one of those ghetto gangster fighters. Like, what? Well, come on with it, Cuddy. Come on, man. Come on with it. What come you gonna do? Come on with it. Like running around you with their head crooked and their arms swinging like they're about to do something and walk around to the other side. Hit him, hit him it's, like, it's like a boss fight, and they're going through one of their phases. Yeah, Street to Rage Ghetto is a stage with heavier in Ghetto Town or something. <laughs> <laughs> they walk around you like that, <laughs> <laughs> and you can unlock one of them. I don't know what his name would be, some sort of ghetto name, I don't know. I like how we say that, yet all these wolves are white. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> uh, this game is racist. Not politically correct. Yeah. Because we made the wolves black, it'd be an outrage. Gee oh. <laughs> I held on that one. Held that one too long. Gee oh. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, I got, I got some backwards momentum there. There's a really good glitch you can do called a super slide where if you place a bomb down and then like like drop and roll into it with your shield out as it blows up, you can infinitely launch yourself backwards going at full speed. Cool. Uh, this music is kind of bleh in this dungeon. The, yeah, yeah this it is. music has the ice cavern in Ocarina of Time, I believe. Yeah. 
when I didn't know the I yeah the ice caverns or ice palaces or whatever in Ocarina of Time had that tingling music. Ding, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, 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 oh EC dub, <laughs> EC dub. <laughs> Bazinga. Well, you went through the wall. You went through that what wall. The heck? You went through that wall. That's Donald right. Trump is not going to be happy. Right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you went through the wall because you had uh, like a the Gerudo card, which is like a, the equivalent of the green card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Racist outrage. The Gerudos all want to, because Trump likes to grab puss, so they want to climb the wall and kick his ass. <laughs> oh, jeez. <yeah. laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Pay attention, you noob. Get good, kid. <laughs> jeez, the more I get hit, Ronnie, people think you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Blowing up snow. That always works. Theoretically, but... theoretically, wouldn't blowing up a snowball just make it melt, or would it actually go boom? Yeah, I would believe it would. I, I guess it would depend on whether you have like a really large amount of snow or a small one. I guess one would melt, the other would just blow up. This room as a kid confused me, but it's pretty simple. None of the dungeons in Zelda games really have too tricky of puzzles. It's more... Like, it's hard to explain. Like, mo it's like each room has its own individual thing. Yeah. Although I will say, there are a couple of spots in Breath of the Wild in the... the, um... Divine Beast that did stump me for a little bit. Were well, you gonna get that DLC? For uh, Breath of the Wild? Yeah, I already got it. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I bought the season pass day one. Oh, okay. I don't know when I'm ever gonna get. I don't know when I'm ever gonna get back to that game. I really, I really have no clue when. I guess I'm just really anticipating the titles that are supposed to be coming out for it near the end of the year. Yeah. Well, it was announced uh, today that uh, WWE 2K18 is going to be. Oh, yeah. I, I heard a little bit about it myself with some of the new things that they were supposed to be changing around or something like that. I, I actually never have never played any of the 2K WWE games myself. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's the one thing that kind of gets to me is when it deals with those 2K games, they're just... They're way too high on the simulation scale, and it just seems like it's not fun to me. They seem slow and clunky, and they seem a heck of a lot harder than the original ones that I really used to like back on the, in the PS2 era. They just don't seem as arcadey and as fun to me. It seems like it's more of a chore to play, because you have to build yourself up to a certain point to even be even remotely good to take on uh, like AI opponents in matches or even like in the story mode. So I don't know what they're going to do with that. The SC2K well, it's, it's games. Been, it's been like it's been like ten years since I've actually even played a WWE video game, so I'll probably pick it up. That's not yeah. true. So, you know, something to, something to play on the side. That's not true. You're in a low budget about? review of SmackDown versus Raw. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Speaking of which, I thought it was really funny last night the way that uh, at the pay per view the way that Sheamus and uh, Cesaro did the fusion thing from Dragon Ball Z up on the stage. <laughs> oh, I, I, I didn't know what that was. I'm not, I'm not, I thought that was your. Oh, and by the way, in case you missed it, Heath Slater won. <laughs> yeah, right. And in case you missed it, how do you yeah. did the Canadian Destroyer off of the top turnbuckle onto uh, Zach, not Zack Ryder, dang it, Kurt Hawkins? Oh, we need it. We missed it. Right. <laughs> this crazy character is a whiz robe, and we will see this guy like five or six more times. Oh boy. W Wizwar 100? I haven't heard from him in a while. There's a name out of the past. Yeah. Don't disrobe Wizrobe. I love the sound he makes it. He goes, 
Yeah, like chugging along like a like a train. Like if this game was wrestling based, this guy would be Kamala. Yeah. <laughs> or Umaga. <laughs> Umaga versus Kamala. No, Umaga was uh Oswaldo or whatever his name was from uh the the uh, Woodfall Temple. Oh, Odawa. <laughs> Uh, Os Oswald, Oswald, whoever killed Kennedy, yeah, him. <laughs> you killed Kennedy, you bastard! <laughs> Kennedy ki killed his own push. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is this? This is the fire arrow. Nice. In this game, like I said, all of the... When I said that certain things were more useful in this game than in the last game, this is what I was talking about. The elemental bows are a lot more useful. The four arrows! You know, I find it interesting that when you run... I should have mentioned this before. When you roll into a block of ice at full speed with your spikes, it won't break them. Well, that's Instead lame. Damn strong ice. That's lame. Yeah. Well, it looks like Tiff's on thin ice in this part. Well yep. done, Tiff. Boy, I sounded like a true Mainer there. Yeah, a lot of history down that rod. <laughs> yeah, JR. <laughs> a lot of history here. As Link played for the former uh, Hyrule High School, well, now in Termina. Making a name for himself here for a former linebacker, NCAA champion, two time All American. American. Funny things, Terminal JR, it's his receding hairline. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two, two time Harulian. All, all Harulian. <laughs> Harulian. <laughs> From Kakariko High School. Yeah, Sid Vicious. <laughs> Sid Vicious. I am the master and the high ruler of the world. If you're the half of the man that you are, and I have the half of the brain that you do. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's Gan He'll be Ganon. He'll be Ganon right there. That is one of my favorite bots, just along with Hogan calling himself gay. <laughs> 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 oh man! Or when someone uh, says like I'm ready, they go I'm game. Like I'm game, and some people, oh you're gay? What? Uh. One thing that speaking of Sid that drives me crazy at the '97 King of the Ring before the six man tag that he had with the Road Warriors. When Hawk is talking, you can see Sid like mouthing what he is saying. It drives me crazy. Michael Hayes or Doc Hendricks did the same thing during Austin's famous speech. Yes, uh, Cyrus from ECW did that, and I think, I'm not sure if JBL does. Some people do that. I think it's a way of paying attention. And one time, I, I Sid was talking about trolls on Twitter, and I tweeted to him saying, Ignore the haters, Sid. They don't have half the brain that you do. <laughs> and he didn't respond. I think he's probably thinking, Is he making fun of me? Or <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing. <laughs> but but my favorite thing I think he ever said is after the Shockmaster falls through the wall, Sid, he's like, he's like, oh, God. And then afterwards, he, he still tries to get it over, like, I don't give a damn who you are, boy. <laughs> Listen here, you clumsy mother. <laughs> <laughs> now, you hear the he bulldog. Fell on his fucking arse. You hear the yeah, bulldog. He fell on his ass. I thought Ric Flair said, oh, God. I don't know. I heard, I heard no, someone say, Sid. oh, God. I guess they forgot they were live. I guess they couldn't hide. Like, oh, oh, God. I thought, because Flair always does that. Because Flair. One of you two should know this. Who was the voice of the Shockmaster? Our, uh, Ole Anderson. That's right. Give that Speaking, a biscuit. Speaking yeah, of yeah. Shockmaster, they ended up making a joke about that in the new Spider Man film. I saw it yesterday. They were talking about Shockmaster. <laughs> really? They made, a, they made a reference to the Shockmaster from WCW? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that was mainstream. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. Wow. Uh, poor tugboat. <laughs> yeah. Typhoon or buffoon? <laughs> <laughs> buffoon. It's, 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 not even, it's not even really a spoiler of the movie or anything like that. It's just one little scene. Um, he was uh, like the main villain was talking about. Uh, he was like, "Oh, you call yourself the the shocker?" He's like, "He's like." Uh, or Shockmaster, something like that. He's like, what is this, pro wrestling? And I was like, oh my god, they just made a reference to the Shockmaster at WCW. Yeah. Mark out. Well, <laughs> I, I have to think, was it really a reference to that Shockmaster moment, or just the, the name Shockmaster sounds like a fake wrestling name? Oh, 
I don't know. It kind of seemed like they they did a throwback to me to, to me for uh, for It would bats. be cool if they wrote it not knowing that, and then someone was like, "Hey, that's awesome." Yeah. Right. <laughs> But you know what? That wasn't really his fault, though. I heard that someone put a two by four right in front of his legs, and he couldn't see it because the freaking stupid glittery stormtrooper mask. <laughs> and he fell through the wall. So I don't know. Dusty Rose said, "Sabotage, Daddy, sabotage." But even let's be let's be fair. Even if it had gone off perfectly, how over could that have really gotten? Uh, and he probably's probably more over as a, cl a clumsy shot master. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wasn't he like a construction guy after that? They kept the name, but he had like a hard hat on. Yeah, and there was a segment he did where he's hanging, because his character loved children, he was hanging out with a bunch of kids in the living room on the couch, and Cody Rhodes is one of them. Oh, wow. Yep. Cody Rhodes shoots. I'm a shockmaster. Uncle whatever they called him. <laughs> Uncle Clumsy. He was pretty good. and Actually, he is still doing pretty well in uh, um, Ring of Honor. Uncle Fred, I think it was. That's his name. Link is like, I don't care if you guys don't talk about me. I'm going to continue. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. we, want to, we want to talk about Typhoon because, in my opinion, that was his best run as the character Typhoon. You know, I never knew that he actually played as, uh, what, what was his name in the oddities? Um, oh, no, that was Earthquake that played as Goga. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep. You know, speaking of the natural disasters, one thing that always struck me funny, 92 Royal Rumble, right? They're going after the tag titles against the Road Warriors, and they win, if I remember right, they win by count out, but they think they're the champions, and Jimmy Hart is like, I'm going to get my lawyer. It's like, how stupid are all of you people? You should know the rules. I know. Even as a little kid, I was like, you didn't win. Oh, you won, but not the titles. Yeah. Just, they're almost as dumb as Lex Luger at SummerSlam. Yeah, that was stupid. They made a big celebration with confetti, and like like in, at the end of the Mario Kart 64 uh, race, where all that confetti comes down and all that stuff. It's like you didn't win the title. But st then later on, I think they Sean Mooney said it was a bittersweet victory. <laughs> Y'all celebrated like you won the world title, and they made all that hype in the end. The Lexus Express and that and ending is like this is stupid. You didn't win the world title. What are you celebrating for? Oh, he won one for America, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knocked out the big Japanese Samoan guy. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. The Japanese Samoan, that's right. Oh, oh you, wait, did you get, did that register as a hit? It didn't look like it did. <laughs> He's hardcore. lucky right there. Sometimes glitches come to the betterment of yourself. What I, what, what I was about to say is that, um... At the 93 Rumble, that's what Yokozuna does. He's like, Samoa! Samoa! He's <laughs> 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 Japanese, but he keeps saying Samoa! Yeah. What about Banzai? Now I'd like to see uh, if he was still alive in his prime. Yokozuna against Rikishi in his prime. Yeah, talk about backing that ass up. Yeah. Yeah, literally. The Battle of the Asses. Or Star Speaking Soldier. About this, the real Battle of the Asses is Big Show and Aki Bono. Oh, jeez. They made an ass on themselves for sure. <laughs> but how about, uh. Yeah, like. <laughs> like, um. What was it, uh. The, uh. A Star Soldier called Battle Clash Battle Ass? Battle Ass. <laughs> the Battle of the Asses. Speaking of Rikishi, I thought that was pretty cool back when the Usos were uh, having that rap battle against the New Day. That was that was something, especially oh, when they, yeah. the, they dissed on Xavier Woods so bad. I was like, oh, man. Right, yeah. They did it for was, The Rock. They <laughs> did it for The Rock. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? No, oh, dang it. All right, Wolfpack, we had enough of you. <laughs> Don't turn your back on the Wolfpack. You might wind up in a body bag, queue up the wolf pack in the earth thing. I had lunch yesterday with a friend of mine who wore an NWO wolf pack shirt. Nice. I used to have one of those, actually. I remember okay. one time, and it's kind of funny, I actually went to this uh, like uh, private Christian school, and uh, 
it was uh, it was back in the, probably like my freshman year or sophomore year, something like that. Because I went like near up into my high school years when I got out of public school. When my dad took me out of public school, and I ended up wearing this NWO Wolfpack T-shirt one day because we were fixing to have PE class and we could wear certain clothes so we could get out of our school clothes here, which is we were going to be active. And I ended up wearing the NWO Wolfpack shirt. And the principal ended up seeing me wearing it. He said, well, wait, what are you wearing there? I said, I said, oh, this is a IWO shirt, a wrestling shirt from WCW. And he was like, well, you know, you can't wear that to, to be in class. He said, you have to turn it inside out and put in, put in, or put on a new shirt. I'm thinking, oh, my God. I'm in, like, freaking PE class for crying out loud. Nobody else is going to see it but people, but just, like, the few people that are in my class and the teacher there. So what's a freaking matter? You know, That's but, so stupid. I know. Yeah, it is. I, yeah. I had a Star Wars Phantom Menace shirt that had that quote from Darth Maul, at last we will have our revenge on it. And one of the teachers was like, uh, what does that mean? Jeez. Yeah. Like, someone, yeah. Movie quote. someone, my friend wore the other side jackass <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt, and they made, a, <laughs> they, they made, they made him cover up ass with a, a tape, a piece of paper on a tape, so it said other side jack. Like, Other side, Jack. So, so it turned to a John <laughs> Cena shirt. <laughs> it turned turned to a John Cena shirt. <laughs> Jeez! But every Friday, me and my friends would make it Wolfpack Day. We wore uh, NWO red, red and black shirts. That was uh, cool. Yeah. There was also one time when I actually stayed in the dormitory uh, throughout my last couple years of high school. We had a, at the Christian. Uh, school that I went to, and I was just staying in the dormitory. I wasn't going any, out anywhere or doing nothing like that. And I had a Papa Roach shirt on, and I was walking around the dormitory with it, and the dean saw it, and he had something to say about it. He's like, oh, well, what's that? I said, oh, it's it's a band. And he's like, oh, well, he said, you know we don't wear clothes like that around here. We don't wear shirts like that around here. He says, you have to go back to your room and change or turn it inside out. And I'm thinking to myself, it's already after hours for anybody to be in the dorm. No girls are in the dorm at the lobby of the dormitory. It's night. We're fixing to go to bed soon, and I'm walking around the dorm with the shirt on, and you got something to say about it. Nobody else can see it, but the guys that are in here and just you. And I'm thinking, this, this, this is ridiculous. Jeez, what a you fun know, school that is. You, yeah, exactly. You, you, should have said, I, you should have said, I cut my shirts to pieces. <laughs> this is my last resort. <laughs> But see, this is the thing, though. There wasn't to me. There wasn't anything bad that was on that shirt. All it was was a black shirt. It said Papa Roach across the top, and I think it was in red letters. And there was just a picture of a silver roach on the front. That was it. That was all that was on it. It was just a picture of a roach and Papa Roach on it. that. That was all that it was. And he tried to act like, oh well, you know, oh, it's not the devil, you know, you're going to hell, burn in hell, or something. I, I just, I, it's a sin to be wearing that shirt in the daggone dormitory where nobody can see it, and you got no girls in day, here, no the teachers. Next day I would have worn, I would have worn a number of the beast or a Slayer T-shirt the next day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, if I'd have had something like that, they probably would have been like t taking me into the dean's office or something. Matter of fact, the dean took me into his into his into his office slash apartment thing. Because his, his wife, well, his wife was there. His wife was already gone. But he wanted to talk to me specifically about some things that I was writing. It was like I was writing some stories because I like to write fantasy stories and things like that. And he went to go do room check to make sure we had our room clean and everything while we were in class. He went in to go check it out, and he saw that he went to go check our room. But he saw that I was writing some things, and he read some of it. And when he called me into his apartment, he was talking to me about it. He's like, "You haven't had any like." thoughts of violence or hurting anybody or hurting yourself or nothing like that. I was like, no, why are you bringing that up? He said, well, I was just coming by your room today and I noticed some of the things that you were writing. And it looked like some of those action scenes or whatever it was were kind of violent. I'm thinking, oh my freaking God, he's going to act like I'm some freaking psycho now by me just writing these stories of just imagination and characters and all this other stuff and some of the stuff I do in my free time when I'm in my room. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I got to get out of this place. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> sounds like the orphanage that problem child stayed in. Yeah. <laughs> except, except, yeah the problem, was, except the junior really was a problem child. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was, like, it was so funny. You are your stupid dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. Maybe if I shrug my shoulders and talk like this, then maybe they'll think I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this, this great fairy is one, maybe the toughest to get in the game, or at least one of the toughest. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, and I was wondering when I first seen this, I'm like, what is Link doing? Like, just just fly down to where you're going to fly down at. What are you doing? And then I saw what happened, and then I got it. 
You can yeah. jump down as regular Link and catch yourself on the edge, but your timing's got to be pretty good. Yeah. Okay, now that there's not much going on, all of a sudden we're quiet. <laughs> Have you ever seen the Red Supre video of, I think it's Sir Ron Lionheart playing this game? He's like, yeah! Nuh-uh. Sir Ron Moore Lionheart? Sir Ron Lionheart, welcome to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Part 150. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me. Welcome to uh, Super Mario All-Stars Part 55. This is Ron Moore. 55. Yeah, I did. I did a whole playthrough of all the All Stars games, and there would have been more parts, but I gave up on the uh, lost levels, which is why I re redid it a few years later. <laughs> yeah. Those are some hardcore levels, so I've heard. And uh, that's yeah. when you and I started talking. Yeah, I remember that. Where I, oh geez, that that was a funny, that was a funny LP to a lot of people's eyes because uh, the I actually played through the game legit, didn't cheat, and the struggles were real. That was funny, but on Link, my end, I was uh, like recording the footage. Impatient. Yeah, like recording the footage, I like uh like when I did the footage before the commentary, I was pounding on my desk hard and just cursing my head off. Man, this is bull! No, I made that jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've done that a, a, a few times in some of the streams that I've seen, but it seems like the game just wanted to turn against you or something because it seems like you actually made the whatever actions that you were doing at that time. Like, I think you were playing Mega Man or something, and you made a jump, but it ended up killing you. Um, I it was something Mega Man 2 resetted itself. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. it did? Yeah, go to yeah. my Mega Man 2 live stream. It's, it's called Mega Man 2 and Mike Tyson's Punch-Out live stream. Mega Man 2, the game reset itself at random. I, it must have been a ROM glitch. I don't remember that ever happening on the cartridge. That was your very first stream, wasn't it? I was no, the, the first stream I ever did was Contra. It was a test stream, and I oh, beat the whole right. game. It was a success. Yeah, the first stream I ever did uh, was the uh, Contra live stream on uh, yeah the Rumble channel. At some point tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming again. I'll be streaming uh, Final Fantasy, the Final Fantasy 12 remaster. I don't know how long I'm going to stream for. I'll probably still go the usual hour and a half, or maybe close to two hours, but. Um, I'm trying to get into streaming more whenever I don't I try to put out any, like, original videos or anything. of any topics that I can think of to talk about. Yeah, I, I don't join too many streams. I was, sorry, I was going to say real quick. I, I, sorry, I was going to say, I don't join too many streams. Very few streams I join because some streamers have, well, I've only had, like, one problem with this so far. One streamer had a ridiculous rule. Don't use all capital letters in my chat room. And he was, he seemed to take it too seriously or was too sensitive in that chat room. I said, I'm out of here. I'm going to Spectre's live stream. He don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's crazy. Spectre, did you, were you the one on Facebook a few days ago who mentioned that you were playing that new game, Implosion? Uh, Implosion? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. It was, that, it was that Switch. I think it was actually like, uh, a cell phone right, game, but it got put on Switch. Yeah, it got put over on yeah, Switch, and it's like a hack and slash. A couple days ago, and it's pretty fun. Yeah, I heard it was it was like a pretty interesting hack and slash for like twelve dollars. Yeah, so. for the price you pay, it's pretty good. Yeah, they switched yeah, I was thinking it. To switch. check it out. Oh, there it is, the Sasha Banks key. Yeah. <laughs> you know why? Cause it's boss. Indeed. Yep. Well, Speaking wait, where, where's the women's I, title? I, oh, I like, I like that thing that Alexa, Alexa Bliss can do with her arm, but I think the, if she keeps doing that, it'll lose its appeal. Imagine yeah. that before the internet when people didn't know she was double-jointed, how that would look. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like, they could have done an injury angle where people really thought she would be legitimately injured because there'd be no internet uh, saying, no, not real injury, it, it's, it's, it's a work. But back then, no internet to say that, and so that would definitely look real. That's one of the problems that I have with this thing as well. Right? A girl in school that could actually do it so that her elbow, when her, she put her arm down on a table or something, would face the other way. Oh, yeah, I've known, I've known some people like that, too. It would freak me out, man. I thought they actually broke their arm or something. This is the boss that everyone loves. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's actually two ways to fight this thing. Wait. That's the bull from Castlevania 64. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is a better game. Yeah. This is a better game. He's a masked mechanical monster goat. Goat. Uh, he's going to get your goat. 
<laughs> Whoa. Now, it's possible, as Link, to stand up on the snowbanks and continuously shoot it with arrows, but that's kind of cheap. This is the fun way. Right, yeah. I remember fighting this boss right here like that. Like, this is cool. Especially if you deliver the death blow while you're, you know, coming off midair. It's so awesome. Yeah. Towards the end, it gets pretty tough because it, it unleashes everything at you. Yeah. It's ironic that this is the funnest boss to fight because out of all the places in the game that you might have to refight the boss to purify the area again, it's this one. Yeah. Because there's a lot of stuff you can do in this area once this is defeated. Well, his ass is on fire. Or unless you're cute. <laughs> Great balls of fire. My biscuits are burning. <laughs> like cold iron biscuits. We're gonna get a comment. You sport it for me. I haven't watched it yet. Well, well, what am I talking about? Nobody's watching. But anyway, <laughs> I, had to put, I had to put that disclaimer in my Oracle of Ages Part Five video. Spoilers. I talk about uh, a little bit about Great Balls of ECW, whatever it's called, where the, the camera angle where it's, it's that big cast on the Titan Tron says yeah. big ass. Yeah, it does. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah, tonight they actually changed the camera angle for that, so it wouldn't look like it said big ass. <laughs> and there was another one where. Can't teach that. Yeah, yep. and there's another one where it says, uh, uh, eat balls. <laughs> eat balls. Sasha, Sasha Banks' head was covering the one of those uh, screens in the background and in the stands in the audience. And uh, it, so it, it said, eat balls instead of great balls. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. See, yeah. they made a mistake in the first place of calling a pay-per-view great balls of fire because you know there was going to be a lot of jokes that came out of that. Exactly, yeah. You do know that once Vince McMahon starts really going senile, the product's going to get really awesome. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> He's going to be one testicular fortitude. Exactly. I wouldn't doubt it that he would call it that. It's like, my man, like Mankind said one time when he was fixed to right to fight China for the number one contendership at uh, SummerSlam for the WWF title in time. And he was like, you bring your ovaries and I'll bring my guys. And yeah. <laughs> the very illogical fortitude. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, how would you oh. call it SummerSlam when you had a Trish? You have the puppies and I got my wiener. Oh. <laughs> oh, here's wiener, JR. <laughs> I forgot what the king said. I don't know. Or JR. I think it's just, I said, oh, God. He probably said something like, oh, my mama's watching. No, uh, when May Young gave Eric Bischoff the bon Bronco Buster, and then Jerry Lauder goes, I think I see some pie crust at the corner of his mouth, JR. <laughs> <laughs> you and see the dairy farms? <laughs> I think they get powdered milk. <laughs> <laughs> and then JR goes, Good God, King. You had to go there, didn't you? What? Pie crust. Really, King? Pie crust. That was uh, yeah. Bad Blood 2003, by the way. <laughs> pay per view sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those were the days. Well, let's see if Link can finally beat the Brahma Bull here. The Brahma Bull, the ass kicker, the main events, the most electrifying bull in all of Hyrule. Well, actually, term, uh, term, Termina. Is it Termina? Yeah, term, term, yeah. Terminal Illness. Oh, I yeah. Um, I remember when Michael Cole was interviewing the Undertaker. Can you withstand the charge of the Brahma Bull? Taker goes, Can I withstand the charge of the Brahma Bull? What kind of question is that? I got a question for you. What happens when you rip the balls off of a bull? Ooh, and the goat just did his best Dixie Carter impersonation. <laughs> Wait. I don't get it. I picked a name, but I think it fits. I don't, I don't get it, though. Like, Yeah, I'm lost. I don't know. Just the, visual, just the visual of Dixie Carter ramming her own head into the wall makes me look <laughs> Oh. I think it's kind of funny that Dixie Carter is showing up on WWE Network in that Kurt Angle special they're going to have yeah, on there. As of this recording, I think it's happening here in a few minutes. That's so crazy. Yeah. I put on, on the wrestling group another reason to order the network. See, Dixie Carter! Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty Dixie. sure they're going to end up having the entire TNA catalog before long on WWE Network. <laughs> yeah. You mean Global, global Force? Yeah, global, global Force Wrestling. Global Force Wrestling. <laughs> Maybe instead of drawing 80 people, they can draw 100. Yeah. Yeah, they turn around and change that. Change yeah. the name of that. 
Oh, LOL TNA. I mean, Impact Wrestling. I mean, GFW. The GFW. What, what exactly are you? <laughs> yeah. I'm a sloth now. Making his appearance in Majora's Mask. What is that moron saying, JR? He sounds like Mantar. That's the sound my stomach makes when I eat too much Taco Bell. Half yeah. man, half tar. Hey, yeah. Gu Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, finish your question. They make they make this moment like so almost <laughs> sentimental and weird. This music. Hey, listen. Yeah. Wah. Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit. Who's Chris Benoit? Toothless aggression. Yes, spring has come to the mountains. Yeah. At least for the most part. <laughs> you see W. What? what the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. I just decided to do a little a little trumpet thingy or something at the end of him saying ECW. It sounded more like a face fart than a trumpet, but I tried. And there's another frog. All of my millions and millions of Donald Trumpets. <laughs> millions and millions of Donald Trumpets. Yeah. Screaming the rock's name. Yaki, Yaki, Yaki. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, yeah, he said that, didn't he? When he was when he's in the front row one time, <laughs> when he's in the front row like during the Attitude Era. Who's your favorite, or whatever? I think he said The Rock. I think I read The Rock, which is funny because oh. he could run against him in 2020. That would be something. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. To all, to, to all of our dozens and dozens of fans out there, we will see you for part eleven for Ravenous and Ron Moore. I'm Tibbs. God bless and take care. Adios. Hey, I'm Tibbs along with Rabbit Inspector. Hey, you kind of went out there for a moment. All I heard was three and then you went away. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fans at home heard me. They know who uh, we are. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Just doing the usual introduction. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. I was trying to make sure I started uh, playing the video right at the moment it needed to be played at. Well, today we are doing all the, uh, some of the post-temple stuff here in the mountains. So as you can see, springtime has arrived. So is there, is there different seasons in Majora's Mask, or is it just dealing with, like, the different stages of grief, so people say? Well, each one of the four sections has, like, a certain, I don't want to say curse on it, but a certain thing about it that has impacted the area. In this case, uh, snow and ice have come to the mountains, but because we broke the curse on the temple, now spring is here, and there's quite a bit of stuff we can do now. Oh, okay. So it basically opens up other other different goals and things to achieve in it. Correct. And like I said, if we were to go back to the first day, it would be like we never did it in the first place. So you would have to go back to the temple, and the first room could automatically warp you to the boss fight, and then you just do that. Oh, okay. Sweet. Which you actually have to do, because this is the one place in the game, I believe, where you, it's not possible to do all the stuff you can in one go. Mm -hmm. So is it kind of one of those issues where you have to actually rewind uh, back time over and over to be able to achieve everything? Yes. I mean, uh, if you really, really tried and went out, nah, I actually no, because technically you're not supposed to be able to get into the Great Bay unless you do this, although they're always to glitch it. Mm -hmm. and there's always ways to do stuff like that, especially some of these oh, yeah. uh, uh, these streams that I see on Twitch, like games games done quick. I have no idea how these people find out these different glitches and strategies and things to be able to get through the games as fast as they do. It's insane, One of my man. On YouTube, is a guy named Swordless Link, and all of his let's plays are glitch runs, and it's insane. Oh, jeez. What's his name again? Swordless Link. Oh, okay. Swordless he's a British Link. Kid. He, he, 
he know he he does speed runs of mostly N64 games because they're so easily breakable. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. He did want a Donkey Kong 64. Man, that game is you can break that game even without trying. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how it seems like so so many of those older games can be able to to have have that be achieved so easily. It's just. Because, yeah, I think the reason why is because in the early days of 3D, everything was kind of hollow. Like, you could see, like, seam lines on the wall, and the camera could go in the wall, and you could see there was nothing behind it. Whereas yeah. today, everything seems pretty solid. But back then, it was all just kind of surface layer. Yeah, yeah, it definitely was. But, like... <laughs> This is the giant go this is uh, supposed to be um Medigaron or Bigaron or whatever you want to call him. And here he actually has something useful instead of selling you a busted sword. He will sell you a powder keg, which is the best, I don't say the best explosive in the game, but the biggest one. How old did he even reach that in there? So he actually come through a whole wall and somehow crawl in there and got stuck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's in the exact same position in Ocarina of Time. Oh, jeez. I must be uncomfortable to be stuck like that. Like that. Yeah. How long was he able to use that, that, that the furnace or whatever it is back there the fireplace? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and here we're going to accomplish two things at once. We're going to open up the Goron racetrack so we can not only go to the races but be a part of them and earn the right to use powder kegs whenever we please. Oh, sweet. So you actually have like, would you have like an endless supply of powder kegs or just a certain amount you could use as you go out on your quest? No, what it is, is right now, it, there's a shop, the bomb shop in Clocktown, there's a Goron that'll sell them, but he'll only sell them to other Gorons, and he wouldn't sell them to me until now, when I've quote-unquote earned the right to use them. Once you get one, you only have one. Hmm. Okay. But there's, after this, there's only, I think, two other uses in the game form. Hmm. That's, that's strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You figured if you went through all that trouble to try to actually get access to using them, that they would be used for a lot more other things. It's kind of like the Super Bomb, or whatever it's called in Link to the Past. It only has one use. Huh. Oh. But there, is there a whole lot of rigmarole you have to go through to get that, though? No, all you gotta do is, you, I believe you have to beat the Misery Mire dungeon in the desert, and then it'll pop up in the bomb shop. Oh, okay. So uh, what was the, that uh, Mega Bomb used for? Well, it's like this little orange bomb that'll follow you around, and there's a crack in a wall at the base of the Pyramid of Power. You blow it up, and there's a big fat ugly fairy in there, and she will turn your arrows into silver arrows, and your sword into the level 4 golden sword. Oh, sweet. Was that in Link to the Past? Yep. Oh, okay. Man, I still gotta play that. I haven't even. You've never seen, played Link to the Past? No, I, honestly, no, I haven't. I've seen oh, a lot man. of footage of it. It makes me cry. <laughs> yeah, I've seen I've seen a lot of footage of it, and I've never really. The closest that I've got to Link to Link to the Past was actually Link Between Worlds on 3DS, where it was actually almost like it was just. Per it's it's that one yet to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's probably the only, well, Ocarina of Time as well. Those two are probably the only Zelda games that everyone pretty much agrees are just about perfect. Yeah. Yeah, everybody everybody loves Link to the Past. There's been so much praise for it. I don't, I don't doubt it. I'm pretty sure it's on the eShop, though, so I probably could just go and get it there and, and have it on oh, yeah. my Wii U. Um, it's one of those games that will forever be on every service that Nintendo's a part of ever. <laughs> Yeah, because it's just that good. <laughs> now this right here, the Goron Race, 
for those of you who enjoy Rareware games, is rubber banded to hell. In other words, the better we're doing, the faster everyone will get, and the worse we're doing, the slower they'll get. Hmm. Rare games are known for that. Yeah. Let's see if I, can, oh, I was about to say, let's see if I can do this on the first try, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so is this something that you actually have to do, or is it just like a, some side content? It's a side. It, the whole point of this, those guys that I. Okay, you drop your sword off to them. You wait 24 hours, and it becomes the razor sword. And then you give them the gold dust that you get for winning this race, and they can turn it into the gilded sword. Right. But all that has to be in one cycle, of course. Oh, okay. And you gotta place first. Jeez. And yes, somehow, even though you have spikes, if you bounce into anyone else, they'll knock you on your ass. <laughs> Good grief, man. Yeah, look seemed at like, that. Seems like there is just like a whole lot of stuff to cover and hang on to in, uh, in um, Majora's Mask than compared to other Zelda titles. At least, at least that's, as, far, as far as I know, it seems like that. There is, but you get used to it. Yeah, I guess if you get in a, in a swing of things, yeah, I'm pretty sure you could. Yeah. And, this, like, there's no, you do need magic for this. But, oh, damn. I just realized what I should have done. I just realized what I should have done before this. The one thing I didn't do yet was turn in all the fairies I got, because you turn in the fairies you get from the Snowhead Temple, and you get double the magic. Ooh. Although there really, there really isn't that much of a... Of a risk of running out here as long as you can hit all these uh, pots. Mm -hmm. If you look real close, you can still see uh, Link's face. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, the old uh, green hat gives it away. That jump right there that I just made is critical. It's funny because if you look at everyone else's animations, they don't look like they're rolling that fast. Yeah, that's true. Seems like you're rolling a heck of a lot faster, but yet you're behind. Here, I got it now. Ooh. Pretty sure I got it. And we get... Gold dust. <laughs> Golden dust. Yeah, as long as it's not stardust. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, even Cody Rhodes hated that gimmick. <laughs> what uh, timestamp are you on? Because I'm at 1028. I'm at 1040. Alright. I'm going to shoot, shoot up, up there. Because I guess the first time when you were talking right before we had started recording, you went out, so I didn't know if you started the video or not. I didn't know what was going on, and then you came back in again, so I was just a little ways behind. That's because our, our leader, Ron, Ronnie, isn't here. See, folks, we're, we're still <laughs> technically first-year rookies. <laughs> oh, man. I had a little bit of a... What's that? Now this guy will give us the right to use powder kegs whenever we like. Oh, lovely. You should have hit first place pretty fast. Hmm. At least on a second, second go. <laughs> I've played this game many, many times over the years. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool when you put them down there. As long as you aren't near them <laughs> when they go off. Yeah. Do they damage you when they go off? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's fast travel. Yeah. Yep. Now we're going to head back to Snowhead. Yeah, were you? I forgot. Were you here when we learned that song? Uh, I don't believe I was. No. Well, basically, it, it, the Song of Soren lets you travel to any of those owl statues. Oh, okay, that's cool. What in the world have I been doing this whole time? You <laughs> yeah, you killed me, man. 
sitting on this ice block freezing my nuts off. <laughs> or my rocks off, considering I'm a Goron and I deal with rocks. <laughs> I eat shit rocks for breakfast. <laughs> oh, and it's weird, because if you look at the fact, if you talk to everyone, they say that Darmani was killed when he was blown off this mountain. And if that's the guy that was doing it, that means Darmani was killed by one of his own people. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to do what I should have done before. And get that double magic. Yeah. But first, it's time to get a little high. Get a little high. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now that's puke green if I've ever seen it. Oh, yeah, it is. Snot green, acid green, bile green. Poopy green. <laughs> this is definitely one of the more useful gifts that you get. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Anything that is an acid. <laughs> It's funny if you put on the different transformation masks and come in here, the pose can be pretty weird. <laughs> Just like it's possible, I mentioned Swordless Link, it's actually possible in Ocarina of Time to get to certain places and certain cutscenes, whether you're a kid or an adult when you're not supposed to be. Pretty funny. And sorry once again. That's right. It's so convenient. <laughs> I would say, oh no, I would say tra transportation in Zelda games has definitely improved over the years. I mean, in, in Ocarina of Time, you had the, um, the, 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 the whistle. Whatever, yeah, the recorder, excuse me. And that was totally pretty much random where that would take you. And Link to the Past, you had preset destinations. In Ocarina of Time, you had just the temples to walk to here. You have all the owl statues, Wind Waker, preset islands, Twilight Princess, you had the warps. Skyward Sword was probably the worst when it came to that because you had to go back up into the sky and then go back down again. And of course, Breath of the Wild. Of the wild and they disappeared. <laughs> yeah. They want the bizarre one. Indeed. Technically, the Gilded Sword is level two. And if you say to yourself, why is that level two? Shouldn't that be three? Well, you'll see what level three is later on. But the Razor Sword is actually temporary because it'll actually break after your hundredth uh, hit with it. If it isn't gold, uh... <laughs> so do you do you kind of kind of have like a, a collection of Nintendo consoles, or do you just try to stick with the current stuff? You know, I wish that I had saved my original and my Super Nintendo and all that stuff, but I do have. I still have my GameCube, my Wii, and my Wii U. And I have all the games that I care about, anyway, from all those systems. But all of Nintendo's previous cartridge-based systems, I've let them slip through my fingers over the years, unfortunately. Yeah, well, even nowadays, they're as expensive as they can be. It seems like most of them are, because everybody thinks, oh, it's retro, so I need to charge an arm and a leg for it to sell it, which is just a bunch of BS. They, they don't know what they have. They'll go and try to look up prices and things on eBay and try to rip people off. They don't know what they have or how to price their stuff. But it's yeah. good. It's really good that a lot of this stuff, is the, like the stuff that seems like it really matters, is actually coming out as digital downloads on their eShop and whatnot. So that you can just go and just play it, pay a, a flat rate for it, you know, like anywhere, I guess, between five to ten dollars, maybe the highest. And they don't cost anywhere near the amount that they are for the physical version. It's just ridiculous right. what people do with that. And 
I really hope that when Nintendo's online service is going to be starting next year, that instead of just having it be like it was on the eShop where you pay for each individual game, that the huge library of games comes with a subscription, which I think is what they announced they're going to do after all. Yeah, I'm actually wondering how they're going to handle that because when we first started hearing about it, and it's like, oh yeah, uh, we'll give our, our service for free for a certain period of time, but then you have to pay for it. And oh, by the way, the free game that we give you each month, we're actually going to take it back after that that month, and then you have to turn right around and buy. And it's like, what's the freaking point of the subscription, man? <laughs> Just to play well, online, went, you know? They they went back on that and said that it would be a more like, With our audio, I don't know if it's Discord or what it is. We were kind of going in and out there. Well, <laughs> good timing for that because the video has ended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for joining us, Spectre. Yeah, no problem. We had a few and, audio issues, but uh, at least we managed to hear each other pretty well for the most part. Well, that's okay. As as long as the video was there, people know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so we may not hear you, you may not hear us, but you'll see us, kind of. You'll see the game in part 12. So until then, for Ravenous, I'm Tibbs. Adios! And welcome back, everyone, to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is part 12. I am Tibbs, along with Ron Moore, and for the first time commentating with myself, Bio Phoenix. Hi, guys. And, and today we're going to go to the ranch, finally. Uh, the ranch, yeah. Well, I, think we, I think we went, yeah, we went there before, but now we're going to do the stuff that you can actually do there now that we can have powder kegs. Oh, yeah. First, I, I, I got to get, get the money. Oh, <laughs> freaking greedy. Freaking <laughs> you, YouTube gamer. Well, whenever you start a new cycle, that's really the first thing you should do is get this chest. Oh, yeah, that's true. Alright, Phoenix, have you, have you played this game, Chris? Have. I would say otherwise, why would he be here, but I can't remember if Spectre's played this or not. No, I don't think he has either. Yeah, I've been in commentaries before where I haven't really played the game. Jorah's Mask, like, once before, and yeah, I don't know, I, I don't feel like doing that again. Yeah. I'm the opposite. I could play this game any day. So now that we've been certified to do so, we can buy powder cakes from this guy. But we can only hold one. Nice. And if I remember right, there's only two more uses for them in the whole game. Yeah, and I forgot. Unless you want to use them as a weapon, which I guess you could. Yeah. Move out the way. You could have easily rolled over his dumb ass. Move, bitch. <laughs> get out the way. Yeah. Move, female dog! Get out the way! Get out the way! Get out the way! Now, the next area we want to go to is the ocean. But there's a fence block in the way. Hmm, we're gonna have to do something about that. Oh, yeah, I think I remember one of the ways to use the cow uh, counter peg. The po power. Dang it! Counter peg! <laughs> counter peg! Uh, 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 no counter peg! Ow! No counter peg! <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if Bye Phoenix feels this way, but again, this game is great. I just, uh, the replay value was not high for me personally, and just the time thing is what kind of made me say, eh. I agree with that. The, the, I don't like time management in games. Yeah. Uh, even though at least it makes sense how they do it in this game, and it's not as bad as I thought it would be, And but one thing I hate about time in games is when you're on the stage select screen or pa password screen, and they give you a time limit, like, What's the rush? Give me time. <laughs> well, Everyone. I can I can I can understand it if you're playing a two-player game because to be fair to the second player is like hurry up. Yeah. Uh, well, games like games like Metal Gear on the NES, the title screen appears for like two seconds. Yeah. Press start yet? Yeah. Man, it's one of those pansies from Ocarina of Time, but on this in this version they're not pansies. Okay. 
Now, the last time we came to this ranch, if I remember right, we didn't really interact with the girls. And if we had, we would have seen that they were really out of sorts. That the younger girl was missing, I think. And the bigger girl was, like, all depressed. And you're gonna find out why. What happened, or what would have happened, had we not come along. Can I get a sound of range, please? Hey, baby. You don't have a cow. You can milk me any day. Jeez. <laughs> Let's ride the cow together. Yeah. Now, Ronnie, the two character models in this ranch, do you know what their connection is outside of this game? Uh, what, her and who else? And, and the little girl we're about to meet. They both should look familiar to you. Yeah, um, dang it, what's her name from Long Long Ranch? Yeah, Malin. Yeah, Malin. The little girl here was, it was the kid version, and her older sister was the adult version. Yeah, that's right. And, speaking of familiar faces, yep. there's wow. our horse. Wow, Epona. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, when I was in high school, I made a joke about um, in Ocarina of Time when you first get Epona. What if you picked her up and held her over your head and she slowly spun around just like you do with all the items you collect? <laughs> it goes like this. You try to pick it up. <laughs> she falls on top of you because it's too heavy. <laughs> There's actually in Skyward Sword a scene when you, when you get the, the goddess harp. You're right in the middle of an intense cutscene and Link holds it, you know, da-da-da-da, and it actually says, but this is no time to admire it or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I remember that. Oh, what the? Solar Eclipse? Oh, wait. They come at night every year when the carnival approaches. That's so right, ladies and gentlemen. If this game, if you didn't think the Zelda series could get any weirder, well, I told you this game was weird because this ranch on the night of the first day gets attacked by aliens. Or wow. alien ghosts. <laughs> the aliens in the new game, apparently. Oh, so they're... Is that the Boogeyman's interest music? Oh, no, wait. <laughs> so, basi yeah. so basically, the idea is that if you come here on the third day, the only day you can at first, those aliens have already come. So it's kind of interesting that you get to, you get to see what happened, and now you have the motivation to stop it from happening. Oh, cool. Plus, you got to get your horse to continue with the rest of the game. Yeah. I, unless you know some uh, speed running glitches, then you can get over those fences without her. But where's the fun? Well, actually, no, that is kind of fun. Yeah. I know a friend of mine that he hates speed running, uh, use, uh, like using glitches to speed run a game, because he says that doesn't count. That's not speed running, because you're using glitches. Which I understand, but it's still cool to watch. I like glitches. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of those either, but, you know, it's whatever to me. I don't as... like tool assisted. I like it if you can manip manipulate and, and um, reproduce the glitch on your own. Like the fastest run, glitch drawn I've seen of this, not tool assisted, was about an hour 40, hour 50 something. Like, I don't mind as long as people are upfront about it. Like, if they put speed run and then in the game it's all like glitches. And like, oh man, that's we're using glitches though. Come on, even though I think some people take get a little too mad over that. Like I'm gonna get butter over it, but I think it it would be uh, kind of honorable to put like tool assisted speed run or glitch speed run with glitches or without glitches. It's a new record. Well, of course, that's his horse. This is a horse, of course. <laughs> Sounds familiar? This song before. Right, thank you, Bye Phoenix's little sister. <laughs> Easy double you. So this is all you have to do to progress with the main part of the game now that we can get called a horse anytime we want. But we're gonna go all the way here, man. 
This this part of the game, what we're going to be doing shortly, is something that when I was a kid gave me a lot of anxiety, but it, it's pretty easy. Yeah, I, I don't know if I actually did this part myself. I think I've seen Lens of Truth do it. And yeah, I can see why. 2 a.m. We'll be here. No, you usually go to sleep around that time, Tibbs. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, but if the opportunity came for me to fight some alien ghosts, I'd stay up a little bit for that. Yeah, good point. But there's also something else we can do here. Because you see, this is not the only ranch around here. There's not? Well, well technically, it, it, the other place isn't a ranch. But you'll see some blue mm -hmm. pieces there, too. You got it. Aw, <laughs> 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 oh, jeez, the Douchebag Brothers. Yeah. How apropos they're shoveling around douche. Is that pathetic thing your face? <laughs> Do you think a horse like that would gallop if you press forward? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's funny. For 10 rupees, you can gallop on the racetrack off with eye over yonder. I didn't know Zelda, a Zelda game took place in Texas. <laughs> Gonna have Texas people. Oh, what are you stereotyping Texas for? Calm down, I'm from Texas. Shut up. Ronnie, I didn't know you had a twin brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how I learned to mow Ron's and open in the ranch over here. <laughs> you sound like a horse right there, speaking of. <laughs> Every time I do that, it tickles my lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Commander Murdoch with his big lips. <laughs> All right, yeah, I remember this. I remember this in Ocarina of Time, though. I would fail a lot before I finally won and was able to escape with the Pona. E Epona, because she pones people. Epona. After you do that, I didn't know this for I didn't know this for years, but in Ocarina of Time, once you do everything at the ranch and get a Pona, you actually can go back and try to race around the track as fast as you can. And if you beat the time. Uh, they'll deliver a uh, horse to your treehouse back in the forest. Oh yeah, I think I do remember Wait, that. Did I say a horse? I meant a cow. Yeah, a cow, yeah, that's right. Cause you get all the milk you want then. Yeah, I remember that. I wonder if we can give that to this guy. This I I love the mask we're about to get. It doesn't really have a purpose, but it's it's fun. Oh, oh, we know that. Oh, forget it. I I thought they gave me a different mask. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I think this they do give something actually, else though. This mask is actually cool, and I do think you need it to beat the game. I'm pretty sure. I think if you beat him again, you get a heart piece. No, no, that's all you can do with them here. You can buy milk from them, but oh, okay. expensive milk because that's that's what they do. They steal milk from Romani Ranch and charge inflated prices for it. Jeez, freaking scalpers! They probably sell the SNES Mini too over here. I tell you, that. if I ever, if I ever catch them trying to steal that milk, I'm gonna do something about it. You know, as a matter of fact, I heard they're they're selling the SNES Mini online on their uh, Romani Romani Ran or GormanRanch.com. Oh wait, I'm sorry, that was an accident. So all cancels. I mean, all cancels. All orders are pre-canceled. <laughs> <laughs> orders are pre-canceled. Dang it! I meant to say all orders, all pre-orders are canceled. Did you say all orders are pre-canceled? <laughs> yes, I did, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I made the list. Hold on. I need to put myself on the list for that. Jeez. All right. Oh, the training po This Take a bath or something. Oh, geez, it looks like me when I was like 12. Sure scratches a lot. But no, no, I know who that is. Yeah, you know what? We don't have any SNES minis right now, but we got to take a chance as minis, though, because those are better. <laughs> Games one. Was that? <laughs> well, the uh, the the Sega Genesis Mini that's done by At Games. It's really shitty. Oh wait, there is one. I was joking. <laughs> There's an actual one, but it, it sucks because it wasn't done by Sega. Well, maybe Jeff was selling the shop. 
Hey, you know what? Maybe I won't. How about you shut up? Okay. <laughs> That's why you're not in commentary anymore, douchebag. And so, no, I was kidding. <laughs> We're going to take a little detour here to do something that's going to come uh, in handy with us in the next section. In handy, Andy. Okay. Andy Dufresne. You don't need this right now, but it will become very handy. Andy Dufresne. Right, again, handy. If handy Andy, yeah, if Andy Dufresne came in uh, Ocarina of Time, he'd be in, falsely in prison for 20 years in Gerudo Valley. Excuse me, it was Duchesne. Get it right. Oh, yeah. I think. Andy Dufresne? Andy Dufresne? Probably... Hmm. What's up with this circle? <laughs> What's up with this circle of rocks? Not right yet. Whoa! There's a guy here. What? Whoa. Well, speak! <laughs> I'm shocked! That's about right. Link's a doctor in this game. <laughs> yep. I love how it just disappears in one gulp. Right, yeah. <laughs> I feel better, I think. So yep. now we get the stone mask. Nice. Stone Cold Steve Austin mask. Yeah. But this mask enemy won't see us. Yeah. The Star Soldier? Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, you got the stone mask, yeah? Yeah, not Stone Man from that stupid Mega Man 5. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shut up, you pansy. <laughs> you see one of my parts of A Link to the Past where all those flowers in the dark world, I said a bunch of pansies in this game. <laughs> I'm not sure if I made Star Soldier a, refer uh, a reference to Star Soldier or not. Alright. Once oh, again. Why did that guy turn to a bunch of feathers? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just another feather and Link's cap. Well, another feather and Link's miniature cap. I can't even imagine. Like in the Japanese version, when you could only save going back to the first day, that must have been such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Oh God, I'm so glad they never put that in our version. Yeah. Those Japanese gamers are hardcore, man. Yeah, they are. But the lost levels, jeez. The other, the other, I know. I swear. The other day, I was playing Mario Kart 8 on the Switch, and I was in a room full. Like no, everyone was from Japan in the room I was in. And they were just killing me. Yeah. They look at ah, American noob. <laughs> <laughs> you lose American. Whoa! What the heck? My, my penis so smooth. <laughs> yeah. A double time, time is basically the suicide button in this game. <laughs> no, actually, it helps you. It slows down time. No, that's that's inverted sauna time. Oh, what? Is the, oh, that's right. I got confused. Inverted DDT. Oh, psh, oh. L Listening to the dialogue between these girls, uh, I think on the final night, right before the moon falls, if you if you come here, if you've saved them, so that they're both still around. The older sister, like the younger sister, will be about to drink Chateau Romani, which is basically like their version of alcohol for the first time. And it's kind of sad because this older sister knows they're about to die, so she gives it to her. Yeah. And I believe if you talk to everyone in town, this is where they were all planning to go to escape. Now we just gotta chill until 2 a.m. The action begins. <laughs> Not throw at the camera. 
Not down the cameraman. Why does this game look just like Ocarina of Time? <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, I think someone's What's trying to. With that? I think someone's trying to radio in in our Discord commentary. <laughs> breaker, breaker. Yeah, right. Looks like, can I join? No way. Maybe when you're older. But I want to be the guy too. <laughs> I wanna be the guy. So what do you guys do around here for fun? Jeez, where's the yeah, there, where's the internet? Yeah. Drink tea all day. I'm hey. Hey, look over there. There's hey. <laughs> uh, I thought you were gonna go over there and actually go to sleep in the hay or something. Go to the barn. Never mind, I guess. Yeah, Link is scoping it out and he wants to know what all his options are. Yeah. So you gotta wait till two. <laughs> what until then? <laughs> Mama's house. Join us next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after a while, he won't be able to get back in. Basically, what's going to happen is at 2 a.m., the, the alien ghosts are going to appear, or 2.30, 3 o'clock, whatever, and they're going to aim, head straight for the barn, and you have to stop them all. I, the idea is that you're supposed to um, get on your horse and ride around and get them that way, just like you did when you practiced before. Ah. They oh. stick around till I think, 5 or 6. Yeah. So if you slow down time, they'll be slower and it'll be easier to kill them, but it'll take twice as long. So pick your poison. Yeah. Do you slow down time here or is it time back to normal? Because I know you get a quick cut. No, time's, yeah, time's normal. Ah, okay. <laughs> there they are. There's some weird looking aliens, man. Yeah. yeah me, me personally, I find it easier to just kind of stand in one spot. And get them. I mean, you have to run around a little bit, especially when they come up behind the barn. But yeah, there's no real need to ride around. So if they get, if one of them gets to the barn, then game over. It, yeah, it's over. They will not only take the cows. I believe they take the girl too. Oh man. Where's the little girl with her bow and arrow? She's not doing anything. She's letting you do all the work. <laughs> I know, right? What a lazy bitch. <laughs> yeah, even Zelda will use her bow. Right? Well, that's different. She's the princess. Oh, I saw a stone, a stone of truth back there. The correct term is gossip stone. Oh, yeah. Get it right, you idiot. <laughs> oh, look out. Now, All what the these guys would do with, with cows, I have no idea. Right? Oh, get milk, of course. <laughs> Hello. They don't like. They don't look like they drink milk. Right. On the next episode, the X Files. Dun, 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 e -C David Duchovny and Agent Mulder <laughs> visit Mid. I mean Midna. Visit <laughs> ter Termina to stop aliens from stealing cows. Don't have a cow on this next episode of the X Files. I don't mean Bre Breezango X Files, whatever stupid storyline they're doing right now in the WWE. Breezango, jeez. That is that is the ultimate. We we can't figure out anything for these two guys to do, so let's put them together. Yeah, let's team uh, Fandango with Bio Phoenix, and there you go. <laughs> well, that'd be better, I guess. <laughs> Oh, it's almost, almost time. Hang in there. Almost You're almost there. Yeah, we're almost done. Wow! There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. That eerie music the whole time. We won. He won. You didn't do I anything. Won.
<laughs> yeah, Link, you know, Link don't talk shit. She had, she had to be the one to say it in this game. <laughs> oh, I won. So now we get a milk in a bottle, but more importantly, we get a bottle. Jeez, talk about milk in the diehards. <laughs> Look, her face is right in there. <laughs> what if, like, they kept on making diehard movies every year and milking the franchise, milking the diehards? Get it? Now, this isn't the only thing we can do here. On the second day, there's also something you can do. What is that? Well, I foreshadowed it earlier, if you were paying attention. No one pays attention to our videos. Yeah, we don't even. <laughs> what happened, guys? I mean, what? To find out what that is, you guys are just going to have to keep watching. Yep. Yeah, but... Keep enduring. Right. No, no. Thanks to Bio Phoenix for joining us. Or at least joining me for the first time in a while. Yep. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing that Vid's done. He's starting to lose it. Yeah. All right. So for Ron Moore and Bio Phoenix, I am Tibbs. God bless. Take care. Hello everyone, this is Tips, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I am here with my good buddy, Ron Moore. What's up? That's right, and today we're going to finish off stuff here at the ranch, and then we got some other stuff to do before we go to a new area and take a swim. Literally. Yeah, yeah here we go in the ranch. That's right. We were here last time, we uh, saved the ranch from some alien ghost thingamajigs, and right, now yeah. we're going to do something about a couple of ugly dudes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! yeah. That's right, because I said last time there was something else we can do here, and I wasn't just whistling Dixie. Yeehaw! I thought, I thought you just said whistling dicks. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, like that, like that wrestling tag team, the dicks. Uh, I vaguely remember that. You have to refresh my memory. They were like, males, they were like male strippers or something. What company? No, they were like male strippers. I thought they were a tag team, though. They were, but that was like their gimmick. Yeah, but what company? What what, what wrestling company? Oh, WWE. Oh, I don't, I don't remember the. What year was this? Two uh, thousands, ruthless aggression, I think. I don't. I remember oh, the, I stumped the, the, the. Ronnie. Huh? I stumped Ronnie about wrestling. I remember <gasps> the the heartthrobs, and they were like strippers type rejects, but I don't remember the dicks. They must have not been around that long or something. I don't remember that. I'm glad I don't. <laughs> remember how about Deuce and Domino? Yeah, I remember them. Man, it's my Maurice. Hey. Hey, there he is. Hey! Sorry. Spectre. Hey, sorry. It took me a little while to get in here. My uh, girlfriend was streaming. It was a little set. Uh, I forgot what time it was. And uh, oh. so we found out. And she put it on pause for a moment while we do this commentary. Well, we are live right now. Go to the video and go around the two-minute mark. <laughs> the two-minute mark? <laughs> yeah. Right. For the first time in the history of this channel, this, at least as far as I know, someone is jumping in in the middle of it. Yeah. Well, now it's happened before. I thanks think we guys done it. Well, thanks right. to Discord, it can be done easily now. Now we're at 218, 219, 220. That's right. Yep. And, and we're, we were just All talking right. about a bunch of dicks, and now we're about to deal with a couple. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, so so Joey Ryan and uh, whoever else is about to come up next. <laughs> so you play as Jim Kenny Cornette. King. You play as Jim Cornette. You got to take him out here. Yeah, like the other one's Kenny King. Kenny King? You mean Kenny Omega? Kenny, whatever. He hates <laughs> them both, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> whatever the Kenny is. Yeah, we're an ugly country now. Yep. And we are approaching the three-minute mark. And uh-oh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Milk Road. Yeah. You got milk? Milk. Yeah. Is that they Luigi? They, kept, they, kept, they said they kept finding that milk bottle smashed. So. Yeah. That How about the smash on that milk? <laughs> Pursuers highlighted in red. Yeah. Do you understand? No. <laughs> I 
bet you will. Does his ranch have taters? <laughs> <laughs> this kid's in gray barrel. No containers. Yep, milk and tater. Ugh, that's nasty, actually. Now, what you gotta do here is, if they get too close, they will actually break those milk jugs on the back, and if they break all three, it's it, it, it's game over. Yeah. Well, not literal game over, but you'd have to go back to the first day and start the whole process over again. Yeah. Wow, wow, gee, I wonder who these guys are. They're in a mask. There's no way to tell who they are. This is very easy, though. Yeah. Man, shouldn't they be dead if you're hitting them that many times with arrows? I know, right? Even bosses don't last this long. Right. Man, they're tougher than bosses. They should be the fun. This, this is the male version of Twin Robo, the Twin Warlocks. He's <laughs> acting younger! Hey, uh, Don't lie about your age, we're twins! Even the horses have masks on. <laughs> Geez, how long is this? We should be, we should be just about out of the, it, it's, it's all time. You gotta escape the range oh, area. Oh, look out. Oh shit. Oh, Whoa, okay, that was close. <laughs> Alright, now we're at the Tater Ranch. And it's been completely decimated. Wait, you did what? Or maybe not. No, this is Tater Ranch. You talked to Spectre. <laughs> <laughs> His, and, and text greetings and salutators. Is I want to know the rabbit inspector. Yes, we do have some taters. We have mashed potatoes, takers of bacon bits, and gravy. I tell you, some of them specialists came in here and took all my damn taters that came over there. I need y'all go over there, kill them things, bring my taters back, and I'll give you something, something special. We, we, we get a cow's head. Yep. So now we can get into the bar. Do we get the tater mask? <laughs> Yeah, we won't, see, we won't see it right here. Um, I don't think it happens here. Pretty sure it doesn't the first time. No, it doesn't. But if you do it again, I don't know what exactly the stipulations are to make it happen, but sometimes she'll give you a hug, and Link's head will be buried right into the good parts. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. I'll take a while, while. Oh, there's that douche. There's a, there's a familiar face. Right, yeah. Bah, I'm bug. Yeah. And I love how you get back in town in just enough time to be able to, to go into the bar, because it opens at 10. Oh, wow. Hey, big boy. Fit Phil. <laughs> Fit Finley. <laughs> Now, depending on how, what form you are when you do this, you'll get a different prize. But to get the best prize, you got to be a go-on and just plow through all this. Yeah. I don't even remember what the prizes are for the other forms. A heart piece? Act, no, they're they're different for everyone. Like, okay. you will only get the heart piece if you do it as a go-on. Okay, I, I, I remember this game. These walls that pop up in front of you. Ah, oh, jeez. That's real life right there. You have your goal set, and then all these walls come up come up in your That's face. Right. God damn it. I used to have the pattern memorized. Get good. I think the, pa Indeed. I think the pattern I think the pattern's different depending on the day. Come on. There you go. There we go. Oh my god, what I get. I'm so excited what I get. Come on. Ah! Just reach him with one hand. Oh, that's for Jeff. Yep. See, harpy. There you go, Jeff. We gotta get Jeff for some more of these parts again, just to troll him with the heart pieces. <laughs> I think we broke him last time. Yeah. I loved been. watching the Mega, the Mega Man Eight video, and you're like, "There you go, Jeff. This game has no heart pieces." <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> that frog. Go into the bar. That frog master, Frogman LeBunk, or LeBronk, where that, whatever his name was. <laughs> LeBlanc. Yeah, Fro Frog Frogman LeBunk. I thought that was his name, and I was a kid. Frogman LeBunk. <laughs> He's bunk. Frogman <laughs> LeBunk House Buck. <laughs> I wish this douchebag go away. Jeez. Milk. So, it's milk. They have the milk bar. What about the. Tater restaurant. <laughs> Owned by well, Rabbit Inspector. Yeah, Spectre's <laughs> Taters, Taters, and uh, Taters and Gravy. Make you a man. <laughs> with Gerald, our lead cook, our lead, 
our head cook, Roman Reigns. The general manager, <laughs> general manager, Luke Gallows. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesse. Or Festus, dang it. Yes, yeah, there you go. Festus. Yeah, that's close enough. Festus is the uh, assistant manager. <laughs> didn't didn't Jesse eventually become like a pretend thug? Uh, I know he's. What, like, like his new gimmick was all like gangster type thing. Oh, he was a part of a CM Punk's uh, freaking group. I forgot what it's called. That's all I remember. No, that no, that was Festus. I'm talking Jesse, the little guy. Oh, Jesse! Dang, get those confused. I don't after, know what happened to have Jesse. They, after they broke up, he did this like gangster thing with the chains and whatnot, but it was terrible. Oh, I remember that sounded like John Cena. I don't remember that. <laughs> Word death with the basic economics. Yep. <laughs> I'm touchable, but I'm forcing you to feel me. Wait, whoa, have a seat over there. I'm like, I'm like a swollen penis. You can't beat me. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is Mr. Leahy doing in this part? <laughs> I got nothing to sell you. I kid you not. Yeah. Yeah, but looks like a freaking looks like one of those people you would find on To Catch a Predator. Yeah, yeah it does. It's we guy. Yeah, we guy again. I love how the first time he touches you like that, he stamps you, and you hear this. Doom. Yeah. The tramp stamp. That's a lot. A lot. Yeah. He didn't know what hurt his knees after doing it so many times. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Knees company. Oh. Look at him in the background. He's like, huh? What are you doing? <laughs> E-C. E-C-W. E-C-W. Do-do-do. Oh, do-do. Good doodle do. What's this Groundhog Day for sixty four? Yeah. Oh, Link, Link, I was about to say Link forgot the notes. <laughs> e C C W C W. Remember the C W network? Yes. No, oh, yeah, I remember that. One of those weird shows they used to have on there too. C W or W B network or whatever the heck it was. The W B. The W B. I used to watch SmackDown, and that was it. Oh, I was we, about to head west. Yeah, yeah, I was about to head west because that's where we're going next, but I forgot. It's a new cycle. You know what we got to do first. I forgot. Oh, going here again. So you got to find the Deku business guy again? No, you don't have to do that right now. If you don't want to. If you go into, um, if uh, you remember right, though, in each area there is a business scrub. So if you want to do that, which I highly suggest, that way you don't have to do it later, then yes. Oh, the one in the ocean. The one on the the one in the ocean is not out in the open, though. You got to kind of work to find him. I'm still looking for that tater mask. <laughs> now, would it be like a potato or a tater tot? That's a good question. Ask Becker. Tater tots are always better. Yeah. Is that yeah, it would be a tater tot. Yeah. K stands for tater. Unless, unless you got curly fries and seasoned curly fries, and those are even better. I don't know. It kind of depends small, on your tasty preference. Small seasoned curlies. Because I'm trying to watch my figure. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly. A scarecrow. The Bring a scarecrow Someone from. Does this... <laughs> Speaking of to catch a predator, this guy's calling me baby. Oh wow! Why don't you have a seat over there, Mister Crow? <laughs> How old is Link? Eighteen? No, he's not eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> want to try again? He says right here in the chat he's thirteen. No, just a role-playing chat room, dog. I don't want to be in the news, dog. Yeah, but if he picks up that master sword, he'll get older. Yeah, right. You say here in the chat room. I wanna. You, I want you to withdraw. I want you to draw your master sword. What? What do you mean by that, sir? 
Oh, we'll just talk. You know, it's talking about gameplay. Oh, yeah, you're talking about gameplay, all right. For a foreplay right here is what I'm seeing. Why is there a chicken locked up in there? <laughs> Good question. I guess they're going to eat it. <laughs> hey, opponent's back. That's right. Someone told me it's pronounced Epone. I'm like, no, it's not. Yeah, well, the person made the list. No, they didn't say that. I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alright, ter ter Terminal Inner's Field, or whatever this is called. Just run him over. Yeah. We're going to the beach. Yeah, going to the biatch. Yippee! Yay, Lake Hillia! Whoops! Whoops. Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, Lake Hillia, right? Great Bay Coast. Oh, the Green Bay Coast. I mean, Great Green Bay Plunge, or whatever Mr. Candy's finish move is called. We're not here on the Crash Bandicoot Town. Pearl <laughs> River Plunge. Oh, jeez. You're going down. You're going down. I remember Farouk told him one time, "Come out here so I can whoop your charcoal butt." <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I remember at, Wrestle at WrestleMania 13, he's like, "You stupid, dumb black," and then they cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's that? This is alright. He's drowning. Well, he help him. Drowning. Well, help him onto the Jersey Shore. <laughs> what was that? Moby Dick is frozen back but there. You can't. You can't pull him. So. <laughs> Uh. You'll have to push him. <laughs> Come on, dude, swim. Interesting fact. If you do this on the second or third day, he'll actually be farther out. Oh, well. Well, yeah, because I guess even it's been he, days. Even though, even though he shouldn't be because the water is clearly moving in. Where... Oh, huh. Maybe gameplay error? <laughs> or glitch gameplay error. Or uh, game programming glitch, whatever. There will could be. As you as you know, I'm the glitch gremlin. Yeah. Now, if you time it, this guy is actually slower than King Zora. Well. Me. 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 Huh. Well, yeah, but well, yeah, this King guy, Zora. this guy's hurt though. Yeah, Zora, King true. Zora is just yeah, a fat true. slob. <laughs> No, he's having a heat exhaustion. He's out there in the Texas heat right there in that sun. <laughs> that sun out there, that's the Mario 3 sun. Yeah. Macau. Macau. I like Macau. He plays music. Oh, I fail. Mancow's Morning Madhouse. School, school. I like school. Cool school. Say by the bell. Oh, he's got his energy back now all of a sudden. Yeah, how's it? How, what the heck? Baby, baby. What'd you do? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Music gives him energy. His music is life. Woo! Something is happening, is it now? Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, this is uh, he's Slater in fish form. <laughs> He's got kids. He's got a family. Bye bye, bye bye. Oh, that sounds familiar. Some other, somebody else does that too. Oh. And when his song yeah. is done, that music still ain't sinking <laughs> up with the way he's trying to play. He falls <laughs> over dead. I right, gotta heal the soul. Nothing happened. So much fail. Link, you suck. <laughs> He's got vagina eyes. <laughs> um, in the game, the GameCube version of this on that collector's disc that you could get had this cutscene all screwed up. 
Is that Rudo? Oh. No, in this game it's a Lulu. Ah, yeah. It's a hoo hoo? <laughs> it's a hoo, it's a wazzy, it's a woozy. I find Lulu Jeez. on find Lulu on Hulu. <laughs> Lulu from Final Fantasy X? She had some pajamas. Only Final Fantasy X, and I say seven? I don't know what I said. If there's a rock and roll heaven. It sure is. <laughs> That's not no rock to me. Whoa. Well, there you go. There's our next and final transformation. Make sure I'll pick up his face. <laughs> the Zora mask. Yep. And this mask is badass. Whoa. Yeah! <laughs> A flock of hungry seagulls. And I don't think nothing can top that. <laughs> right? He went out rocking. We'll, we'll be in mourning for the next. We'll be in mourning for the next week. <laughs> we'll be mourning all afternoon and evening. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yuck! 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 For Ronnie and Spectre, I'm Tibbs, and we'll see you next time. Adios. Let's take care. Yeah. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I am Tibbs, along with Ron Moore and Ravenous Spectre. What's up? Gr greetings and salutator yes, And it's <laughs> not Easter, unless you happen to be watching this on Easter, but we're going to be going on an egg hunt. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> yes. We're, yeah, we're about to... This is probably everyone's least favorite thing in the game that you have to do. But it does take you to one of the game's most interesting and cooler sections. Yeah, and this is cool right here. You get to swim as a Zora now. The Zora swimming is so awesome. Yeah. So is the swimming mechanics in this is pretty good because usually in some of these older games, or heck, even in some games nowadays, swimming isn't too peachy. It's kind of frustrating. <laughs> With the Zora mask on, it's great. Oh, okay, that's good then. Aha! Oh no. <laughs> More like douche. What? His head's always bobbing up and down like... <laughs> I got to deal with him enough in Oracle of Ages. Hey, th that's what happened to McVicker after he retired as principal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Get the rest of these maps so we don't have to deal with him again. <laughs> this is Revenant Spectre's favorite character. Oh yeah, man, I have me a Tingle costume in my closet. Yeah, he went at d d no tips. Did you go as Tingle for Halloween last year? <laughs> oh my God, I need to see pictures of that. Well, in Breath of the Wild, I do have the Tingle armor, if that counts. Oh man. Oh Lordy. Imagine. I see that too. I wonder how embarrassed Ganon must be to be defeated by someone wearing a Tingle outfit. <laughs> I forget what its special properties are. Skip Rogers' ability to, to make a to have a map on Mackley in his head. <laughs> All right, the, the, there you go. The Skip Rogers' tingle, everyone. You heard it here. Yep. Not a bing, not a boom. That would explain a lot about him. All right? Yeah. <laughs> now, I got to explain what's happening here. Basically, the the conflict is in, in the Zora area. What? What's been happening there is the singer of the Indiegogo, is the band that's supposed to perform at the carnival, has lost her voice. And the reason she's lost her voice is because her eggs have gone missing. If I remember right, there's seven of them, and we have to get them back. Lego my ego fail. <laughs> and the Ouch. first place we're going to we'll have some familiar faces if you've played Ocarina of Time. Well, all the faces are f familiar in this game because it's like same models from Ocarina of Time. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Exactly. I love the music in this place. Oh yes, me too. The Gerudo Fortress, or or. Yeah. They're pirates in this one, basically. As if the Gerudos yeah. couldn't get any cooler. They're freaking pirates. 
But what is this? What this ain't the girl of fortress? What's the name for it in this game? Well, it still is a fortress. Pirate's fortress. Oh, pirate or pirate's bay? Is that what it's called? No, it's not pirate's bay. I thought it was called something different. They didn't show the name right there. What the heck? It's pirate's fortress. I'm telling you, man. But why didn't they show it? That's what I'm confused about. <laughs> it's a glitch. Yes. It's a glitch. In the stone mask, because with the stone mask, they can't see you. How can they not see with the stone mask? Well, you, c can you see Link right there? No, you can't. Right? <laughs> I can. <laughs> no, but when you get in front of them, they I don't know how, that's just uh, logically doesn't make sense, I guess. Well, who cares about logic? No logic? Yeah. To quote AVGN, logic is for pussies. Yeah. That <laughs> fail. Oh. Yeah, we gotta sneak into the place. I believe, I think three eggs are here. It's either three or four. Don't make any embarrassing mistakes or end up with egg on your face. But I'm the tiss. Don't mess up or your eggs be scrambled. <laughs> That's nasty. Move on for biscuits and gravy. We got egg. Yeah. That's right. What about bacon and mashed taters? Yep. Ba bacon in your taters. Ooh, oh, oh, Super Mario World cage now. I always wonder why the blocks in this game have the mask on them. It's almost as if the Skull Kid, like, just put that block there to impede your progress. Yeah. He'll never get over this. <laughs> yeah, no iron boots needed here, folks. Right. Purple fishies. Yep. That's one thing. In this version, anyway, of Majora's Mask, there is no fishing hole, but in, there is in the 3DS version. Man, a maze is... I hate mazes. Yeah, the, like, the, the, the waterway here. Yeah, mazes are tough enough, and now water maze? Jeez. That reminds me of the water temple here. Oh, no. Well, soon, Ronnie. Very soon. Uh. Whoa! Yes. Ouch! As a yes, as a Zora, you can electrify yourself. Oh, cool. How that doesn't kill you, I don't know, but the most electrifying fish in video games. That's right. <laughs> if you smell what the link is cooking, uh, yep. smells so kind of fishy to me. Yeah. <laughs> dun dun ECW. Dun, 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 dun. I remember I had the Majora's Mask Player's Guide. I th yeah, I think I had it when uh, when I was playing this game, and uh, and I just remember this part: the whole Grudel Fortress thing, and trying to avoid getting caught. And yeah, it was a pretty cool part of the game. Yeah, I had uh, the old uh, Nintendo Power Player's Guide. I used to love looking, even for games I wasn't interested in, just like looking at the maps and all that stuff. As you can see, there is a piece of heart in here. Give you something to do while you're on your way. How are we gonna get it? Ah. Put my face off. <laughs> Watch out, Link will blow you away. <laughs> what the heck kind of mask is that? Remember the blast mask from a few parts yeah. back? Oh, yeah, okay. But wait, it looked like Link didn't have it on there. It looked like he just had his face burnt like Kane. <laughs> That's gotta be Kane with his pizza well, face. It yeah. got burned. To be fair, if you were wearing a mask that blew up, your face would be a little charred, too. Yeah. But, wait, but I thought he still had it. I guess he must have taken it off after that or something. Just, I thought it was a glitch. How's it? Hit this switch. If I can hit it. 
Come on, hit the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Just don't put it down in your dock too fast. Yeah. Because people don't know how to handle electronics and then want to blame Nintendo for it. Yeah. Yeah, it hasn't happened to me either. It's just the fact that, you know, I just don't, I don't get it. It's like, it's an electronic. You need to be gentle with it. You just gently set it down in the dock and everything. So I have not had that problem. I think some people are just taking their switches and slamming them down inside of their, inside of the uh, the dock there. Like it's supposed to be, you know, shatterproof or something. I, I, don't know. I think, I think the only, the only flaw I think with the design a little bit is the back of it. If you're just holding it is a little slick. It's easy to, it slides, your fingers slide on it a little too easily. But other than that, I think the design of the system is pretty much perfect. Indeed. They need to get good in how they handle the Switch. That's precisely right. <laughs> get bigger hands to get good to handle stuff. Special electronics. Product. Take time with the wounded hand. If you have a wounded hand, you won't be able to hold the Switch right. You're slamming in your dock too hard and then you'll be injured. Used to be. Used to buy. That was too thick. Used to buy. Used to buy. This is Great Bay, Pirates Bay, yeah. whatever it's called. Yeah, I was just thinking Great of Bay. Bay. Yeah. The Green Bay Plunge from Mr. Candy. I forgot what it was called. Uh, Pearl River Plunge. Pearl River Plunge. <laughs> no. I'm oh, always yeah. having to remind you of that. They have. A, they didn't have a, a Green Bay something. No, I no. I'm, I'm talking about Mr. Candy. He had the Green Bay Plunge off the middle of turnbuckle. He did that to Hornswoggle WrestleMania off the ladder. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a green. Yeah, it was the Green Bay plunge. Yeah, a Green Bay something or whatever. But yeah, a Pearl River plunge. Well, if you put both of those moves up against one another, I wonder which one would win out. Uh, yeah, I'm, I think the Green Bay plunge might hurt more because you're going off the middle or top turnbuckle. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably more you get against some ice. Ahmed would get injured halfway through doing it. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> he would. He would botch it. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, speaking of wish tips, I do have a, I do have a Sonic Mania on my wish list. I'll probably end up getting it at uh, at some point because from what I've seen, it seems like it's pretty cool. Oh, it's so good. I just uh, I I was trying to pick today exactly what I was going to pick up, and I ended up getting Ages of Mayhem. So I've been having fun with that. But uh, yeah, I got it on my wish list though, so I'll have it at some point. Are you women blind? You can't see them. <clears throat> Yeah, he's John Cena. You can't see him. Yeah, that's a John Cena mask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a John Cena mask. You run to John Cena in this game, he gives that to you. And it has a, that, that John Cena face with that smile. No matter what's going on, he still sells that goofy smile. <laughs> and that's the mask. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody made a mod or something like that for a mask in the in this game. Because yeah. people are always making mods for older games. Yeah. <laughs> This I think Cena. Like, like hack this game, you can do some crazy stuff with the coding. I feel like, yeah. kind of feels like I'm playing Goldeneye right here with the invincibility mode, invisibility mode activated. Excuse me, who's playing? No, I <laughs> <laughs> no, it says like it, it feels like I'm playing like, but watching this it reminds me of my LP when I had so much fun with those cheats. Yeah, Goldeneye's awesome. Whoa. Oh, I love this part. That's those big Asian hornets. Yep. The one that stings you and melts your skin from the venom or something like that? Yeah, and it, and it activates other hornets to come after you. Holy creepy. Did you find the red? I picture these Garudos having deep man voices. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Like Nicole Bass or something. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> That's exactly right. Or like those Amazons from Futurama. Snoo Snoo! Yeah. I remember when she first appeared at WrestleMania 15, I had no idea who she was. Me either. And someone said, for the Howard Stern Show, I'm like, I don't watch that either. I'm like, who is this? I When I first saw her, I didn't know if she was a man or a woman. or I, uh, I didn't know what in the world she was. <clears throat> well, Jim Cornette can tell you whose idea that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This one, man, I'm sure. We know, we know that Nicole Bass had more balls than Russo did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he'd say that. Understood. That mask looks funny. Aww. 
dragon cloud. <laughs> Don't let it dragon cloud your best judgment. Dang it. Ah, uh, close. The nose are gone. Now, Stray, I always wondered, strange masked one, are they talking about the skull kid? Yeah, I, they gotta be. So, like, it, it makes me wonder, like, when he passed through and caused all this stuff to happen, what did he say to them? Right. Yeah, that is true. Was he trying to start a war between the Zoras and the Gerudos or something? Yeah. Jeez, thanks for telling me. Yeah, these are these are rough, tough pirates, but they're scared of bees. Well, I don't blame them. Look at the size of those hornets. Indeed. Hey, don't run with not your swords out. Jeez. Yeah. Don't yeah, don't run with swords. Just like you don't run with scissors. That's right. yeah, with scissors, don't have Sid Vicious be near any scissors anyway. <laughs> but I like that word I yanked back out. We're running with scissors. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Sipping, some, sipping out some scissors. Oh, Ronnie, what do you expect? He's only half the man that you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. He was using those scissors. He cut himself down a bit. That, that should have been Sid's interest music. I'm half the man I used to be. With half the brain you are. <laughs> with uh, half the, the brain. Bobby the brain fell. Wait a minute. <laughs> The hook shot. Nice. Looks like That's a little cool. scorpion stinger. Yeah, it does. Get over here! <laughs> Link should be able to use it like that. That'd be great. Yep. This is so, how we get to the eggs in this. Except place. Link doesn't know English or know how to use words, except for making a lot of noise. So he'd probably just say, ah, ah, and then just yank the Yeah. Like, ah, ah. yeah exactly. And when you when you when you do a fatality on him, like. Ah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it almost sounds like he's saying shit. Or shit. He probably did have to censor it in the American version. <laughs> oh, well, I, I hate those things. No, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> that was good timing. We got a message from Skip <laughs> saying, "Use your dang gun map that you bought from for me. I mean, uh, Dingle." <laughs> they see first Zora egg. I told you not to use my secret words, but you're using them anyway. Yeah. Da, e easy da. God, it still makes you wonder where Link carries all this stuff. Right. <sighs> In his bottomless pouch that he has hidden inside of his uh, underwear. But now I've he seen... actually has, has a living egg in there. I've seen a what picture one time, or I've seen a several pictures of someone drew of him carrying a bunch of items with him and all dragging behind him and in front of him. He's like in a pile trying to carry all of them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's just like kind of how it is in some JRPGs. You you can have a whole lot of weapons and items in your inventory, and you're like, I know I have a party of people here that are carrying all this stuff, but how are they really carrying all of this stuff? Because there's only so many of them, and they only have so many pockets, I'm sure. I thought you were going to say, kind of like with JR, <laughs> when you said JRPGs. Oh, yeah, JRPGs. <laughs> J JR. Imagine no, JR and the King, 1998 version of JR and the King doing a Let's Play on YouTube. Oh, that would be hilarious. I guess it would depend, it would depend on what game they're commentating over. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they can make it entertaining nonetheless. Speaking of which... Someone's about to call JR. Yeah, yeah, speaking of which, man, like commentary nowadays is so scripted and so boring. There's nothing that's exciting about it at all. Old school commentating was a way to go back back in the 90s and late 90s, maybe early 2000s, but nothing like what it used oh to be. It's just my. so stilted. Yeah, yeah, yeah Wait, yeah, wait exactly. a minute. Speaking of, oh my, wait, wait, JR, how can she see him? How can she still see with that mask, JR? That is true. Oh, wait a minute. She, blinded him. she, blinded him. she disappeared. What? That'd yeah, how, how, could, how could she see him? That would be funny if there was a glitch or something where she wouldn't be able to see you could get a free hit off of her before she would try to start attacking you. Yeah. That would be cool. Just like it was with Ganon in uh, Link to the Past. You can't fool me, <laughs> John Cena. 
Yeah, just like in Length of the Past, you hit Ganon before the battle starts. I never knew that until I seen that on YouTube. I'm like, what? <laughs> what a cheap shot, JR! He's trying to destroy Hyrule King. Does it matter? Well, I mean, I'm just saying. It's a, you know, it's a cheap shot still. If he's such a hero and a good guy, why don't he lead by example and wait till the fight starts? Well, there's no referee, King. What do you expect to happen? That's something That's something Jesse Ventura would, would have said to Gorilla. Yeah. Oh, that was a cheap shot, Gorilla. Now you're going to stand there or sit there with all your bananas inside of you and tell me that that wasn't a cheap shot, Gorilla. No, well, Jess, he's trying to save the world, Jess. Like Bobby Heenan would say something like that, too. Well, not that I condone that, but, I mean, you know, it is a cheap shot. But yeah, That's not fair to Flair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like when Bobby Heenan, it seemed like he would kind of side with NWO, but he really wasn't with NWO. But he would say, well, I'm just trying to be fair. I mean, you can't accuse Nate Patrick of wrongdoing. And Shivani goes, Brain, why don't you act like you're on our side? Oh, I am. I'm just trying to be fair and nice. And I heard that when he kind of gave away Hogan's turn at Bash at the Beach, but he's like, whose side is he on? That when they came, Bischoff apparently was pissed. I, I, I watched that live, and I heard Bobby Heenan say that live. And I was thinking the same thing he was, because that's that was Bobby Heenan's uh, I don't know, what do you call it, moniker? He hated Hogan, so he was always in a doubt, Hogan. Yeah, but whose side is he on? I guess Bischoff was really ticked off that he gave it away, though. Yeah, but I mean, I I actually saw it coming anyway. I think a lot of people did, because you saw Hogan come down the aisle. They were looking for that next guy to come down the aisle, and then it's Hogan. He's like, no. I love how excited Dusty Rhodes was at first. Go get him, baby! Yeah, and Dusty Rhodes said, oh, What are you talking about, Brain? Bobby, and then Hogan turns heel. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and Brain goes, I've been, I've been telling you guys for years, Hogan sucks. <laughs> Egg number, uh, I lost count. Was that three, two? Collecting them eggs, three, I think. Ah, so there's four to collect. Yep. Well, seven in total. Four at beer and three at Pinnacle Rock. Ah, okay. There's your target audience. Yeah. I'm trying to remember where the last one is. This place can be a little confusing. It does take take a linear path, but if you deviate from that path at all, you can get lost. This kind of reminds me of Gaul Spaceport from Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Just the way the, I guess the ground and, uh, yeah, the, I guess the design, certain aspect of it. I was more of a Rogue Squadron fan. I'm not even a Star Wars fan. I just love Shadows of the Empire. It's a good game. <clears throat> Whoa, there he is. He's awake. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> he, almost pulled, he almost pulled a Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> or a Danny. Technical difficulties. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to grab onto the metal? I'm pretty oh. sure there's a spot here where I can hook up to it. I know there's one part here where you have to hook up to the buzz. See, this is why I got the stone mask first. You can shoot him with arrow and knock him out, but it's much easier to do this. ECW. Dun, dun. This could be the great Kali's interest music. <laughs> oh, Kali. What's his finishing move? It's called the Kali Flower. Oh, ouch. Just killed her. <laughs> or maybe we'll knock her out. That's right. Oh, no. Link does not care. All right, Here yeah. No folks give it. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, Nabaru? Oh. Oh, oh yeah. she's what a blue blood. Punch.
If Jinchu was in his commentary bath, they'd be like, no, it's not going to end here. It's going to end in the kitchen. Ooh. Here's the final egg in this section, along with what appears to be two prehistoric piranha. Oh, jeez. That's a spinal's fish. I saw Piranha 3D. I know what happens. <laughs> I've only seen clips of that movie. It just seemed too over the top stupid. The scene at the end when the piranha attack everyone in the water is one of the best gore scenes of this century. It's really freaking cool. Man, that, that's shocking. <laughs> yeah. What a shocking turn of events, King! Ah! And I believe that is it. We got the heart piece, we got the hook shot, and we got the four eggs. I believe that's it for here. Really? Did you have to get the heart piece? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he would have fell off in the water, but I guess not. Yeah. I love how they just throw him out like that. Yeah, Tib's meant That's to get right. caught so he can get out of here quicker. Yeah. Move. Unfortunately, even if you manage to get every single bottle in the game, there's one. There's more eggs than there's possible bottles. So you have to turn these in before you can get the rest well, of them. You got caught again. Yeah, it's the easy way to get out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I thought, oh, I, got, I thought, like, I thought I caught you and then threw you back somehow from the top into the, the fortress again. I'm like, what? I just, I, I can picture them, like, grabbing him by the scruff of his neck and throwing him out the window. Yeah. <laughs> back at Green Bay Plunge. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah. Doom, 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 doom. Where are you going, Nile? <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. That's right. To everybody. Back to the laboratory. Which to everyone but yourself. Laboratory. Yeah, it looks a lot bigger on the inside than it does on the outside. That's yeah. what she said. <laughs> well, that's what he said. Marine <laughs> Marine Research Lab. Hey, objects in the mirror, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Bora Hora Boratory. Imagine there being a brothel called the Bohoratory or something like that. Jeez. It'd be like a brothel, but it'd be like yeah. having a really big science yeah. uh, getting around it. I, <laughs> I pity the fool who has crooked teeth. <laughs> Freaking ugly. <laughs> Guy with all Schwarzenegger's voice. <laughs> His dead gun jaw is just loose. It's like just hanging on by the flesh. It's not even connected to his freaking jaw. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, just look at his face. It's just like a sucking in skull. I'm not even reading what he's saying. Just see his face. <laughs> <laughs> So if you get his mask, what we call the ugly mask? Or it's called the Fubar mask. Oh yeah, you gotta dump the eggs in here. Yeah. This Man, that was a big egg to go through such a little grate. That's what she said. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> Oh, that was a process. When, when they come out of the bottle, they're freaking huge compared to how big the bottle is. Well, anything you fit in the bottle, remember the Deku Princess? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's freaking Papa Shango music. <laughs> Be careful, I'm about to put a curse on you. Let's yeah. see the Oh, dang, I got tar coming from my forehead now. Good God, King, what's wrong with Delta Warrior? <laughs> Alright, four down, three to go. <laughs> I remember this one fan was arguing with Paul Ondor from the front row at a Clash of the Champions. And he goes, come on, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. And the guy had like messed up teeth. And then Bobby Heenan goes, you're not going to the dentist either. <laughs> hmm. 
All right, Great Bay yeah, Coast. Yeah, those big spires in the background over there is Pinnacle Rock. That's where we will be going momentarily. Hmm. But first, do you remember that picture I took? Well, it's actually not for Link's personal use. It's for someone else's. Ah. That building right there is the other spider house. Oh, boy. Fisherman's Hut. Where's Link's priceless face expression? <laughs> Spectre has no idea what we're talking about. The home improvement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, so I, like noises Nikita and I were at a baseball game not that long. There was a guy sitting behind us that kept doing that every five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know Sloth was in this game. He got Toxic Seahorse for Mega Man X3. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I, for, I forgot that I, I needed this thing to get into Pinnacle Rock. That's right. Yeah. Wait. I mean, if you know the path, I'm not sure if you can make it happen or not, or if you absolutely need this thing to guide you. I wish Tingle would, Tingle's balloon would just pop, he'd just fall into the water and drown. <laughs> Whoa. All right, Joey. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, who who just sent you a message, uh, Spectre? Mm, nobody. I think Skip did. He heard you. <laughs> I don't know. It might have been my phone. Probably is my phone. Yeah, I got it. Shit, I'm gonna turn this down. <laughs> the other day, watching Mega Man Eight, I kept hearing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone posted a comment saying, "You idiots need to learn how to edit more professionally. The background noise is stupid." You should see your face is stupid. <laughs> no, I was kidding. no one said that. I can imagine someone saying that though. You guys need to turn off your notification sounds on your phone, and which yeah. I agree, I agree with. But I wouldn't like <laughs> troll somebody because of that. <laughs> Stuff happens sometimes. Yeah. Well, if you guys professional review, it, wait, who said we're professional? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're not getting paid for this. <laughs> yeah, this is just two K. We're not professional. I've been doing this over a year. I've yet to see my first dollar. Yeah. Did I say over? I meant almost. Yeah. Almost an over full year. Over and under a year. Oh, don't tell me you gotta go back to the southern swamp. Where did he go? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which way did he go, boss? Which way did he go? Remember Shane McMahon used to say that thing about the big show? Which way did he go? Which way did he go? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I just don't Need like the Southern water, Swamp. Yeah. Might run the Swamp Thing. A ghetto Swamp Thing, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing? <laughs> swamp thing, dun 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 dun. You make my That's heart sing. Oh wait. Swamp thing. Yeah. Um, they have some porno music in the background. The battle of the yeah. things. The battle of the things. Wild thing. The battle of the things. <laughs> Referee by Jimmy Wang Yang. No, Phil. No, <laughs> the battle of the thing is the Zodiac versus the Mummy. <laughs> I named my penis a swamp thing because it's a thing and it looks swampy. Woo, I'm swamped. That didn't work. <laughs> We're having a lot of fails with the jokes tonight. Yeah. What else oh, is new? Well, we got a new comment. <laughs> as, new. We got a new comment as if as we are recording this. You guys are idiots with your fail joke. Jay Leno jokes. Get out of here. <laughs> I wish I had Jay Leno's money. All right, yeah. <laughs> If, if I can make a lot of money making terrible jokes, I do it all the time. Well, wait, I do. I make terrible puns. Where's my money? Come on. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I need to start a Patreon, advertise it more, and cram it down people's throats and say, please, comment, favorite, rate, subscribe. Here's a Patreon link five times across the video. 
for all you Patreon backers, you get my video a day early. Yeah, right. And I'm, I'm going to put a Patreon on wall, and it's going to be huge. Speaking of which, Wrestling With Regret, I don't know if either of you watch him, but he's doing a new video this week on the Zach Gowan uh, in WWE. No, I got to yeah, watch I'm, that. Yeah, I'm subscribed to him. I watch some of his stuff, even some of his live streams of different wrestling games. Whoa. Yeah, we did all this for Jeff's favorite thing. Oh, man. Dang it, should have had him in this part. Oh, really, guys? Really? <laughs> yeah, they make you go out of your way for this one. Yeah. Ah, uh, Scarecrow song. Yes, bye bye. The Heath Slater Crow. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. He's got a family. He's got kids. Yeah. I got kids. Yeah, I was there live when him and Rhino unfortunately lost the tag team titles. Like, no, he's got kids. Oh crap! That wasn't that long ago. Yeah, TLC. Yeah. That was when James Ellsworth turned heel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> James Ellsworth. Yeah, I was standing there. Why is that? What? No, what? Oh. History. Hey, you know, yeah, speaking of him, I think he was actually like a legit wrestler in the indies, but now they're just making him out to be a complete joke. Well, I mean, good for well, him. At least he's, I mean. He did make history by being the first man to win a woman's Money in the Bank match. Yeah. Yep, there you go. And But don't forget, Harvey Wolfman is a first male women's champion mm -hmm. that's true and then of course uh was it santina oh jeez. did he win the woman's title or just that battle royal i don't remember that yeah, battle royal oh yeah now you gotta take the seahorse home yep yeah because what's happening is that this mistiness is here and if you try to just take a straight path it'll kick you right out so you oh. gotta follow the path that this takes you. Again, I'm not sure if you 100% need it or if you can, if you have the path memorized, do it. Follow the path. This music is this rendition of this track is creepy. Yes, it is. I want the heavy metal version of it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take, I'll take that. I will take that. I'm gonna rock that out with my cock out all day long. Jeez. Well, the indie go go's aren't hardcore metal, I, I thought, think. I thought that's what you were doing now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, yeah, good thing the camera isn't on. They say I'm cocky, and I say what? <laughs> yeah, that kid rock song. Whoa, it's, the, uh, it's that big eel from Mario 64. That thing scared the piss out of me when I, dude. I'm not kidding you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it freaked me out so bad. I ran all the way back to the surface. I'm like, do I really have to go down? Yeah. Yep, I had to. Except you can kill these ones. Yep. I yep. I yep. 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 A lot of history. Oh. A lot of history in that hole. Yep. Oh, it swallowed you. Oh, wait. Pwned. Yeah, there's one right there. Da -da -da -da. Makes a big deal out of it every time. Yeah. You know those old movies where husbands go, Honey, I'll give you the moon. I don't know if they want this moon. <laughs> <laughs> unless unless it's filing for divorce. I'll give you the moon, honey. Here's the, the Majora's Mask moon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the evil Die! Moon. <laughs> yeah, man, there's, also, there's also a practical reason for killing all these things. Other than just getting the eggs. Yeah, like I said, this is a, a lot of the, the people that speed run this game, this is the part of the game they hate the most because there's there's no other way around it. You have to get all these eggs. Yeah. 
What is the speed run record without cheats or glitches? Uh, the um, I've seen one a hundred percent with no glitches was about five hours and something, maybe six. Jeez, the fastest I've ever man. seen with with glitches was about an hour fifty something. Ah, okay. Yeah, Swordless Link on here on YouTube. I freaking love that guy. He does all those glitch runs, and he did a series in this game. There's some really crazy stuff you can do. Yeah. I just realized I'm wearing my uh, Breath of the Wild Zilla shirt that I got out of a loot grade uh, a few months back, and here we are doing commentary on this other game. I am wearing a Mega Man 2 Robot Master shirt. Nice! I still got that. As you see my Facebook profile pic. Yes. What are you wearing, Ronnie? Wow, chicka, wow, wow. My uh, <laughs> job shirt. <laughs> there we go. That's sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the shirt you do jobs in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm a jobber. My, my job said, if you're doing YouTube videos, you need to promote our job. So, yeah, check out Old Chicago, Waco. Ooh. That's confusing. Wait, Chicago or Waco? Where do you live at? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Where are they? Jeff, I'm not Chicago, Ronnie. Mr. I'm from Texas. Yeehaw, I'm from Texas. Yeah. That's a great theme restaurant, Ronnie. Old Waco, and it could look just like the French Davidians. <laughs> oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Koresh. Check out our local restaurants here in Waco, Texas. <laughs> now, people are going to post a comment. Uh, yeah, right, people the post comments on our videos. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Ronnie, were you in the compound with the guy? Yes, I was, and I'm going to start a new generation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you've reunited. Uh, yeah. yeah, you reunited the seahorses. By, by killing all those snakes, it reunites these two, and they make a heart. Oh, oh isn't that precious? Jeff would throw up by now. Really? Really? A heart piece, and then they make a heart. <sighs> Go to sleep, Jeff. You know what? I'd rather do it. And he has nightmares about heart pieces thanks to us. And he wakes up pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Shut through the heart. And you're to blame. How do you give no heart blame? Down, 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 down. Copyright strike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Copyright strike to the heart. And you choose to blame. Oh, fail. Yeah, never blame. Stinks, love stinks. <laughs> yeah. All right, now so we can turn these babies in. Finally. It's not time. At the Great Bank House, we got some fishes over here. A We're live at the Great Bay Coliseum. Here in Termina, I'm JR, alongside Jared the King Lawler. And tonight we're going to see the Zoras, Zora Link, take on the enemies of the Great Bay King. Look at that. It literally, ouch. It literally took all day to do that. The Zora Link yeah. coming from uh, Zora University, uh, quarterback. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Former synchronized <laughs> swimmer from uh, Great Bay <laughs> Coast University. <laughs> Great Bay High School. Oh, Play for the Termina Chargers. <laughs> Termina Chargers. Get it, get it, get it. Because yes. Chargers electrified Chargers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he played former uh, also uh, swimmer from the Termina Dolphins. Link looks so cute there. Like, when do I use this? How are his feet now falling through those bars? Right? Because he's barred from ringside, Phil. Barred from ringside! Yeah. <laughs> No hose barred. That was a good movie. I, I liked it for what it was, being a Hogan and wrestling fan, the eighties nostalgia. Yeah. But I want to see Body Slam. That's the one I haven't seen forever. I thought it was a Rainier Rumble. Roddy Piper, Ric Flair makes a cameo appearance. Captain Lou Albano is one of the bad guys. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, hey, Spectre's looking it up right now. If you guys Yeah, I am. I'm checking it out. If you guys like this Captain My Jaws detached guy here, wait till you see what he's about to do. 
Ooh, tadpoles. Oh, man. Tadpole Zoras? Zoras come from tadpoles? I reckon that makes sense. Are they going to do a dance? They're shimmy and shaking. It's interesting, because <laughs> they, they are here to teach you a song. Oh, nice. This They're is like how little... we get into the third dungeon. So are sperm cells, teaching you how to play a song. <laughs> Be a fun way to learn sex education. Show kids. Yeah, kids. Show, show, exactly. Show middle, middle schoolers this. <laughs> exactly. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. The new wave bossa nova. Bossa nova? Uh, Chevy nova? Mm. Excellent! Oh, 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 <laughs> whoops. I forgot. Uh, what happened? <laughs> you have to be a Zora to do this. Oh, no. yeah. Play the guitar! There we go. Hmm. CW? P picky little bastards. Yeah. They were just born. Look at this guy. Look, he's pitching a fit. <laughs> <laughs> like Joel Gertner. He's shaking your tail feathers. Yeah. Invigorates singing voices. Mm -hmm. I hear singing voices in my head. <laughs> they sound like Zora swimming in my head. They talk to me. But I don't understand the way fish talk because I don't know the language because I speak English. <laughs> Dude, you're way too excited, man. Right, yeah. It's just like Joe Gertner used to do in ECW, jumping up and down with his hands, waving like that. <laughs> <laughs> Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, thanks for bearing with us. If you're, st if you're still here, oh, God bless you. Yeah. Yes. And Ronnie and Tibbs. Yeah. Later, taters. If you're still here, God bless you and take care. Yep. Bye bye, dear, my taters. Bye bye, my taters. <laughs>
Larry the Cable Guy. Blake is gonna get her done today. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, what's that noise? Who's scratching her butt? Yeah, exactly. Who's doing that? Somebody, somebody, somebody needs to take a shower. Yeah. It's oh. ironic that we're, uh, we're about to break the illusion here, I guess, but it's ironic we're recording this today. In case you're watching this in the future, we're playing a game where the main focus is a moon because we are actually recording this on the day of the big solar eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> or the half ass or the half ass eclipse from where I live at. Exactly. Well, we got really techno there with the way that the sound's coming through. The sun disappeared a little bit over here. Very little, though. Not enough to really tell. Black hole, sun, won't you come? <laughs> yeah, no, it was a black hole song. No, I heard somebody, a lot of people were requesting a song called Eclipse. Some, some sort of old old song, old love song or something about the eclipse of the sun. or I forgot what the heck it was called. There's a Pink Floyd song called Eclipse. Brody, you're really sounding robotic. I don't know what's up with you, your audio. Yeah, you're in front of the robot. Special guest, Rob the Robot. Yeah, uh, Roddy the Robot. No, uh, dang, I mean, I don't know. Uh, it seems like it's coming through all right now. Well, I was got through doing the Mega Man 8 LP, a bunch of robots and stuff. It'll probably end up being robotic. <laughs> and I heard Quite what possible. you said about me. I actually was the voice of Duo, just so you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was kind of playing a game while I was watching it, so I heard my name. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, what, what was that? The ears perk up like a dog. What? And, ooh, he's talking about me? That happened to me before when Bear and J-Man did a video on J-Man's channel called uh, Let's Let's Laugh Out or Let's Play Slam City. And uh, I heard my name mentioned. like, what? And I, and I had to ask him about it because I didn't even get the reference. I know it's like when, when you did that video thanking all of your subscribers and stuff. Nikita was here watching with me, and when you said Mike from Facebook, I was like, oh my god, I got mentioned in a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, there's a warm, fuzzy feeling. I remember getting shout-outs from people that I liked back then. I was like, oh, cool. How, how many spiders are in here again? I forgot. 30. Ah. Uh. And, they're, and they're everywhere. You really have to listen for them, because very few of them are in plain sight in this place. In plain sight. I remember that TV show. I haven't either. I thought it was a movie or something. No, um, a TV show. In plain sight. Four seasons from 2008 to 2012, I think. I don't know her name, but she played in uh, Dickie Roberts' former child star as the mo the mother of those two kids and. Yeah, I didn't really watch much of it, but some of the episodes I watched at first on the first season seemed pretty cool. Whoa, someone's on their Facebook Messenger. The notification I have for mine now is like, what? Yeah, that's not Danny this time unless he's in the shadows in this commentary. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, Stat Childs. Ooh. And someone's on their Facebook. Meanwhile, Enzo Amore is suspended above this table. <laughs> oh, jeez. What was the point of that, of escaping the shark get cage it. just to get, get knocked out? Lube. What? Uh, you can't teach that. Spectre, I, w I was watching, um, I think it was Brian Zane's SummerSlam review, because I know how much you like the Jinder Mahal experiment because it's different and how you hate that Brock is still a champion because he's never around while well, Brian's like I know some people complain that Brock's never on TV and that we probably won't see him again till next year or something but answer me this which title do you care about more a good point which title do I care about more honestly WWE isn't giving me any reason to care about any of the titles to be quite honest <laughs> There you go. Uh, there's there's my there's my answer to that. Because <laughs> at, at least the <laughs> WWE, so I was gonna say at least the WWE Championship has lineage to it. It's so weird though, because you got one guy who still feels like a mid carder, and <clears throat> if you look at the end of uh, last night's match, they recycled the same finish from another match, 
And then with Brock, he's never around. They don't even make an attempt to have, like, interview him or, like, give him little vignettes or anything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I just thought it was kind of really stupid last night how it's like, oh, Braun goes and puts Brock through two tables. Oh, my God, we got to get the paramedics out there. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me, man? Are you seriously kidding me? Oh, let's get the quote-unquote beast Brock Lesnar onto the stretcher, wheel him backstage, have Paul Heyman give him a hand job to wake him up so he can get all beast mode again and run back out there and start <laughs> fighting the guys. When in reality, the real athletes were out there duking it out, actually putting on a wrestling match. Meanwhile, Brock is backstage probably sipping on a margarita or whatever. Like, should I go out there now and fight him? Do you think I should go and take the win? Yeah, I was just like, it's such BS, man. I, I couldn't believe it. That's one reason why I said Brock just doesn't belong in wrestling anymore. His little pea-headed ass needs to go back to MMA or wherever else he needs to go. Because, you know, every single week he's just sitting there in one of his vacation homes or whatever watching Raw or SmackDown when he should be on the show. I just think it's ridiculous to even have Brock constantly be the champion like this. They need to have somebody who's going to be on the show every week to be there to defend it or do whatever with it. They just It's like they don't even care about their own championship. It's ridiculous. Once you say what you really feel, how you really feel, he needs to get good. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Because yeah, the way he – are like, Brock was an NCAA <laughs> champion for your information. I was yeah. like, I don't care. It, you know, NCAA doesn't mean anything to me when it comes to dealing with pro wrestling because the fact of the matter is his pro wrestling skills nowadays aren't jack squat to what they used to be back then. You know, he was, he was, actually, he was actually – I thought he was a good wrestler back in the day. But nowadays, nah. It's just he. If he was on, if he was on the show week after week, he could really start to perfect his wrestling skills and actually have wrestling matches week after week. But that doesn't happen. So he starts to get like like uh, Dwayne Johnson, as I call him. Now, I don't call him The Rock anymore since he's not in wrestling anymore. But Dwayne Johnson, when he was fighting against John Cena, for example, they went out there and had their little their little once in a lifetime or actually two in a lifetime match when they had him in WrestleMania. Got out there, he was fighting Cena. Rock was sweating up a storm. I'm like, I ain't never seen Rock like that before. And the reason is because he hadn't trained himself to actually be in the wrestling business week after week like he used to be. He looked like he was about to pass out. He was just sweating up a storm so bad. You know, you really have to, and you have to acclimate yourself to being in pro wrestling and actually wrestle week after week. If you're doing it once in a blue moon, you're probably going to suck. <laughs> yeah, he, he was sweating up a Lance Storm. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Would, would you would you believe me if I told you I got up and took a piss and then came back? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, me, me, well, and, me and Spectre have been talking for a while about maybe doing a wrestling podcast soon, but I think we just had it. <laughs> well, at least uh, I, was, I was honestly thinking about making a YouTube video about it. I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and talk about SummerSlam, but we're only going to talk about one match because there was only one match that I thought that even mattered last night, and that was the main event. And I was gonna, I was gonna do a little rant about that, but I, I didn't bother to do it last night or today, really, because I was like, eh. I was doing a stream last night and pretty much gave my two cents on it, so I went ahead and said I'm not even gonna bother with it. The title of this vid should be, "Let's talk about SummerSlam with the Jorah's mask in the background." <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tibbs, when you said, "Would you believe me if I took a league?" I thought you were talking about during the Ray Norton match. <laughs> like you took a league, you come back, it's over. Like what? That's like, yeah, exactly. No, I, 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 I did like it though. Watching, um, I just got done watching what culture wrestling's like reaction vid where they sit down and watch and take shots and all that stuff. And at Pachiti got up, but at the beginning of that match, they're like, "Come back, Adam, come back." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually like that though because I thought it was funny because Rusev like just ambushed him, the bell rang, and then out, out of nowhere, classic Randy Orton, Viper, RKO, and that's it. I was like, ha, ha, ha. Exactly. All right, so what number are you at right here, Tibbs? Well, if you look at the low left-hand corner Oh, wait, screen, I see it. Never two, mind. and then there's a five. My bad. I, I, I'm so used to just <laughs> rupees being over there. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> so a two and a five. So what are you saying you have? I'm saying I have 52. Oh, wait. Oh, actually 52. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our game is real with this. Yeah, um, yeah, it's great to be here back in the ST2K. <laughs> ECW? <laughs> it's not like you're choking on something there. <laughs> Choking on some taters. <laughs> 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 
Well, speaking of Choate, Baron Corbett? No, I don't know. Never mind. Oh, that was funny. He freaking lost his freaking money in the bank match. That was freaking hilarious. Didn't yeah. even get didn't even get a chance to win the title. I was like, that was a wasted, squandered opportunity if I ever saw one. That was a load of horse manure. At least you could have had a match. At least have a match, even if he was going to lose. He'd been holding on to that briefcase for so long and just got rolled right up and pinned, and that was it. I'm like, that was stupid. Yeah. I don't know what in the world. The writers in WWE must be on crack or something because they got yeah. monkeys running that place. And, you know, uh, obviously Special we know. guest Jim Cornette in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, right. I mean, it, was, it made Baron Corbett look stupid. That's why I'm in GFW now. <laughs> but seriously, like, they made, I mean, a lot of us forget there are script writers. But, it, yeah, it made Baron Corbett look like a moron. And but we, we gotta remember this: to whoever scripted it, or Vince's idea, or whoever. I mean, not everything is Vince's fault, even though he pretty much can rewrite everything. And why even have script writers if he's gonna trump everything? But yeah, I, it just it really made Baron Corbin look like a complete, a stupid idiot. He made the list. Yeah, exactly. I love how Trump's is now a verb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was trumping before trumping was cool. I already looked at the sun today when people told him not to. I saw some memes saying that. I don't know how true that is. I, I don't know. Yeah, people are already tearing down sun statues and the, the sun statues in the Ocarina of Time. And we use the mirror shield to activate them because people are butthurt and tearing down the sun statues. Exactly. The sun offends me. Don't the sun blinds me. Tear down the sun. <laughs> what was that? No, I was just I was just saying. Which one? People, people no, are Tibbs. Of... Sorry. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Your voice got all messy again, so I started singing Mr. Roboto. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Roboto, Crispin Wall? <laughs> oh, wait, oh. no. I mean, Stevie Richards, excuse me. Here we go. The final one. Oh, nice. <laughs> that sounded, I sounded like Michael Cole, how Michael Cole would sound there. The final one. Oh, my. The oh, final my. one. Oh, my. Wow, yeah. Final Fantasy. Oh my gosh, when he did that, I was like, Michael, you don't know nothing about Final Fantasy. Shut your pie hole. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't even want to freaking hear it. Not, oh my goodness. That was, that was the fakest word in Final Fantasy I've ever seen in my life. I was like, no. I bet that, Xavier that. Woods probably told him to say that. Uh, maybe. <laughs> now, Xavier Woods would know about some Final Fantasy, that's for sure. Yeah. And hey, it's one of these guys. <sighs> oh, nice. Jeff, what's up? Yeah, I was going to say, this place, is this some sort of underground shelter? Yeah. Do you find this place? <laughs> Thank you. Let me have this place. <laughs> and we got the giant wallet. Now, to get this, you must complete this house on the first day. If you do it on the second or third day, you'll get a purple rupee instead. I thought you were going to say a heart piece, and Jeff, I love that. Well, did you see that? His face was like right up against the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, you know, heart piece, really, Ronnie? You're a yes. heart piece of, you're a heart piece of. Sh yeah, like a scrotum looking <laughs> face or something. With it. it's just a scrotum? <laughs> yeah, it's a scrotum face. Your <laughs> face looks like a nut sack. Thank you, Kyle. That's right. <laughs> oh, you're nuts. <laughs> Indeed. It is fun to swim in this game with the Zora mask. Oh, so awesome. Much more fun than it, than with the mermaid suit in Oracle of Ages and the frog suit in Mario 3. The, the frog suit in Mario 3 is great in the water, but on the land, it's like... Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. And that's dumb. How can you can't run in the frog suit? Well, frogs can't run, Ronnie. Are you feeling froggy? Come at me, bro. That's right. Come, Come at me, bro. Froggy. Like the... If Frogman... Le LeBunk or whatever his name was that jobber back then was still around today in NXT. <laughs> He'd be like, you feeling froggy? No. Come at me, bro. I think you've mentioned him in more videos than he had matches at this point. Right. <laughs> the only other person that probably remembers who he is is Jim Cornette. Well, yeah, I remember Frogman LeBunk, you know. And <laughs> <laughs> He's much better wrestler than at least the wrestle blow up dolls, I'll tell you that. Right next to Bunkhouse Barn or whatever his name was. Bunkhouse Buck. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think kayfabe Jack Swagger's dad. I don't know if it was for real. <laughs> or Jack Swagger, excuse me. 
for some reason, that King of the Road match that Dustin Rhodes was in just popped into my head. Oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> wow. Oh, you remember Justin? <sighs> oh, it's what? <clears throat> what? Okay, uh, King, King of the Road. WCW, uh, you have the network. WCW Uncensored 1995. King of the Road match. Black Top Bully versus Dustin Rhodes. Not Dusty, <laughs> not Dustin Rhodes. They were fighting in the back of an eighteen wheeler where there's hay and bales of hay and you in order to win, like for real, eighteen wheelers driving down a highway in Tupelo, Mississippi, and in order to win you gotta get to this bullhorn and blow it. Stupid. Yeah, I remember yeah, you told me about that. I remember that, yeah. I have to I have to check that out and, and see I what think it's all that about. Which is why he got fired, Dustin, because he, he bladed and he wasn't supposed to. Yeah, they both got fired, I think. It was even though it was uncensored. Yes, yeah, exactly. it's uncensored. What do you expect? It was PG, but it's uncensored. Want to be ECW? Exactly. Now we're feeding the fish. I'm Whoa! I'm not supposed to feed the fish, that gum. Look, see, look, look what you did. Wait, how do? You, That's right. How do you fit through the bars? <laughs> Oh, that, that's the thing about this that's unrealistic? Yeah. Remember you know that, that meme I shared in the Zelda group where Link's trapped in the bottle? I was like, my, how the, how the tables have turned. <laughs> wow, nice flip there, Link. Right, yeah, he flipped out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bobby Heenan called. He wants his commentary back. Booyah. I remember Chris Benoit was fighting Kevin Sullivan in the bathroom, and Bobby Heenan goes, Benoit looks flushed, and I just lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same night that they went into the ladies' room and Dusty freaked out? Yeah, they're in the they're in the ladies' room, Tony. They're in the, they're, there's a woman in the there's a woman in there. He's like freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Slamboree or the Bash or something. Great American know. Bash, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we yeah, finally leaving. WCW pay per views I used to watch on VHS. Yeah. Ah, back to terminal illness field. Yep. Yeah, just getting some of these odds and ends out of the way before we do the next dungeon, which Ronnie's going to love. Oh, jeez. I actually do love the next dungeon. Quite a bit. There's a heart piece in here. Couldn't get it before because we wore an Azora. Dang it, I wish I had Jeff in this part. <laughs> oh, we did, we just saw him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Very funny, guys. My, my name's they Ronnie. Got, I'm from Texas. I never noticed that. They got, like, arms. Huh. They're buggy with arms. Whoa. Neither one of you will get that. No, I, it went over my head. <laughs> That's no. the music from the game, Arms. Uh, nothing goes over my head. I will catch it. <laughs> I think everything's going over uh, Spectre's head because he's gone. No, I'm here. Oh, okay. Oh, you get paid to commentate. Oh, wait, never mind. Boy, I wish I did. That would be amazing. I, I remember I'm hosting, a, I'm, not, I'm hosting. I'm not getting paid a damn thing. <laughs> Tony Schiavone tell Bobby Heenan, we'll talk, or Jesse, we'll talk. You're getting paid to talk. And Bobby goes, I'll talk when I want to talk. You don't tell me to talk. I'll talk when I want to talk. Leave me alone. What the heck? <laughs> okay. I, did, I did that with my mouth. I okay. promise. You're, you're, you're talking out of your ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, precisely. And quit horsing around. <laughs> Nay, nay, I say. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, Arabian the music. They, yeah. Yeah, Man, that music's freaky. Them. Have you got the tater mask yet? <laughs> that would be amazing. It's irritating. Yeah, yeah, the dog would come up and eat you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, holy cow. <laughs> oh my god! Ah, uh, the milk okay. bar. Are you at least 18, sir? Yes. It is what, what is, play our instruments. What is Volt Catfish doing? This ain't Mega Man X3. Get out of here. 
Man, he got fat. Jeez. What is he doing? Stand still. Believe it or not, I believe that's supposed to be the King Zora model. Oh, rip. He's yeah, also an Orco of Ages, by the way. <laughs> Welcome to Amateur Hour. <laughs> yeah, and there's, literally, there's no one here except for Luigi. Oh, <laughs> Actually, Mario and Luigi, I guess you could say. Yeah, uh, Luigi. Martin. Oh. <laughs> he looks like he's had a few. Luigi's finally turned heel. He got tired of living in the shadow of his older brother. Yeah. <laughs> he's pulled Owen Hart. Why didn't you tag me, Brett? Why didn't you tag me? I kicked that. I kicked your leg out of your leg. Your leg out. You're like, oh. I kicked your leg out of your leg. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tuck your legs, uh, your tail between your legs? <laughs> well, that is one of my favorite watches. Yeah. Another one is in ECW, Shane Douglas. I think he, I think he's talking about Terry Funk, and he's like, I kicked you into oblivionary. Oblivionary. <laughs> 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 My favorite botch on the mic is Booker T. Which one? We coming for you. In the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what could top that? <laughs> Thank you, jeez. Oh man. <laughs> and of course, Hulk Hogan calling himself gay. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I think one time I said mother when he went to say brother. <laughs> I'm not sure which one. Like, when I come after you, mother, brother, tonight. <laughs> what? <laughs> and of course, distrucity. Wait, who said that? The Ultimate Warrior, but oh. with him, it's a pass because he is freaking crazy. That, that, that was his MO. <laughs> that was his stick. Or how about, I don't have half the brain that you do! <laughs> <laughs> Since watching this commentary run, y'all shut up! You haven't said a damn thing about Majora's Mask! <laughs> you want to make fun of me and talk about I have half the brain that you do? Would you say you have half the brain that I do? And the shot master stumbles through the window. <laughs> <laughs> come, come and get me. Yeah, come and get me, Sid. Or it's like you said, Stid. I don't know, but it was, was Ole Anderson's voice acting. <laughs> Come and get me. <laughs> Sid trying to Sid did a good job of keeping his composure. I don't care who you are, you clumsy mother. No. <laughs> <laughs> he fell flat on his fucking arse. <laughs> he had the bulldog. And Fla oh, was it Sid or Flair? He goes, oh, God. Sid, he's like, oh, God. See, I thought that was Flair because he always says that. Oh, God. I thought I did. Like, oh, God. <laughs> I wonder what Sting's reaction was. My favorite part isn't so much when he falls and the mask falls off, but how he, like, shakes his head afterwards, like, he stunned him. Yeah. <laughs> he sells it. Yeah. Jeez. They had to change the character and make him to a klutz. And then he became Tugboat. Beep. Yep. No, uh, or, yeah. I don't even know who the... that after? No, no. I no, that's before. Before he was talking about before. He was just uh, the shop master, uncle, whatever they called him, because he loved children. And one of the kids he hung out with was a young Cody Rhodes. Now, one of my favorite masks in the game, because when you put this on, it'll constantly cry. <clears throat> oh, that's sad. And if you wear this when you're doing the thing with the Gorman brothers, when they're trying to get the milk, they will be, they won't fire at you. They'll be crying looking at it. <laughs> wow. The tears salty? Where's the Mexican wrestling mask? Have you gotten that yet? <laughs> Speaking of which, Nikita today surprised me. 
because she actually uh, said that the word luchador, and I was like, I love you. <laughs> oh, I thought she was talking about Nikita Koloff. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That's an old joke. New to us. <laughs> <laughs> F that owl. <laughs> You're gonna get f in the A on Saturday. Yeah. Has there ever been a wrestler that had an owl type gimmick? Yeah. Not that I know of. What are, you, what, what are you, like, splinting your bones or something back there, dude? Right, yeah. Spectre, you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Oh, okay. I think he's unwrapping his tater tots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm splinting myself. He's hangry. That's why we're on that rant earlier. Here, here, have a Snickers. Better? Oh, yeah, I guess he not. Turn, he, turn, he, he turns into Bailey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, that would be terrible. Yeah, everyone, no. starts, everyone starts booing him. You go from Heidenreich to Bailey. Little Jimmy. I, I liked his no oh, jeez. I like his interest music, I ain't gonna lie, Hyde Reich. Yeah, it was cool. The character not so much. Nah, this not, is not for you, me. Jeff. There you go, Jeff. Yay, have a heart. What if Jeff bought uh the Legend of Zelda cereal and then the prize inside was a heart piece? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> God, Link loves to blow, doesn't he? Yeah, he sure does. Blow hard. <laughs> All right, the video's like, you guys aren't going to commentate anymore. I'm out of here. Indeed. Right. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in part 16, where we do some more stuff to get ready for the next dungeon. For Ron Moore and Specter, I am Tubes. Later, traders. Ah. Oh man, I forgot to record. Oh no, no, no just kidding. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> See you. All right, everybody, welcome back to Majora's Mask Part Sixteen. This is Tibbs along the Ron Moore and Raven Spec to the Tray. Greetings and salvations to you all once okay. again. It is me. The ravenous specter. Soup. Yes. Soup. And for those of you who can always like the dungeon, uh, we are not quite ready yet. We have a few more things to do before we go swimming in the deep end. Swimming in the deep end. Sting definitely went off the deep end. The old commentary when Sting was <laughs> was the emo and they they played Larry Zabisco's voice. And yeah, you know what? Last time we talked too much about wrestling. Might not try not to do that anymore. Yeah, we got this comment. Game is a living legend. Yeah, we got comments saying you guys watch that gay fake wrestling stuff. No, 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 no one said that yet. <laughs> oh, I got something to say to that. I'm gonna find out what they like, and then I'm gonna try. It's fake. It. I had no idea. I came close to posting the video in the wrestling group, but nah. <laughs> they probably wouldn't mind, especially Burnham. He wouldn't care. Yeah. <laughs> That it's is, no, it's no different, Ronnie, than when you have one of those like uh, videos where you discuss something and you just have the game footage playing just to give us something to look at. Yeah. Peter Manstow gets way off topic sometimes. One time they got off topic, started talking about banging Mrs. Brady. I'm like, geez. <laughs> geez, this is long shot work. Oh, oh there, really finally. Shot. Long shot to the hard piece, and you're to blame. It's my friend. Yeah, baby. Money <laughs> shot. <laughs> See, that's nasty. We have Val in commentary here. Hello, YouTubers. Uh, <laughs> that's it. You couldn't get more than two minutes in without mentioning it again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is my blood. I can't help it. Oh, yeah. I think you get more heart pieces in this part. I keep forgetting to invite Jeff. Or you keep forgetting to invite Jeff. <laughs> 
Yes, we're going. Link is, hunt, is on the hunt for beaver right now. <laughs> Be beaver? Oh, no, not here. Here we go. Another wrestling reference. I'm sorry. I had to. Harry Beaver Cleavage. <laughs> I like how he, even though it's still a work, I like how it's still a work. He he, he broke kayfabe on live TV. I can't do this. I can't do this stupid gimmick. Yeah, I was wondering if they planned for that because they were sick of just having to deal with the character. If he actually did, it because he just got down on anyone. Yeah, like Dustin Rhodes when he was seven in I was, WCW. He, first night he appears, he's like, "Yo, look at this crap I'm in right here." Yeah, I was thinking that. They come out here, they want me to come out here like Uncle Fester. Oh, no, not these guys. Yeah, it's the beaver. <laughs> oh, jeez. Are you a be believe believer? B just, but beaver? Leave it. A believer leave it of a beaver? The, the beaver believer. <laughs> yeah. Lincoln's a real hustler, if you know what I mean. Freaking Bucky Beaver effing teeth. He's hustling the beaver. Hey, <laughs> it's Kevin Dunn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cornette's on the call now. Let me tell you something, you mother. You Bucky, I'm about to reach across this daggum table, pull you over, beat the f out of you. All right. Well, in case it isn't obvious, this is a, well, not so much a race as it is a follow him through all the rings. This is Superman, like Superman 64, except good. Right, yeah. Gooder. Good. Probably the controls are a heck of a lot better. Good or like Superman 64 is good. She needs to get good. It does. <laughs> these are cheat codes of that. Well, maybe you could. With these Wendy Okupa lifesavers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> reminds me of Tugboat. <laughs> Gee, see, everything reminds me of wrestling. Jeez. <laughs> I could look at a wall and say, look, the wall from WCW. Oh gosh! I always get a kick. He, uh, he was supposed to be like a lovable baby face, if I remember right. But his music was like da 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 da. He imagine if Donald Trump was in WCW to a special manager role or special appearance. Guess who he would walk down the aisle with? <laughs> the wall. Yeah, the wall. The wall is over ten feet tall. I the promise you, the ring announcer say that he's seven foot. But he's 10 feet. That's coming from the Trumpster. And you can always believe what the Trumpster says. <laughs> he, he gonna have, he's gonna, they're going to book the wall versus the luchadors or something. <laughs> put, put him in a lucha libre ma match. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Mexicals. <laughs> You're not cheating, you're not trying. Yeah. Okay, didn't you win and they're challenging you again? Well, the way this works, you beat one of them, then you gotta beat the uh, <clears throat> brother to get one uh, reward, and then you gotta do it again to get another reward. Ah, okay. So, all in all, you gotta do this four times. Jeez. And the only difference is less time, more rings. You have to try to fail at it. Yeah. ECW, 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 ECW. This would be good entrance music for like Bailey or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it would be. Oh, gosh. I can't stand Bailey's character anymore. Not much to say here, just go to the rings. Ta -da! Yeah, all right, back to wrestling. So, on Raw last night. No. <laughs> <laughs> on Raw last night. I didn't even see it. I just heard fragments of it. Jinder Mahal still champion. <laughs> well, that's SmackDown. Yeah. No, wait. Uh, yeah, I forgot the date. Yeah. So, no, as we're recording this, SmackDown's over with. <laughs> It confused me. I forgot. As we're recording this, it's after SmackDown, but I meant the night before, which is Raw. Ronnie's all good. Raw. Welcome, everyone, to Monday Night Raw. Who would have been? 
I lost out my two paid my receding hairline. <laughs> Along with my friends, uh, Ron Bartlett and Mark Madden. Jeez, Mark Madden. I'd rather have Rod Mark Bartlett and whatever his name was. So is that a pretty good Trump impression, or was that kind of pathetic? No, it's pretty decent. That was actually, that was pretty good. I mean, you, you saw it screwed me up. I was doing real well to you, but then I bumped it <laughs> Excuse me, who's playing? Heh <laughs> heh. Oh, you got another bottle. How many bottles can you get in this game? Six. Did cool. you guys happen to see the, um, somebody ended up, I think they ended up taking Unreal Engine, one of the Unreal Engines, and they remade a section of Majora's Mask. It was either that or Ocarina of Time, and it looked freaking gorgeous. Yeah, I've seen it. Yes. Yeah. Majora's Mask too. And then somebody went and made a Majora's Mask short animated feature film, which would look freaking amazing. I know, amazing. I, uh... Oh, that that almost had me creaming my pants. That looks so good. <laughs> you see the uh, the picture I posted in High Room Warriors where it shows a, a normal a normal person in the world of Zelda mowing lawns and then rupees come out of the grass and then there's the Majora's Moon in the background. Oh yeah, I saw <laughs> yeah. that. <laughs> and that'd be scary in real life. Like that moon just constantly looking at you and it gets it gets closer and closer to you. I'd be kind of happy to be seeing some gems pop up. I'd be going to try to make some money. Yeah, I'd, I'd really be the wrong mower then, just mowing lawns, getting all them rupees. And work. <laughs> but I'm in America, though. Rupees wouldn't count for currency. Yeah, we, we, we could start calling you lawnmower. Yeah, unless I go to a uh, bank, uh, uh, just a bank, and then exchange the currency or exchange rate or however that works. We, we, we got to send this video to Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you guys know why? I don't care about any. Dang it. Burhan messaged me during commentary. I'll check back on that later. Yeah. That he's, work, he's, he's working right now. Yeah. Well, he's, he heard us talking about wrestling. He probably wants to join in. <laughs> That's well, right, maybe. bud. Yes, I, I watched hey, Raw last night. <laughs> the eerie uh, version of this music. <clears throat> Douchebag, uh, I forgot what those things are called. Levers. Yeah, lever alone. <clears throat> Leave it to Beaver. How did, how did Link win the game for his basketball team? He used his hook shot. <laughs> yeah. How did? I was that? How, how did you? How you open this door? Try, try and force it. Try force it. I forgot. I butchered it. Try, try force. Yeah. Oh yeah. Try force. Or the, use the U force. Oh. What do you call four Mexicans in quicksand? Cuatro Seco. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Trumpster thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Just hilarious. I remember the tweet. Trump did on Cinco de Mayo. He's eating a bowl of uh, uh, one of those uh, Mexican dishes where it's like a, a, a bowl made out of yeah. a taco shell. And he goes, Happy Cinco yeah. de Mayo. I love Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> I that. He's like, Trump Towers makes the best taco bowls. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that. I think it had something to do with that. We have authentic Mexicans working. <laughs> so you know the move, the move. Oh, I can't even talk. The zoo is gonna be authentic. <laughs> I can't even get it out right. Oh God, I don't even know what was going through my head. <laughs> the move is gonna be authentic. The move of what? <laughs> All right. Now we're in Zora Hall, with this is basically like a concert hall where the, the Zora band is going to be playing or is rehearsing, supposed to be rehearsing the song they're going to play at the carnival. The but Zora, like said, the, the Zora their, Hall of Fame. Their singer, yeah, their singer lost their voice, so that's our ultimate goal here is to help her out. Scott Hall. Hey yo. Scott Hall of Fame. <laughs> Someone's jamming in the background. 
Yeah, each member of the band has a dressing room. You can actually uh, get a heart piece from them. Cool. After you bang it out! Yeah. This is one of the few things in the game, though, that the game will not, like, remind you of. You gotta cut, you gotta memorize this. Yeah. Yeah, I remember messing up on it in the 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 guitars would go, no man, that, that's bogus, dude. <laughs> oh, I I love that guy because he's got like long hair, and when when he talks, he's like, hmm. Yeah, that's the uh, Heath Slater Zora. <laughs> and when you do when you complete this little thing, this is a nice little Easter egg in terms of what song gets played. Hmm. Lulu. Yeah, probably. Uh, it's like a cow. Just rocking. His ass, his ass must be really be itching. Yeah. <laughs> oh my butt crack! Oh. I didn't. I ain't wipe. I had to. I had to go take a dump, and then had to get out here to meet you. I didn't have a chance to wipe. I got a little bit of itching going on. No wonder why he said you can catch my drift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a drift for you. It smells like shit, man. With the Japas, the, the ja Japanese. It smells like shit, what... but I think I'll eat it anyway. Hey, 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 Rock! I don't know what y'all's cooking. Smells like <laughs> shit. But I eat it anyway. <laughs> so they talk about jamming with the Japas, the, the ja Japanese. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think there's some significance to their names, but I don't know what it is. I'm just one man. And no one man. One man. Yeah! I got kids. I got a family. I got, yeah, did, did you see that at SummerSlam, the daggum KFC commercial? Did? I got kids. I got yeah. kids. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the heck, man? When I saw that picture, was it HB KFC? I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> man, I thought it was hilarious, yeah. dude. <laughs> Office flippers. Huh? Whoa, tubular. Looks like he's jerking off. <laughs> I'm flicking my fishbone, literally. Fishbone. That was yeah, a band. Thank God. Is that no room? Say that that was that was the fishbone. That was the band that changed their mind about performing at WrestleMania 11 for some reason. Maybe because they knew it was gonna suck. Fishbone. The only thing I remember them from was the uh, the Masks movie soundtrack, and they played some kind of music. It was like uh, swing music, I believe. Yeah, they backed out for some reason. Some sort of uh, I don't know something that uh, WWE had said or was promoting that they did not agree with. So they backed out. They, they probably didn't want to see Bob Backlund and Bret Hart in the I Quit match. <laughs> no, they didn't want, They probably didn't want to see uh, the what the rest of the show because the rest of the show was garbage. Uh, <laughs> I mean, to me, the most entertaining thing on there might have been that match: Bob Backlund and Bret, Bret Hart. Or Shawn Michaels taking a horrible uh, jackknife. I don't remember. Ooh. I gotta go back and watch that. I don't remember that part. I just remember the card looking very lackluster. Like, Jacob and Eli Blue versus Lex Luke and the British Bulldog. Like, really? <laughs> Uncle Zebekai. <clears throat> yeah, a.k.a. Dutch Mantel, a.k.a. Zeb Coulter. Okay, now that we know the song, we're going to go play it for the band leader. Yep. Play a Heath Slater's song on the... On the guitar and the Zora guitar. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, 
this is the band leader. Oh, I thought you were the band leader. <laughs> no, I'm the star. Ah. If I was dead. That's sad that they all don't know he was. De he's really dead. Yeah. He's alive, Undertaker. Oh yeah. Look at that mouth. <laughs> Yeah, it looks freaking ugly. <laughs> Dang, Big Cass did really blow out his knee Monday night, last night. I, th I didn't know if it was for real or if it was a work, but the way he was cussing up a storm, it seemed like it was it was real. It sounded like you said big ass. Yeah, big <laughs> ass! Big ass blew out his knee! That's his heel name. <laughs> yeah, cast hole and blast hole. Yeah. Blast hole. Um, if he's an ECW, you know, or if, if it's an attitude era, he'd be like, all of my cast holes out here... Yeah, it's just like it's just like back when Stacy Kieber was with Tess and she called his fans his testicles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now this you actually have to play this as regular Link. If you try to play this as Macau, the band leader, it's like he's jealous. He wants to come, quote unquote, come up with this song on his own. So if he thinks that the others came up with it, he won't he won't take it. But what's interesting is that this is actually the game over music from the very first Zelda. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Sounds good, though. Oh, I couldn't really make it out. <gasps> Excuse me, who just made up? No, I said I couldn't make it out to where it is that song. I couldn't hear it. I mean, I couldn't, like, distinguish if it was it. Okay, I hear it now. That's probably because I turned my volume up a little bit. Back to the Zora Hall of Fame. So where's Rudo? That guy, he's trying to peek in the little dressing room. To catch a predator. Hey, why don't you have a seat right there? You're in deep water here. Why don't you have a seat, sir? Real deep water. Yep. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. I was just trying to, you know, uh, see if my friend was home. No, it's not what it says in the text bo dialogue box here. You say... She lost her eggs. I'm just trying to help. You say, will you, if, I, if I give you my bait, will you bite, baby? <laughs> now that sounds a little fishy to me, sir. <laughs> that was great. Oh, no, nothing's I'll tell you what's fishy is this chat right here. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought the period joke I was going to make about her losing her eggs was bad. <laughs> <laughs> but dum dum tis. But dum dum tibs. <laughs> but dum dum tits. Or tips. Or tits. <laughs> or, never mind. <laughs> Is all, well, think, no, no. is all you think about, King? Well, yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha, ah, puppies, puppies, puppies. Ha, 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 Puppies, puppies, puppies. Kitties, puppies. 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 All this stuff. JR said, uh, is all you think about sex, King? I forgot what he said after that. I'm sure he said, well, yeah, JR, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, I love it when May Young at the 2000 Rumble, JR was like, don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. Now, I still remember May Young give Bischoff the Bronco Buster. And then later on, Bischoff comes down the aisle. He's still wiping his face. And, the, <laughs> I that. and Jerry Lawler goes, it was Bad Blood 2003. And Jerry Lawler says, Jerry, I think he's, I think he's just some pie crust at the corner of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then JR, JR, JR is disgusted. He goes, good God, King. Did you really have to go there? What? Pie crust. Really? Pie crust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shut your pie hole. There was one moment at the 2000 Rumble. I wonder if JR wasn't serious with him because the king kept making fun of Kai and Ty and Taka smacking his face and all that. And at one point, JR was like, Good grief, king. Yeah. Well, I mean, that time, it looked like he's really getting to a Paul Heyman. I thought it was a shoot, but it wasn't. Ow. 
and it's on YouTube where they're sitting there, the announce table's broken, and they're sitting there talking to each other. I'm sick and tired, won't you shut up? Blah, blah, blah. And then they're all yelling at each other, getting each other's face. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know, actually, that Braun is finally just going to get a regular, ordinary title shot this time against Brock. I hope he beats him. It's not going to happen. I see Brock retaining, not come back to Survivor Series. You come back to Survivor Series? Yeah, or, or Royal Rumble season. Oh, you mean Brock comes back to Survivor Series? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, there she is in the background. There's Lulu. Ah, yep. We have now done everything necessary to get to get to the next dungeon. What is Lulu depressed about? Suck it up. So, were you kind of trying to go for a complete 100% playthrough here, or were you just going through the main dungeons? Oh, complete, maybe. Ah, oh, yeah! Yeah, he doesn't do anything half-assed like I do. That's right, I do everything to completion. Right, he's the right. gaming completionist. Oh, wait, that's someone else on YouTube. A uh, Mr. Ass. I'm an ass man! Yeah, I'm an dead. ass man! Yeah! That song, the lyrics to that song is creepy. Your eyes will give away the truth of how I feel. Then, then I'll stick them from behind because I'm the ass man. Exactly. It's like I like to pick them and float them and stick them and shove them. I'm like, good God am I. This guy has an ass man. It's fire and And P.W. Anstow was making fun of both Macho Man's uh, Be a Man Hulk and uh, Mr. Ass's music. And after making fun of Mr. Ass's music, they said, you know what? The Macho Man's music was more fun to make fun of because that was funny. The Mr. Ass was just creepy. Yeah. Well, what could possibly follow talking about Mr. Ass? Well, absolutely nothing. Yeah, we just <laughs> fell down a white hole. <laughs> that is all for part 16 next. Us. Join us next time, folks, when the time has come. If you thought the water temple was complicated, wait till you see the Great Bay Temple. But seriously, it's actually pretty well designed. I like it. So, for Ravenous and Ronnie, I'm Tibbs. God bless you. Yeah!